The forehead's still visible. It's supposed to be visible. Not to mention, it's a very difficult forehead to hide. Very difficult. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for the late start today. We're, we're working on a video and we want to get it out tomorrow. We're just we're just hammering on stuff. It's visible from space. Yeah, absolutely. it definitely is. Oh, how you guys doing? Hope you're doing well, dude. Hope everybody's doing well. I am sorry for the late start today. I, I, I was right on time, though. So if you're complaining about a late start, then it's totally fine. The world is ending? No, I mean... It almost ended because I didn't realize I was unpaused, so we went about 15 days before I paused it once we got in here. Um, unfortunately. Because I think I'm about to die. So first of all, I'm going to die. And then we're going to have to just kind of deal with it from there. Yeah, my the, our, our first and only character, King Ingle for the Good, is 61 and infirm. So apparently I'm on death's doorstep. But if I am able to survive for another year and a half while infirm, not only will I win another war, I, uh, I think I'll end up in a, a much better position. Because we're going to go for a disinherit move. If, if we can, we're going to go for a disinherit move. We're going to go for the disinheriting jujitsu. Any more spreadsheets with work the space? <laughs> I haven't done that yet. We, we were finished, we're wrapping up the rest of that spreadsheet, but it, it, it's soon. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you should have enough to do that now. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do this. I turned down the sound effects. So can click around. Um, let's see if we can do this chat. Let's see if we can do this. First off, I'm being raided, which is how I noticed that the game was continuing and not pausing, was I was being raided. So we're going to go ahead and try to fight that. We're going to bring the army over here. We're, oh, dang it. Yeah, we're going to raise everybody and then go fight these raiders that are trying to raid us. And then we're going to try and put an army together to crush the uh, the Scots real quick. What's left of the Scots is what we're going to try and do. Thargoth, thank you for the 26 months. Found that stream enjoyable and interesting. Glad you joined it. I should have enough for now, and I don't. It's 150. Come closer, or my son's telling me a story. Solvi. It's the story of when my guardian, Balder, in the court of Nodreyer finally acknowledged me as a full-grown man. Yes, my... Acquaintance. He smirks, continues to tell the story of the flames, the bonfire, a story from my own childhood. Oh, I feel old. I have become a friend with him, or I increased my stewardship or learning. Let's just do that. I increased my stewardship. What a baller. So let's try and unite the armies, and then maybe we'll be able to get there in time. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there in time. March, dang it, march. Get to that spot. Lock the... Oh my goodness, we're going to let him get away. Oh, infuriating. We're going to let him get away. Again, just narrowly missing these raiders. That is so... Oh, my... Drives me up a wall, dude, letting these raiders get away. Up an entire wall. We just got raided. It's all gone. It's already... It's already gone. More gold? Well, yeah, we just lost all of our gold. All right, what can the Scots put in the field? King Dongal? Who doesn't own a whole lot. They, they can barely put anything in the field, so... Do they have any allies that I, I don't know about? Oh, yeah, they're allied to their siblings. So, you know, he's... Who's this? King Louis of West Francia? Are you joking? Well, that's a bit of an issue. If King Louis decides to get himself involved with Scotland... How are they negotiated? King Louis, the Stammerer of West Francia. Who is this 58-year-old Cretan that's hanging out there? I could go to war with Jarl Hafdan of Mon. We could go to war with Ulster, I think, if we wanted to. We, we, we could just fight to conquer the High Chiefdom of Ulster. They don't have any allies with West Francia. But all of a sudden, Scotland does. You better take Glasgow and you better fire up the Deep Friars, bro. I... <laughs> 
I think that might kill me faster than any of the people we're set to fight here. Lothian, do they have any allies? Absolutely not. Uh, we, we, we could fight for the Jarldom of Lothia. They have 187 people. And I have, uh, I've got piety to burn fighting the Jarldom of Lothia. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to fight Mon, I'm going to fight Lothia, and I'm going to fight Ulster all at the same time. That's stupid. I should be able to fight Lothian and Ulster at the same time. We just declare war, raise our army, win one war, go win the other one. Because I want to use uh, our piety and our prestige that we've accumulated before this guy dies. JC, thank you so much for the 22 months. Yeah, like, a, go for a nice two for one, because I am infirm, so we, we, we gotta leverage everything we've got to go after everything they've got. So we've got- we have the right army. I'm gonna go for Ulster. They have no allies. I'm gonna go for this seven-year-old Jarl Ivar II. We're gonna go for his Jarldom. And I'm gonna use my piety to declare that war. We're gonna fire up the war music, and we're gonna get all of our troops up. Because you can't declare war with your troops raised, which is why we sent them away last time. Give me the war music. We're going. It's showtime. Uh, Ulster's not allied to the Scots. We checked. Uh, we would not have declared that war if they were. So we're going to try and surround the Scots with land that we own. A scheme at my court. Selishan, my champion. Somebody is plotting to kill him. Well, that's a shame. I really like Selishan. He made me a sick brooch, you know? Like one homie does for another. Oh, I died. Well, so much for that. The wars are still going, though. We're able to maintain the wars. Please tell me we're able to maintain the wars. We are, it looks like. Okay, so hold on. My eldest son, Sig Trigger, is who I've I've come to join. Solvi, the younger son, has inherited some stuff. He's inherited two lands and a duchy. I don't know which ones. So I, King Ingelfer has died at the age of 61, having created the Kingdom of the Northern Sea. F's in the chat for our boy. He's down. He's down and down for the count. But uh, Sig Trigger inherits the war. The 27-year-old gallant brave man. He already has a son, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's take stock real quick. So um, let's let's look at what our court is. We need a new steward. Uh, we do have uh, the Marshal Jarl Vigfus of Iceland, who's a brilliant marshal. And we have um, no decent steward. But I do have a powerful Jarl High Chieftain Kenyad of uh, whatever, wherever the hell he's from. Well, he's from over there. And Ragnar Toki, who continues to be... Well, Ragnar Toki's already got a job. Okay, so, yeah, succession and all that. Yeah, okay, yay, 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 yay. I just want to see what Solvi got. Like, what two lands did Solvi get? He's the Jarl of Sutrayer, so he's the Jarl of the West over there. Oh, he just got, he just got the Jarl, he, he just got the Jarl over here. Okay, so I kept the islands in the north, and I kept Inverness as well. So those are the four lands that I own, which is, which is good, good stuff. That's good stuff. All right, and I still have a good number of troops, and we're still working on the things we're supposed to be working on, which is developing the Faroe Islands, converting the chiefdom of Suterland so Iceland is Norse, and we are uh, fortunately able to continue our wars, which is awesome. That's what we want to do. Oh, and I, I do have a, apparently a thing. I have one unhandled situation at my court. My mother... And my bodyguard. What now? What could this have to do with anything? All right, Otter's my mother. So let's see what she's got going on. A little unrelated to CK3. I want to know what you think about this. I got my team, which was nearly relegated from the Welsh second division to the second division uh, league cup final. We're down 3-0 at halftime. I threw some bottles, made it 3-3, and then lost on pens. I mean, Jonas, I think you just got screwed, and that sucks. Can you become uh, a mortal like in CK2? I don't think so, but you can become. You can get an octogenarian trait. And like very healthy traits and consistently live to 80. That's that's usually what I go for. All right, what is this? Uh, my honorable mother potters around court aimlessly, making clear her yearning for a purpose I'm too busy to provide. Today she finally corners me. Wait, isn't the uh, top right where we agreed I should be? Yeah. 
Uh, oh, there you are, Sig Trigger. To me, you are still my little boy. Oh, thanks. Let me take some of the burden from your shoulders. There's much I can teach you. My entourage do their best to find something else to look at, but it only worsens my embarrassment. What is the matter? Don't you care for your dear old ma? Uh, if you thought about giving your life to Odin. <laughs> Turn her into a monk. I will appoint her as High Almoner. I don't think I have a High Almoner. So... She can take that job. Should I turn her into a monk? <sighs> Should I turn her into a monk? Is that mean? Rice cake, thank you for the two months, dude. Appreciate you being a part of the hammers, man. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Do I have control of Iceland? Yes, I have control of Iceland. Uh, we rule over Iceland. Yeah, I'm just going to turn her into a monk. Sorry, Mom. Enjoy. Have fun. You, you look like you're going to have a great time. Let's get the armies together, though. What's going on? Oh, oh, I... Wait a second. I'm the person trying to murder Selichon? No, I, I don't want to murder him. He's a good command. Oh, he hates me, though. Oh, he's my rival. I see. Well, now I have a 5% chance. So what if we abandoned the scheme to murder my rival? Well, I like how I discovered he was trying to kill Selichon. It was me. It was, my, it was me all along. Her husband just died, too? Yeah, and she'll find, uh, she'll find solace in Odin, you know? There are whispers about the tales and deeds of my father disgrace King Ingle forever where I go. It seems there's nobody that's not heard his name. I wonder, will I always stay in the shadow of my father, or will I be able to achieve as much fame in my life as him? Humbly, I am not humble. I gain shadow of fame twilight, which gives me more monthly prestige and more stress gain. Shadow of fame dusk, which gives me... Oh, okay, we gotta get rid of humble. I'm going to go have a mental break, but we've got to get rid of Humble because I don't want minus 25% prestige um, for the rest of my life. So let's let's go. Let's go full mental break here. I get rid of the trait Humble. And uh, I say, you know, it's time to time to gain prestige. I gain the trait Arrogant. OK, I didn't know that was on the cards. I gained a stress level, which means here's my mental break. Do I have any traits that allow me to deal with this? I'm irritable. I could go to the uh, to the whorehouse as well, but I'm irritable and reclusive, naturally. But since I'm irritable, I can just blow off steam by threatening to threatening to punch somebody. So that's good. My court tutor is no longer my court tutor. We don't have a wet nurse. I'll appoint an, a wet nurse. Uh, we don't have a court tutor. Let's just find somebody with brains. Freya Lachlan, you are now the court tutor. And an antiquarian to look at, uh, look after all of the other stuff that we have. My champion mail column. Hey, as far as deaths go, we've had a pretty simple transition. I've assumed the throne, handed the duchy in the west of Scotland off to my brother. We got our troops in place. We didn't lose any of our wars. Like, and by that I mean we're still able to go to war. Like, there's sometimes a war will just cancel, but because of the way that our society works, we're okay. I can make Altar a shield maiden. She's a good fighter. She's not bad. I mean, I don't know. It'll cost me 75 prestige, which I, I can't spare with the war. With the wars... We are set to fight. I cannot spare it. <sighs> What's my brother's opinion of me? Uh, hopefully. Yeah, it's not bad. He's an angry vassal and it's still positive, so. Problem is, I, I don't want him anywhere near my court. Actually, he is a, a decent spy master type. Oh, did they just... Yeah, okay, sweet. They just lost a fight anyways. Am I gonna have to fight these raiders? Nope. They can raid, I'll just siege the town. That works for me. Do we have any siege commanders? Yeah, we do. 
my guest, Bodvar Rowdy, who I will invite to my court and put in charge so that he can marshal the siege. Thank you, Bodvar Rowdy. This guy would make for an accomplished commander. He would. Let's recruit him. 25 gold. Well, good thing I'm... The gold's the one thing we're never short of. In Baldur's in an effort to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged King Dongle's claim on the... Great. He just gave the King of Scotland a, a claim in my territory. Which allows the Catholic guy to go to war with me. Great work! Why am I losing so much prestige? Oh, it's because we have our full uh, army thing raised here. So let's work on... What's going to help me gain prestige, you think? I have a learning education, so I could just be a learned man. But I could also focus on... Duty. Marshall, I could focus on authority. I could focus on... Uh... Diplomacy, majesty focus. There we go. I need to focus on my majesty. Regality flows, you know. Give myself more prestige. That's what I need to focus on. Prestige is going to win me wars here. I'll focus on learning later. Prestige is going to win me wars, though, right now. That's what we need. All right, I'm going to leave the siege there. And we're going to try and march. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're staying right here. Dang it. I actually slowed the siege down with my own inability to think straight. Exotic arms? Oh, what are they bringing? A group of Cumbrian peddlers purport to have brought Mel objects, said to have come from the faraway court of a great Malika Jeba of Kabu. The unique armor could be yours for a price. Well, of course. I already have Mirren's scale armor, though. Oh, I do have my milk tooth. Sick. That's prestige. Should I buy this? 75. I'm greedy and arrogant, so I'm not going to buy it because we actually already have armor. Just uh, not buy it. We're just going to have to get raided. Sorry. My court grandeur decreased. Oh, are we not spending money on our court grandeur stuff anymore? Oh, I have a frickin' situation. How did it decrease beyond- what? I need level 3, that's army loot capacity and raid speed capacity. I can't go beyond this, we're tribal. Change towards baseline. Oh, it's it's going up towards the baseline. Okay, my court grandeur is going up. We'll be fine. The books are for old people that can't lead armies. Amen. The white boar hunt. Oh, we just don't have time. There, there's the legendary animal sighting, but we've got wars to fight. Very important wars to fight. Oh, I had a, I didn't even know the wife was pregnant. Socrates, thank you for the 42 months, dude. Oh. Am I a Satru? Yes, I am, Needleman. Hail and quick. That's what we're talking about. He's hail and he's quick. Gutrotter. That's a, that's a good name. That's a good, strong name. Gutrotter. That is Gutrotter Sig Triggerson. He's, you know, he's looking better than Kettle Sigtriggerson. I'll be honest. He's looking better. All right. We won the siege, captured the guy. We enforce our demands. We take their land from a seven-year-old, which feels a little mean. But, you know, sometimes you, you got to learn hard lessons. Sometimes. We stand here for a month to replenish our supply before walking to Ireland. Probably two months. Replenish our supply, and then we walk to Ulster to claim that land as well. All right, the issue. Pariah of the court. Who is it? Uh, Tithlech. 
I'm judged harshly for my hospitality towards tight like the criminal is avoided by almost everyone on account of their wicked faith. My failure to condemn and continued proximity to this irredeemable fiend. Okay. Well, that's certainly an opinion. It is perceived as an open tolerance, tar tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the elders and the faithful. They have forced my hand. I now must decide whether my courtier's crimes outweigh my affections for him. I could say it's not my place to judge, and then I get harbors criminals. It's time to repent. I gain piety. So he converts to my religion. Um, yeah, he's a good commander, so let's just have him repent, and then he converts, and then life is good. Okay. All this courtly duty, goodness. Absolute disaster. Okay. Well, now we're losing, really. Ranger rank is now up to level three. Thank you. I can create the Duchy of Lothian. Well, I actually have room to do that, so. I will take the prestige. Thank you very much. I can create an alliance with Solvi, my brother. Let's do that. Call him into fights if we need it. I have no quarrel with the bro. I'm intrigued. No, no army has shown up from these Ulster guys yet. What's this? Ruling the multicultural kingdom of Nortreyer comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects feel alienated. They, when I, they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resentment. My steward suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Gaelic subjects by learning to speak the language. Time to hit the books. Uh, let's spend the 50 gold to hire a tutor to instruct me. We have a 95% chance of successfully learning the language. We'll just knock it out. I have a mental break. Alright, um... Stress is going to be a problem in my life, I think. I, I I think stress is going to be a problem. SMF Cal, thank you for the 18 months. I appreciate it. <sighs> you should change your dynasty name to something with Z's. Kenver, thank you for the eight months. Incest simulator. When in Rome, you know, they get excruciating irritations, which is a loss of diplomacy and intrigue. Can't lose any more diplomacy than I've already lost. So. <laughs> but, you know, it, uh... I am arguably the least diplomatic person ever. It is quite possible I'm the least diplomatic person of all time. Which makes my study in majesty just that much more hilarious. Why Why can't I just be... Why Why can't I recluse... My, why, why can't I be reclusive, right? Why can I not be reclusive? I, I think we gotta go to the... We, 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 oh. I swear to Odin I'll punch someone. I'm no longer at that level of stress. But most things that I do give me stress. So... Who is this? Oh, this guy looks like he sucks. Not a fan, are you? He's a poet, though. So I got Lenark, but I do I, I did acquire three new uh wonderful and incredibly enthusiastic and definitely a fan of me people. All right, let's walk to the land bridge and then go across. I know I'm getting raided, man. I know. I'm doing important conquering things. We can't win them all. I know. I'm aware. Now let's see if we run into anybody on our way over. It's only two. Uh, we'll go for the capital first. We'll go for the capital first. If we need it, we'll go to the other one. But capital first. Language learned. 
Oh, sweet. Time well spent. I learned the Gaelic language. I'm now a better ruler. I chieftain of Ulster proposed the white piece. Yeah, well, I don't think you're getting that. Oh, by the way, my army's almost there. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that to you. Post a feast or a tour. Now we're going to go on a hunt after these wars. We're going to hold court, go on a hunt. You know, all the good stuff. We'll be okay at that point, but... That was a good win. Now we switch our commander to somebody that really understands the art of the siege. Loves studying the siege works so that we can conquer Ulster. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get up to stuff. I mean, we'll send out the raiders to bring back money and then we'll get up to stuff. We'll raid everything in Alba as we should. Yeah, that's our kingdom. We've got Iceland, we've got the Faroe Islands, we've got the north of Scotland, and we've actually got our border with Dane Law now. Yeah, it doesn't matter if my armies are raised, though. It doesn't really, really matter. Because the Jarldom of Mon is just dotted all over the landscape. Very annoyingly so. I think we should just steamroll all of Ireland. Hey, Kettle add some teeth. Keep the tooth, dude. Kettle's teeth fell out. Need to fix the council? Council's fine. I mean, it's not good, but... Ah, wait. This guy is a beast. Malmer Kiroi. I see. My chieftain, Kenniad, out for that guy. Oh, my goodness. The people we just acquired are absolutely outrageous. So, fair play to you for noticing that. I usually do that after, like, all the wars, but... My first bonds, what happened? Oh, I'm talking to my mom, so she doesn't hate me that much. I know my mother held a deep devotion for me while my father, Inglefer, lived. He too loved me fiercely. Nice, pretty healthy relationships. I gain the trait loyal. Give me diplomacy. Parenting by example gives me piety and okay. I could just reduce all of my stress with this stuff. Or I could add more stress. I'm gonna go with the, I'll take the parenting by example boost. Great. She's gonna try and put herself in the council with that. Siege one, all right, we won the war. Thank you, Ulster, for your kind donation. We really appreciate it. The conquest continues with everything we've got. So now I own seven pieces of land, which is sick. Lanark is going to go to somebody, and then I'll just hand that duchy off because I should be able to create another one. Amen, brother. Okay, who gets the duchy? Probably not my prisoner. We'll give it to... Uh, well, Baldur's not quite... You know, Selikon. Well, he, he, he hates me. Selikon hates me. <sighs> you ask your... Uh, to integrate duchy into your du jour kingdom. Oh, uh, yeah, I would lose out on the one prestige a month that I gain from him uh, traipsing all over the place. I don't really understand the point of integrating a duchy into my du jour uh, kingdom. It makes the... Uh, I suppose that's 
How much of a subtraction is that? Like minus 25. Be careful with Ireland. I am I am working around it. The interesting we go to war here, they You've got the King of West Francia allied with you to try and stem the tide of the Viking horde. How about Mayo? Who are you allied with? Ah, the chief down here. Okay. Well, anyways, I gotta hold court. Let's do that. What's up, homies? Let me hear the petitioners. Sitting on my throne. You may enter! The man who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, he begins. I represent the community of the Faroe Islands. In the last few months, our cemeteries have been plagued by the disappearance of bodies, and it's the court position Ragnar. Dude, it's the safe. Wow, okay. Um, studying the human body is a sad necessity as an option. Because I'm vengeful, I can go fresh living bodies, make for better test subjects. Oh, good God. I can take the commoner and be like, Ragnar, you can experiment on this guy for having the audacity to say this to me. I get 37 dread. That is, uh, that's significant. I can arrest Ragnar, or, you know, we'll just tell Ragnar to cut it off. That works. An ancient figure approaches my throne with a click of a tap of his cane accompanying each step. My lord, I am a genealogist, and you are aware you have noble origin. However, noble is not quite the same as divine or mythical. I desire to write a scroll which will trace your complete lineage back to the dawn of history. For a mere few gold, I can reveal the truth to you in the world. You are a true descendant of the legendary founders of this land. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just take the 75 renown. My dynasty may be yet small, but we aren't fools. Don't give me the scroll. I'm faced with Leofran, Leofran daughter's eyes. Okay, this guy's from the area we just took over. King. The girl has been at Kari's court with no one to watch over her since the disappearance of her dear papa. Please look to her future. I can take her in as a ward. This adds stress to me. I can try and find her a home. Becomes the ward of somebody else. I'll raise the girl myself. Okay. But I got, this wouldn't be, I, I don't adopt her. First time playing stream in this game. Uh, no, we've streamed it the last couple days. We've been playing the same thing. I know, she does have hail. I'm looking at that. She does have hail. Did we, are we, buy, are we buying or selling? She can marry your hail, son. That's so true, dude. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. If I adopt her and then marry her to my son, is that frowned upon? Robin, thank you for the 41 months. But if I raise her myself, then I've, I haven't adopted her, but I am raising her. And then we marry her to my son. 
I think that's probably the move. One way to find it. Now, I'm not going to adopt her. That uh, that causes all sorts of problems. I'm going to raise her. She's a cute kid. Needs a home. I'm raising her. I shall raise the girl myself. I'm now overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, well, it happens. My business here is done. We've held court, and you know what? Cool. I've got a ward now. I'm raising a child. I am I'm raising a child to marry my son, which is just a, a weird way to approach it all. But, you know, it, it's the way it works, man. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm definitely keeping Donegal. Who's somebody I can trust? Not Balder, not Celeshon, not Tortoise. He didn't make a lot of friends, did he? Don't have a lot of uh, gifted courtiers to gift land to. I will. Uh, I will say that. We don't have a lot of gifted courtiers to to, to give land to. Uh, most of the people in my court kind of suck. The king of the north. Uh, very polite. Thank you. We ride on. Okay. Who do I want to give this land to? I'll just give it to. The Irishman, Celeshon McTigernan. He's clearly the best choice. Keep your enemies close. This is probably stupid, but we'll go ahead and gift him the Jarldom of Lothian. Really? Oh, oh I just... Uh, that was stupid. It was stupid for the reason that I didn't think of. Because it just removed my brilliant courtiers. You're probably sitting there like, there's no way he's about to do this. And it's like, watch me, man. I am totally about to do this. I'm about to remove the brilliant courtiers from my realm. Is what I'm about to do. Oh, I need to, I need to turn my brain on, man. I need to turn my brain on. Alright, let's gift some land out. Um, my champion, Balder. Yeah, you get this title. You're, you're clearly the... You're clearly the guy that should get the title. How did I lose some? How did I I lost somebody else that way? That's impossible. Okay. Well, fortunately, there's a guest in my court who I can bring in who's going to be a much better option as Chancellor. He will immediately become Chancellor Harold Lamby. So we've invited him. We've spent our money. And now we need to go raiding, probably. And then we can declare another rash of wars to conquer Ireland while we, we wait for Alba to cash out. Oh, that was so stupid. I never imagined you playing Crusader Kings 3. Dude, I play I play it all the time. Sylvie still hasn't married. Interesting. My heir, Kettle Sigtrigerson. And my other heir, Gudrader Sigtrigerson. I want Gudrader Sigtrigerson to be the only one. We've got a lot of time, hopefully, until that's a question. I am 29. My wife is 40. She never passed down the strong trait, but we'll take it. We don't necessarily need any more kids. We've got two. At least one of them will make it. Practical medieval approach there. Okay, what do we need? I need to declare war on Yal Hafdan Sagason of Mon, who has apparently put a lot more troops together. Try and cause a problem. Might I conquer county? The county of Dunbar. 
And you know, while we're at war, we might as well go to war for more of uh, Ireland. Except I think going to war in Ireland costs us prestige, which is what I'm short on. So we can declare war on other uh, people of the, the Norse faith. Those in Danelaw, perhaps. We're actually not far away from being able to hammer Danelaw. I should probably just raid. I, I don't need to do the war with Mon right now. I don't see them unless they create a powerful ally being able to, to withstand us. We can take Dunbar directly from Jarl Hofdan, though, so I'm going to do that real quick. We're going to go after Dunbar. Get the warships, baby! Get the warships. What now? Now my steward's gone? Can I lock in a court at all, please? Chieftain Boulder. All right. Can I lock in a court at all? <sighs> all right. War. Dunbar. Looks like a nice piece of land. How much is this going to take to to leave? Eight? Okay. Sweet. Let's go fight him. Leave the siege general on the siege. Go fight their army over here. Oh, we caught him. With our brilliant commander and our brilliant troops, the Jarl of Mon. He just stands no chance, you know? In the cavalry pursuit, we're able to just obliterate them. We'll just have this guy wait over here. For their inevitable return to try and free up their land. Look, they had no business having the land over here to begin with. Everybody knows it. They had no business having that land. Oh, we finished, cre you know, increasing county control. That's important. Not only that, it helps me get helps me get a lot more troops from that Donegal. The latest place I need to increase my control. I'm gonna just leave the siege, meet them there. I will I be able to run? I I don't think so. I think we're gonna catch them. Oh no. Ah, oh, we got him. We got him. We are the big bad bullies up here. West Francia is just trying to keep a Catholic kingdom up here in the north. My brother just died. We just won the war, we just captured the Jarl. So we can go ahead and end the war, but my brother just died. We've captured Dunbar. What? And I've inherited a war against the tyranny of Jarl. So Solvi fought a war and lost it against Mayor Sigurbjorn. Or Mayor Sigurbjorn strangled him with his own intestines. I'm assuming in a battle of some kind. Fine. Uh, well, let's go avenge my brother. Good God. They just, I mean, I got his land, but I didn't really care for it. Like, he was perfectly fine where he was. My bro- <laughs> My- My brother just died? He was eviscerated. Somebody's plotting to kill me as well. Well, this th things things are heating up. I know I have I have a good collection of vassals who are not a fan. One of which I created, but 
Zyre's the chiefdom of Dunbar. I can solve that for you. I don't care for Dunbar, and it helps you keep control over the area, which I think is yours. Yeah, totally. So you get the chiefdom of Dunbar to help you keep control of all the other vassals that don't like anybody, and that'll keep you a little more on the side. All right. I don't know what this army is, but they're going to join us, and I don't know where this guy's going, but let's just keep marching. All right, we got a, we've got the army together. We took Dunbar, gave it to the Duke there, so we can keep the other unruly people in control. I, I know I'm above my domain limit. Because I've ended up with both of these. But let me finish this war and then give that domain to somebody so that they don't get strangled with their own intestines. Ideally. Where where are you going? Real where really? We're going to the Faroe Islands. Is that where we're going? Oh my goodness. You want me to fight you in the Faroe Islands? I'll fight you there. You're sieging the Faroe Islands. That's your move. I've inherited your rebellion, and you're like, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go to the capital of the kingdom, and we're going to fight them there. Court grandeur. Okay. Beautiful. Caravan master position vacated. Yeah, I think that's the least of my problems with my brother dying, but I appreciate the thought. I actually can appoint people to all these positions. That's wild. Uh, bodyguard, Bud V. Rowdy. Yeah, I can recruit another bodyguard. A food taster. Preferably somebody that doesn't hate me. Would be nice. A master of the horse, Chieftain Knuter. Why does Knuter hate me? I always thought he was good. A royal architect. A cupbearer. Again, would prefer one that doesn't hate me. Ragnar Toki becomes the high almoner court musician. He's terrible. He's literally terrible. It says he's terrible. I'll go with Torgus Helga's daughter as my royal architect to help with the building and try and make her a little bit happier. She doesn't like me very much. Takes some intestinal fortitude to do something like that. Nice. Very, very nice. Very well done. You know, I don't think we need to do that. I think we just need to sail on. I think we just, I think, I think we just light the sail. They're, they're not going to be able to escape. We're going to completely destroy their entire army. They have no idea what they're messing with. Oh, sweet. My father, the great King Ingelfer, died of old age a long time ago, yet the flame of his life still shines bright. What surrounded him everywhere now seems to follow me. Many still consider me his son rather than a man of my own right. Just yesterday, an old present, uh, peasant was praising him as if he was still alive. The time has come to step out of his shadow, to make my mark in the world. Now I have plus 25% prestige and even more stress gain. Uh, great. I'm just cripplingly stressed at all times. I'm about to win a battle. My steed bucked, spooked by a small animal. I was almost thrown hard, only wrestling control back at the last moment. Cool, I almost just died. Which is unfortunate. I, I like not dying, usually. There's people that just hate me. I don't think I was a very likable guy until I uh, took the throne. Somebody tried to murder me. Oh my dude. As I was about to bite into the most succulent piece of duck I had ever seen, one of my servants keeled over, clutching at his throat. He had been helping himself to a taste of my meal. At the very least, he served it served as a warning. Wait hold on. My lunch is here. 
I, I almost just died. And the scheme was abandoned, apparently, we've learned. Alright, let's get the siege guy in charge and knock the rest of this out. Siege guy in charge, we put this down, then we give somebody else this duchy, then we get back to what we were doing before. Ah, they've gone up at arms. Cool, keep each other weak. Fight within yourself. Is that the Dunbar? Where's, who's the, where's the army of Dunbar? I gave you Dunbar, dude, I tried. Looks like he's going to lose. Well, then that does away with my rival if he loses that war and loses control of his land. You're Dizio, they give the 11 months. Yeah, I know poison food by lunch is here. Perfect timing. Just really gets, you know, really gets me in the uh, the eating mood. We do need to go raiding, though. We've bullied our way into some land, but we need to we need to consolidate the rest of Britannia. And then go after Dane Law in England. So I don't even know what this war was for. It's against the tyranny of Jarl Sulvi. I'll just imprison Chieftain Knuter. Thank you. Maybe you shouldn't have strangled my brother. Master of horse position vacated. Yeah, I guess you can't do that from jail, can you? More care of land cats. See, the problem is, there's only one guy that wants to be a food taster. And he's not very good. So, don't think we want to do that. Let me go grab my sandwich real quick. Exchange hostages. I don't do anything. I just want to raid, brother. We spent all our money. We got to go make more. We could raid Scotland and the rest of Ireland. That would make us a lot of money. But I want to get our troops' numbers kind of back up a little bit. And then we'll go raiding. There we go. Wait, where did this come from? Where where did my extra 200 bondi just randomly come from? I don't want that. There's no way I'm losing seven prestige a turn just naturally. There's there's no way. I don't believe it. Let, let one more month hit. There's no way. I'm totally losing seven of... Raised... Oh, because my armies are raised. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Oh, my... <laughs> my army's up. That's why I'm losing... Oh, it's just so stupid. Why did I disband them? I'm over here like, I want to go raiding. I just disbanded the army. Yep, streamer doesn't know. If, if you're ever going to use a streamer doesn't know, that's the time. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah.
All right, Vals. Thank you so much for the uh, for the four months. I appreciate the prime, dude. All right. We do need to give this away. My Chancellor and Champion. I believe he'll be fine if we give him this and that. He gets the two chiefdoms and the Jarldom. Jarl Harder of Sutrayer. A nice loyal Jarl that actually likes me. Amazing. Impossible. All right. This was not the men at arms or uh, regiment that I wanted. I don't want more Bondi. Bondi suck eggs, and I want better men. Bondi are like the worst one, the second worst one outside of light footmen. So we're going to. Destroy that men-at-arms regiment. And we'll work on getting a different one later. But that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm plus 3.1, which means if we raise the army. We raise the army. Then... I think I'll be in a pretty good spot. Financially, like if we raise the army to go raiding and just start walking around down here. Isn't there like a raise all as raiders option? Well, I didn't want to do it up there. Disband, disband, disband. All right. Um, let me get rid of the different rally points then. So there's only one rally point. Raise all his raiders, and that's where we're going to raise them all as raiders. So even while they're being raised, we're only paying for them as raiders. Which is good. That's what I wanted to do. Wait, 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 Why are... What? Oh. Okay, well, that button sucks. Raise all his raiders. Awful. Is there a disband all button, please? No. Yeah, there we go. Disband all. Okay, now that we've accidentally done this multiple times, what if I just raise all and then turn them into raiders over here? How's that sound? All right, we're raiding. Anybody that increases raid speed. He's reckless. He's a forder, which increases our travel speed, which is nice. When you're trying to get around nice and quick. Hey, Rob, thank you for the 22 months, dude. I appreciate it. Hold control while pressing raise raiders. Uh, then they raise in a single province. Got it. Maxime, thank you for the year. I appreciate you. This is May. Oh, yeah, look at May. Look at us. It I thought we'd be here. All right, it looks like, you know, this is a distinctly unrated Scottish castle right across the border. Let's go. Yeah, when we're raiding, we're not even losing prestige. So this is this is perfect. I think we just raid everywhere. You know the deal. We raid here and we 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 keep moving. The Kingdom of Alba. They're not getting West Francia involved if they're just getting raided, you know? My acquaintance, Sogon, has died in my dungeons. I mean, how much of an acquaintance was he really? Canuder escaped. God, that's a
Oh, I took a prisoner. Oh, good Roger. Took his first steps. Well done. I'm not going to add stress to you because that's basically ruined Sieg Trigger, it seems. All the stress I put on Sieg Trigger as a child has completely ruined him. How much money can I carry? 489? Yeah, okay, we're going to be out here a while. I think we can't even... I don't think we can raid Danelaw. Can we, though? We totally can raid Danelaw. Yeah, that's when you know the King of the North means business. When we start raiding into Danelaw. Kingdom of Scotland is alive for now, but, you know. I'm known as the Brute. King Sig Trigger, the Brute. Never one to shy from violence, you draw a little distinction between physical, social, and mental harm. It all cuts to the same end. My cousin Tortoise clearly was involved in this. She hates me and is a rival. Why do I have so many rivals? My guy's just a, my guy was a jerk. Before he ascended to the throne, you know, he was a jerk. Clearly. A big ol' big ol' jerk. I'm the brute. Oh, I can't raid myself. I forgot. I'd like to split the raiding armies in half, please, so that they can replenish a lot more often and not end up getting screwed. I did just try to raid myself. That That is a thing that just happened. I totally forgot I own that. All right. Anybody not been raided over here in wonderful old Ireland? Apparently everybody has. Oh, you know when all the good raiding spots are gone? Just brutal. Absolutely brutal. So Danelaw. Where the raiders haven't typically found much success. You know, since we're replenishing our, our supplies here... Let's reunite. Let's reunite the armies and prepare for our raid into Danelaw. Because if we meet the army in Danelaw, I think we'll win the fight. Especially if we walk down this border. No, I gotta go there first. We raid Danelaw. Is this FM24? Yes. How could you tell? A grand tournament's being hosted in Whitby. You know, it would be a shame if somebody showed up and raided Whitby while you were hosting a grand tournament there. That would be a shame. The great king of the north is here. And he demands your money. I had a new Rick Scotty. He does not endorse me. Well, I had the same Rick Scotty for a long time. I will convince this one to like me as well. I can raise a runestone for what? I recently, I recently deceased ancestor. You recently conquered territory. All right, I mean, it gives me piety and prestige. I'm not against that. My departed brother, Solvi, or my vanquished foe, Jarl Hafdan. I'll go with my departed brother, Solvi. And we will raise it in Orkney and Hjotland. Or... The Ancestral Runestone just gives good popular opinion. Where is Hjotland? Where is this one? Let's go there. Let's raise the rune stone in uh in Ireland. That's probably the place that needs it the most. Back to raiding. 
Life is good. What color is Zeeland's lands? We're Nortreyar, the kingdom of the North Sea. We own Iceland, the Northern Islands. Oh, Sterla died. That's a shame. Sterla's a beast. Jarl Vigfus uh, becomes your acclaimed knight, the Stallion of Torshavn. Okay. Vigfus is a good fighter. My personal champion, Bud Far Rowdy. Now I'm going to go with Morkar of Lancaster. It's awesome to have a Viking with the last name Lan uh, Morkar of Lancaster. It's pretty sick. This grand tournament seems to be going really well. I'm glad you guys are enjoying your Dane Law Grand Tournament while I pillage the northern lands. Come on, really? Vigfus passed it down again? I forgot how I even see that. I go to Champions and the Accolades. Right, the Stallion of Torshavn. Morker of Lancaster would be the next person, but right now Ragnar Toki is the Stallion of Torshavn. I don't really understand necessarily how all that works. I pretend I do. Have a court jester, it's good for stress loss and your ruler needs it. Do I have anybody that can fill the role? High Chieftain Kenyad. Oh, well, he already hates me. So, oh, win in Rome. Appointed as my court jester. Release the prisoner. As the grand tournament's over. We can just keep on looting. Sounds good to me. King Ragnar Hestenson. Okay. They don't have enough people to fight me here. I'm just going to keep raiding them. Now that we have, you know, all we, we have a border with Danelaw. Danelaw is weak! We're going to be able to keep enough supply to, to raid this coast and then fight this battle. They're going to run away. We're going to raid the barony of Jorvik where Danelaw makes its home. Well, that's a statement. An event in our court. I can pardon Chieftain Knuter. I can lawfully imprison Chieftain Knuter. I'm going to do neither. I am going to ransom these prisoners I'm working with. Money is what's going to get the world moving around for us. All the money we get from our wonderful raids. An inspired person can be sponsored. Awesome. Well, I just got more stress because now it's Shadow of Fame Daylight. Okay. I'm level three, so we, we got to break hard here. My liege. When you do something, Ulfskid Fjordur burns. You must send aid. I can let them all burn. And I gain let them all burn. No diplomacy in general opinion, minus 10. Or rampant urban... Because hmm. so we've hit, like, the full break. Flash, you... Uh, you, you, you ingrates all sorted out. Okay. Lashing out at victims. Deal with it yourselves. That would be rampant urban fires for 20 years, reducing development growth, holding taxes, and levy size. And the that land, which we don't want to do. So I think lashing out at victims is what we're going to have to do. 
Lowers our prestige and general opinion, which is better than the general opinion we would get. No, it's actually not. Rampant urban fires is always going to be a part of it. We can get controlled urban fires. So I'll do the lashing out at victims. Great. We've gotta love the full-blown stress break. Always wonderful. How much time we got? Little time. This will be the last one and then we're marching back up. Our supply runs low. We've raided enough. Scorpy, thank you for the nine months. I mean, I, you know, he is Sig Trigger the Brute. So. Oh, Gudroder stole my robes. Gudroder is the Prince of Fashion. I choose Prince of Fashion. I like Gudroder. Yeah, I will do the stress option now. I'll seclude myself. Cost me 150 prestige. Queen's von Hilders marched up to me, hauling my son Gutrotter by the ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around the corners, wearing a lynx skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the daylights out of people. Oh. Uh, that's just hilarious. Oh, okay. Um, I can punish him. You harass my son. I could form a rivalry with my wife, which would be nice. Oh, I exile her. Okay. I really profoundly do not care. Love that option. Big, big, big moves. So let's, uh, we, I could also lash out. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna seclude myself. We'll spin the prestige. Seclude myself, be truly at peace here. We've delivered our loot and everything. Now let's disband because we are perilously low on supply as an army. Thank you, Dane Law, for your kind contribution. Now, what's going on in the court? Saucy readings. Ooh. Lately, I can't help but notice the gaggles of giggling maidens. And usually austere warriors gathering in dark alcoves to listen enraptured to a book. Today, I finally quartered Mare with the book in her hands. It's clearly a licentious text filled to the brim with sensuous temptation. Earthly seduction. Oh, goodness. I'm silent while I ponder the probable reaction of Rick Scotty Einstein. So I am learned, so I could say culture comes in any form, let them read. Uh, or I could say, uh, juicy. Probably not the, the move. No, I gotta, you know, culture comes in any form. Let them read. I gain cult, uh, court grandeur and general opinion goes up. And, uh, you know, things that I need. All oh, right, the inspiration. Hi. Pele de Bray has a weapon inspiration and wants to forge a magnificent weapon. I'd like to sponsor your inspiration. He's very competent in his tra in his craft. I'll pay the 50 gold. It's both an honor and a privilege to forge you a weapon. Yeah, no problem, dude. I mean, whatever. It's a French guy. I don't know what you're doing up here, but I'll take it. Tell me what your preferred fighting weapon is. We can go sword or dagger, axe, hammer, or mace, or a spear. What are we feeling, y'all? What are we feeling? Hmm. 
axe, hammer, or mace, it is. 33% chance of each. It's an axe, let's go! He's begun forging an axe, you know? An axe. So we're gonna have to take Northumbria and Jorvik as duchies. And then we have the holy site and we can press on. Got a new diplomacy perk, cool. I wanted the Praetorian Guard thing. That's gonna give me, should give me a lot more prestige because I have plus 2% for each knight. And I believe that counts as champions. Champions are knights, right? Dude, he died? Are you serious? What a waste of gold. He died? I'm sorry. He died? That's pot. That's an option. He can just die. The guy I hired to make the axe just died. And it's like, well, dude, I hope you didn't want that money because you aren't getting it. I want to go raid England. You guys ready? We're going to go smack England around a little bit. I'm going to sauce him up. And I'm going to go for a hunt while we do it. I'm not even going to pay attention. Let's go for a hunt. I'm going to go smack England around. I don't think they're getting raided enough. Probably not. I'd like to plan a glorious hunt. Anywhere that I can... Uh... I don't have a legendary sighting reported in my realm, so let's go for a normal, uh, go for a normal hunt. No falconry or any of that nonsense. Um, it's just hills, forest, no holding. We could go to the Unshutter. Ah, change the location. Oh. Uh, let's go out to Vestfurter. Any dangers? Coastal sea, mountains. So we need a mountain guide. Or a mountaineer. And we need, uh, experienced captain. That doesn't get rid of the, the danger. Oh, the danger is the taiga. So then we just need to hire a forest guide and there's no danger at all for our journey. You got it. And I'm going to go with a large party. No, I'm not. That's too expensive. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go with a reasonably sized party of 15 guests because I'm a king. Dang it. My entourage. I don't really, I don't really understand the difference between the entourage and the guests, but... We're going up to hunt for recreation. We're blowing off steam. Start the hunt. Caravan Master Morkar of Lancaster, you'll get me up there, bud. Are we feudal yet? No, we're travel. Need to have another child? No, nah, I don't think so. We've hired a forest guide and a mountain guide to take us to the north of Iceland for a glorious hunt while we raise the army to, to go raiding. Can't wait. It'll take us four months to get to the north of Iceland. And when is it? September? It's going to be nice and warm up there, too. Nice and warm. So the army's being raised, and I want to sail us to England. All right. Unite the army. Well supplied. Raiding on. Rock and roll. Oh, come on. Wait a second. You're telling me that this stuff hasn't been raided? We're not in a little while. We're, we're just going to go ahead and raid all this real quick. We just keep raiding. Always be raiding, homies. Always be raiding. I can create the Duchy of Ulster. Well, I should have done that when I had more money. 
Mare is a fornicator. Well, that doesn't surprise. She is the wet nurse, after all. I would like to pardon her. I would. Now, I know I have some prisoners. Is anybody else that we can, uh, good Fritter Anderson? Well, they should be paying more, apparently. You're learned. You're a smart guy. You're a decent steward. You're blind and... And wounded. Your wife's dead. You're just not having a good time, are you? That's a, that, that is straight up just not having a good time. Oh, I have a truce, don't I? Well, I'm gonna take that anyways. The beating? Oh, I forgot I was raising Leofrun, Leofrun daughter. I totally forgot. What in the world has happened to Leofrin? She's bruised and beaten. She refuses to name who did this to her. Was it an older child or did she pester a noble to the point of fury? Now she has all but stopped talking, constantly hides away when people are nearby. You have to run, my child, then she becomes craven now. Dear girl, you don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. I like the idea of King Sig Trigger the Brute having a huge soft side for Leofrun, Leofrun daughter. This random lowborn child that I've adopted. So we're, yeah, you don't have to talk to anybody if you don't want to. No worries, kid. Other people are scary anyways. You don't have to talk to anybody. Won't catch me out here making you talk to anybody. A duel demand? Oh boy. An imposing man is standing in the road. I'm Hrafen of Sutherland. I have bested dozens of men in combat, and honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am, on this road, looking for someone better than me, someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become your valuable and loyal servant, and so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fight. We could trample him. I have no interest in him, and then we just trample him. You might be less valuable after I win. Uh, prowess challenge against Rafin. I would, uh, I'd, I'd trounce him. I'm actually a good fighter. Believe it or not, but my name is The Brute. Rafin Ulfus. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll take him. I won the fight, and he's in my court. Okay, that's one way to meet a guy. But I think he well, he's, he's a good chancellor. At the very least, he's somebody that I can give some land to, and I won't hate. Because he's, like, smart. Pay ransom. They want to pay 26? No, you got to pay 100. What happened to the hunt? Oh, there it is. We're making camp. Okay, we hunt soon. Excuse me, I'm, I'm raiding. There's important things to do outside of the hunt. The hunt begins in 45 days. Well, I'm assuming it'll pop back up in 45 days. We raided that? Cool. Now we sail down to England itself. The Barony of Winchester. You ready to raid England, baby? This is some classic Viking nonsense right here. We land at the Barony of Carillion. Actually, we land here. Nope. It's all right there, and then that. Oh, I just got 50 gold for, for nothing. Sail, you mighty warriors! Sail! Well, the blind guy died in my dungeon, so it's safe to say his luck didn't get any better. Good prospects, okay. 
Um. We go after a wolf, a fox, or uh, a hare. Let's go after the wolf, dang it. I'm, I'm gonna go after the wolf. Screw it. We go big. I'm going hunting for crying out loud. Wait, I chieftain Kenny and my jester bumped into Bodvar as he got off his horse and knocked him to the ground. Now I can beat him with a belt. I will tell him that's no way for a high chieftain to act and I get a diplomacy boost. Let's just do that. That's no way for a high chieftain to act, even if he is my court jester. All right. He looks so stupid with the jester hat on. All right. Classic dude stuff. Jarl Haraldr pushed a boulder loose and down the mountain, so now I can try and do it too. Help Harold to roll the big one for me. I get crushed by boulder. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Very good. Let's continue. That increases our chance of success, but adds a little bit of stress. Or, uh, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, a little bit of stress isn't gonna, isn't gonna destroy me now. Uh, I found raptor eggs. Sweet gold. Ragnar signals across the valley. The whole wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far off. The beasts bolt up on our approach, howling the alarm as they retreat into the leafy bushes, fangs snarling. Uh, after it, we ride. I gain 75 prestige, but this is a more perilous option. An accident's more likely to occur. I'm going to attempt to ambush the bow. The, I can attempt to ambush the wolf with a bow. Like, cut it off in the the front. Now, I'm a good fighter. I'm going to go with, uh... I'm going to go with after it, we ride. We ride in with our spear. Surprise, raiders. Slippery Wolf has many tricks, blenches, and ruses that full experienced hunters. My Chancellor Heralder has halted the party. The wolf is doubling to and fro, retracing its steps and running trails to throw us off the scent. There is no agreement on which course to follow. Each moment we tarry puts us farther from the prize. I can trust Heralder. Or I can trust myself. I've heard of this ploy. Sweet. I didn't- I'm- I'm very smart. I'm actually a smart guy, which is unusual. So let's do that. We get a 94% chance that our success chance increases greatly because I have more learning than Heralder. And that's it. My advice pays off. Well, it's because I'm a genius. I don't know what else to tell you. Did we catch it? Oh! We followed into the highlands as though in a trance and almost a natural science hanging heavy over the wor- the- um, the world. King, there you are. Ragnar and the rest of the party have caught up. Oh, I was tracking a legendary beast, apparently. I can say it got away this time, but my stress get, my stress goes up for each year the beast eludes me. That seems like a disaster. I can say I was scouting ahead, but then I add to my stress. Sure. Let's add to my stress. It's just part of the game. Ah, oh, good. I reduced stress. Beautiful. 
Let's leave the adventure behind for now. Time for a trip home. I can't pause. Okay, I did pause. I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. I gained uh, hunting skill. The hunt is over and we got some important stuff. I'm also able to create the duchy title of Ulster, which I now own. Sweet. Good things happening. Spending the money that we are making. And I should be able to carry 478 gold, so if we can keep this going. Life will be good. In foreign soil, I don't think I can divide the army, unfortunately. So we won't get to that much gold, but we'll try. There's plenty of gold to be had down here. They can send their army after us if they want to. No, nope, don't care. Oh, well, guess we're there anyways. We might as well raid it. Do I lose even more stress when hunting now that I gain the hunter trait? I believe so. I believe so. Cool. I gained two on. I visited the cap. What? Okay, I gained 200 martial life experience. I can designate a guardian for Good Rotor. Right. I would like Good Rotor to be a. a, a a learned man. At last, we don't seem to have many learned men around, so I'll teach him to be a good fighter. Good fighters are few and far between these days. You know, my guy is a good fighter, thank goodness. Just walk right down here. Looks easy enough to me. Oh, I can hold court again. Time flies. There's Stonehenge. All these baronies that look like they've never been raided, ever. This is good, the money will be nice. Although we are gonna start to run low on troops as we walk through the Midlands. Or this isn't the Midlands, but... Away from the coast, we'll lose the men we have. Nutrition's about to get a lot worse, too. So I think we just stick Barony of Winchester and sail home. I wanted to raid the capital of England. And that's where we are. I don't know where their army is. They're not at war with anybody. I think they're just looking at our brilliant troops and they're like, Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Fair. I am about to become dramatically undersupplied. So let's finish the raid. Beautiful. And we have 154 gold to bring home from our raiding. And that's how we'll get home. We'll sail off that way. Now you can pay the ransom. All good. My bodyguard and champion I can pardon? What did he do? I don't even know what you did, dude. So you're fine. Ah, uh, yes. Ale fled of Wessex to be ransomed. God, they sail so fast, dude. Well, that's a raid, baby. Might be time for some war. We also made some serious money from the ransoms that we took. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. 
And we just got a household savings as well. Oh, the cash money. The cash money that we're rolling in. Don't have crop rotation. Yeah, I know. Oh, we want to throw in a trade port. Yeah, probably. 150 gold, start building a trade port in the Orkneys. That is the land that we want to hold. All right, now let's consider... I could have held a tournament or a tour. Court Jester? Oh, nice. My liege, I know something that'll cheer you up. Watch closely as I sneak up on my prey. My Jester Sinead appears to whisper to me. Hungry, Sinead screams, hurling a fig pie in the face of my champion, Hrafen. Oh, it's a knee slapper! A classic jest. Nice work, man. Great stuff. A real knee slapper. Okay, who can I go to war with? Not the King of Scotland. Who, while he is too weak to defend his borders all the time. I can go to war with half done of Mon, but he does apparently have he's got allies that could make it interesting. Oh, he's allied with Danelaw. Prince Heston the second Ragnarsson of Dan well part of Danelaw. Two different people in Danelaw are allies of Mon. Hmm. They're trying desperately to hem us in. Desperately. They're trying to stop me. Oh, who died? Balder? Steward's not my strong point. Duke Selakan Maktigernan. Welcome to the court. You should be a Jarl. Kind of a loser thing to not be a Jarl. Lafersha, thank you for the tier two for 42 months. Oh, Lafersha, thank you for the gifted subs, yo. 10 gifted from Lafersha and the tier two for 42 months. I appreciate it. Celebrating by making 10 people's days. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get the subsection of the Discord, dude. That is uh, it's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers for 42 months, too. That's, that's a long time. Uh. All right, lads. What do we fight next? Uh, he's defending against Jarl Hafdan of Mon. So you're telling me Jarl Hafdan of Mon is trying to unite Ireland. Or Ireland's doing some of its own uniting. Some interesting wars going on. All right, well, I'm just going to sit and let that play out while Mon's armies get all scattered, and then we're going to fight for Annandale and solidify our border with Danelaw. Or we could fight for whatever this duchy is. Connacht. Yeah, let's let's fight for Connacht and then go to war with Mayo as well. We have the money, we have the piety, we have the uh, prestige. In fact, we have so much prestige, I feel comfortable adding a fifth unit of uh, my men at arms my personal army who might who might we add to chat Dare we add more Varangian veterans to our core? Or dare we add Huskarls? 
to properly screen our retreat. We don't retreat. Yeah, most for most people, Huskarl's the best early game unit, but then they don't have Varangian guards. Midmage, thank you for the seven months. I do feel comfortable with the prestige to start, you know, creating another unit. Ugh. Oh, we'll get we'll get Huskarls then. I seem to be the I seem to be the go-to. So let's get the Huskarls, let's increase their size to 200, and let's station them in a good place. However, we're going to be able to get them a nice bonus, so they're going to get the worst bonus, because Dungal's just the worst bonus to place, but that's fine, because they're by far the smallest unit. So let's get them in place as well. Shadow of Fame Zenith? Oh no, what happened? So Shadow of Fame Twilight is gone, and now I have failed you, Engelfer, and I have failed myself. Oh, God. Despite my years of efforts, my life's achievements pale in comparison to my great father, King Engelfer. Dude, I'm only 35. But I, I just had a stress-breaking event. Oh, boy. Oh, Eliana, my sister. Remember the importance of your family, Sig Trigger. Wear the name of House Nadoder with pride. Irk not the eagle. Is that our saying? That's a pretty sick saying. Irk not the eagle. That is a- that's a- because we're the eagle. Don't irk us. That's a cool saying. The story is about her daughter, Sif. I don't remember anything about Sif, Filiana's daughter. But she doesn't have any good traits either, so... We're doing a good job there. So let me reduce my stress, or I could add one diplomacy, which I still have none of. Which is which is amazing to me. Let me, let me try. I'm going to try to add... No, stress is very important. Thank you for the story, Ileana. I need to reduce my stress. How big is our army supposed to be? 5,200? So we'll wait for the Kingdom of Mon to get all engrossed in that war, and then... We coming back. We're coming for Kanakta. We're coming straight for Kanakta. And then we'll declare war with Mayo as well. And then we'll be able to unite that whole duchy. My adopted daughter, what's it up? Paco, thank you for the four months. Almost have a Twitch child. You are on the way. How we doing? Benji, you're doing well so far. My ward is uh, up to no good. I was shocked when I caught my ward Leofren trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Duke Selashan. She blamed a game another child had invented, but I could tell she was lying. You have to learn to get away with your lies. Be deceitful? No. Be honest, and you will see others open to you. Honest is terrible. Humble is uh, is good. We are all guided by rules greater than ourselves, child. Be humble. Yeah, be humble. <sighs> Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. And then I can declare war on Mayo, who are basically already defeated anyways, to attempt to conquer the county of Mayo and the Unite Connacht. And then I would just take... Mon would not be able to put... Because we would be capturing like half of Mon, Jarl Hafdun's lands. They would not be able to put a serious army in the field if we took half their land. Or they can put a serious army in the field now, which I'm not a fan of, you know? Boo them. So let's get to work. Now that his army's got all the way over there and they're all concentrated, let's go to war for Kanakht. We'll fight for those little provinces over there later, but I would prefer to make him not dangerous right now. Okay, to war for Kanakht. And then we go to war for the Earldom of Mayonnaise. Yeah, while we're at it, do you have any allies? Oh, yeah, you're allied to the guy in Ulster. 
Eh. What's another duchy? Linster. It's under the control of the High Chieftain Bressel. He only has 286 men. He has an ally who's Thomond. You want to just go to war with all of Ireland and then just try and take it all? I think we could just declare that war. Yeah, screw it. I'm going. I, we're, we're, we're sending it. There's no way Ireland's going to be able to put the... Actually, all of them combined would be a problem. But I think if we go to war with this guy and then his ally is the guy in Thumund, I think we, there's no shot they can put an army together that's, that's good enough. The Earldom of Leinster or the Duchy of Leinster, which I will be, I will fight for the Duchy of Leinster. And then I will fight for the County of, the Earldom of Thomond. And then that is all the war that I feel comfortable declaring. But we are now at war with most of Ireland, a war that if we win, we will have, we, you know, we will have control over Ireland. So let's raise all of our troops over here. Let's get the army in the field. 5,000 men. Sound the horns, boys. We're going for a big war. We're going for a big war. Prince Hestinson. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We expected their, uh, we expected their imminent arrival. We fight for Mon. I'm going to try and end this war with Mayo real quick. Actually, what I'm going to try and do is catch this army. Because that's their main one. Somebody's offering me a concubine. I think Eba would be a good concubine. I don't. She's also Catholic. I don't really know how that works for her. Alright, they're marching to that. This is a very ambitious war we've gone for here, but hopefully we'll be able to make this work. All right, so we're going to try and catch them in that spot, or maybe bait them to go for where we're besieging. No, we'll be able to catch them. No way we don't catch them right here with our unbelievable 41 commander. Oh, come on. We're there. We're there. We're there. Oh, my goodness. No, we're not. All right, well, we'll hold this siege. Keep an eye up here, make sure they're not getting anything. I know we've got some armies that are going to be walking around over here, but they're not going to be able to do the damage we're doing. All right, we'll leave a siege on Mayo and then try and catch them here. We'll leave a siege on Mayo, let the sieges carry on, and then use our elite troops to try and crush them. Oh, they're coming over. They want the, they want the, they're going to try and unite their troops. I see it. I see it. They're going to try and unite their troops. Well, I'm going to stand and wait for them right here. Because that makes life easier for me. I'm going to wait for them. Come and get it. We can end the war with Mayo pretty quickly, get them to tap out. Then we take Mon out. All right, get your army together. Let's do this. Where are you going? Oh, they they want to they want to they want to run away. They want to get their army together and then run away. Okay. Well, then we will just hang out and siege all this down if you don't mind. Might as well go fight those guys. Oh, they ended up getting in a fight crossing the channel. Cool. Good for them. And crushed. Captured some enemy combatants. Unfortunately, none that ended the war. Almost fail to notice my steed catches sight of some threatening small reptile and goes to buck, quickly taking a firmer grasp of the reins. I calm her. Cool. I actually just reduced a lot of stress that way. Well done, man. All right, you go there. We'll try and divide, make sure we stay refreshed. We've got lots of wars to fight. I'm going to try and end all the other Irish wars before we end the war with Mon now. 
I've been corresponding with your Chancellor Jarl Herolder, King Dongal of Alba. Oh. Apparently my, my Chancellor actually did a good job. Sweet. Make sure we keep our troops well supplied. Lancashire's under siege. Well, it's not actually Lancashire. There's just... Okay. You know, I'm going to go end these other three wars while you dilly and dally up there. How's that sound? Sounds like they're dillying and dallying is what it sounds like to me. Oh, I got a diplomacy perk. Let's go. Okay. Just keep an eye on that army. Let them keep sieging. Oh, that, well, we knew that was the end of that war, so we have, we've taken mayonnaise. The chiefdom on the west side here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, I've taken mayonnaise. Who gets mayonnaise is the real question. Oh, my guest, Yorinder Osmunder? Why did you not tell me this guy was here? I'll pay Yorinder right now. He, he's literally my new steward. Not even figuratively. Yorinder, you brilliant man. Right. Uh, and also, Yorinder, I'm going to end up making you the leader of this whole thing, so I'll go ahead and grant you the title of mayonnaise right now. Chieftain Yorinder. How's that sound to you? You were literally just a guest in my court, but honestly, things... Things are moving quickly. Uh, let's 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 march down here. Let's let's just go. Let's go take care of business down here. Let's let's end Leinster on the east coast. New Chancellor is the guy you beat in a fight. I oh, know it's not. Thordis grew to hate each other after Numa's disputes in court. Uh, you and Thordis Nadador came to. So isn't that that's my cousin? Oh, that's the daughter of my original half-sister. Okay. Got it. Let's pay out the ransoms. Uh, you know, you can have it. You can have it. Oh, bad time to be you, dude. Your army got caught. You got crushed. Yeah, the Norse, you know, pretty, uh, pretty ferocious these days. Oh, they're raising an army. Like an actual army. Interesting. They've put together an actual army. One that I at least have to pay attention to. I, is that all levies, though? Uh, no, they've got some pikemen. They've got some bowmen. That means we would lose this fight if they came over here. But that, that, that that's not quite what I think they're going to do. Oh, we need a new wet nurse. Some things, you know. Start a search for the new wet nurse. Do, 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 do. Who's the better one? We'll just take the better one, even though it's going to apparently cause incredible stress for me to hire a wet nurse. Because I get stressed by literally everything. So we need to do something to reduce the stress. I'm going to seclude myself again. Which I can't. Because we don't have enough... Uh... Okay, we're going to go for a hunt. Can I go for a hunt? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to plan a hunt. Alright, ready? Did we get a... Did we get a sighting of a, a glorious animal, right? Where was that sighting of the glorious... A boar sighting? Ooh, boar sightings. I don't think it's a good idea to hunt here because, you know, the war and all, but Yeah. 
Yeah, probably not a good idea to hunt right next to the war. Alright, let's just count on me not getting too stressed while we do this. Once we end the war, then we will do that. Oh, beautiful. My jester showing up in the nick of time. Oh, wait. My bitter rival Helga's daughter. Nice. As I'm about to retire for the night, a scene of unbelievable hilarity ensues before my eyes. My cousin Thordis, naked as the day she was born, chasing my court jester with an axe. Come here, give me back my clothes or I'll split you in half, she screams. Ooh, you'll never catch me. I need your clothes to build my cozy little jester nest. They're the jesters. He's killing it. He just saved me. Killing it. To build my cozy little jester's nest. Hunt the English? Well, we gotta hunt the Irish first. You know how this works. I'm gonna try and compliment my, uh... Religious leader. It could go well. It could not go well, but that's... Oh, it worked. I, Stein of Sussex. Who's somehow my Norse religious head. I That should be impossible, right? So we're gonna... How is that possible? Um, We're gonna end this war against Leinster, and that'll reduce this army, and then we're gonna come over to Thomond. Yeah, that's that. All right. I would like your lands. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, that's a new duchy as well that I will worry about creating in a I should create now, actually. Create the duchy of Linster. And that will give me the prestige that I need to help see out the rest of this war. Now we will unite the armies. And we will go fight Thomond. I've studied the Norse language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Norse script, the letter of friendship from a speaker of Godlik. Vassal in the kingdom of Alba, okay. Send my regards, sure. That guy will probably be my vassal one day once I trounce the Scots. I'll want him to like me. Okay. We've already occupied some lands. Let's occupy the rest of Mon on the Irish Peninsula. As they, their siege is uh their siege work is slow, I'll say. Their siege work is slow. Alright, the army that Thumund's been able to put together. The greatest army I've ever seen in Ireland. Absolutely no match for the Kingdom of the North Sea. Destroyed. My ward, leofren has been harboring a secret affection for Andres Vigfason for some time. However, when she finally confessed her feelings, Andres responded harshly. Now Leofren mutters whenever he passes by. She'll gain the trait Vengeful, which is virtuous, apparently, in Asturian culture, so... Maybe not bad. Maybe love's not for Leofren. Leofren should not let anyone treat her like that. And then she would become stubborn. And her stewardship would go up a lot. No, I'll just let her become vengeful. Leofren. Andres looks like an absolute grade-A dweeb, too. I, you know, that wouldn't have been my choice. Andres would not have been my choice. You could, you could have made a better choice. I'm gonna try and get their army back together. Hey, you guys finally won a siege. I'm so proud of you. Oh, wow, we don't have enough men? Oh, there. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm about to crush the rest of the Thomond army. Then I will give you enough men. I've decided their best move is to throw themselves into a heroic last stand, which I appreciate a lot, actually. Should have declared war with Desmond, too, apparently. All right, you walk on over there. You go help them out with that siege. Converted the faith. Sweet. Let's just keep doing that. Convert the faith of counties. Astaru. They must be 
Astaru. We will unite the Norse faith under the kingdom of the North Sea. Ah. I see the Merriam-Webster tweet about soccer. No, but I'm sure it triggered a bunch of people. All you have to do is say the word one time. And then it usually does. Okay, so now they brought their army over. They're going to try and siege that place back. Fair enough. Once we finish the siege of Thomond and end our wars in the south of Ireland, then I will bring my guys back up. And we will end this again. The way it was supposed to be ended. Actually, we might be able to go just do this fight right now. Nah. I don't want to give them a chance. I don't want to give them any chance at all. They will likely win that siege war, but we'll get this army over here. We'll be ready. Oh, I've had my latest mental break. Perfect. I could get grouchy ruler for 10 years. I lose prestige and courtier opinion. I could get strange recluse, direct vassal, and courtier opinion minus 5. That might be better than the loss of prestige. Is it a sharp one? It's just 0.25 a month. Than the minus 10 courtier opinion. I'll go strange recluse. We've got problems. I'm lashing out. I'm a strange recluse. I'm suffering from excruciating irritations. I'm an unhappy guy, you know? I am an unhappy guy. All right, Thomond, you're mine. Somebody made the Yams Vikings. I've never really played as Vikings before, so I don't really know what they do. An enterprising Nordic adventurer has launched a vicious invasion of Chief Sverdeslaw, sweeping the lands of Volan out from under him with a surprise attack. What makes this unusual is the invasion seems to have had a religious motivation. Toki partnered with the, As the Asatru zealot named Ingjaldr, then set up a warrior brotherhood they called the Yams Vikings. The group claims they will enforce the old ways, striking against Abrahamics, reformists, and rival pagans alike, reaving a bloody swath up and down the waters of the Baltic. So what do they do? You were saying that they were great. How did I not how did I not do it yet? What do they do? Oh, I'm not even using the siege guy. Oops. I thought he was over here. Alright, we have done it! Brilliant! I am now the proud owner of more land in Ireland. And if you are Irish, you can probably see the writing on the wall at this point. Do, 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 do. I'll leave enough people for a siege. The Siege Speed Master in charge. I just need these guys to refresh their uh, supplies before we go up and fight those guys. Alrighty. So we've ended all of our wars except our, our Grand War with Moon. Oh, my Court Physician died. That's not good. Master of the Hunt, High Almoner. More care of Lancaster is there. Oh, that's, Ragnar has been with me a while. I'm gonna miss Ragnar. That guy, guy was, uh, he was a baller. Chieftain Yorinder of Mayo. No. Definitely not Duke Selishan, who hates me. So we will make my wet nurse, my former wet nurse mayor, my spy master. Works for me. Something's up. Secondhand glamour. Right. So I'm not out on campaign. What you got going on? Finest raiments in the land, Svon Hilder, mostly because they ain't from this land, Shortle's mayor, as I walk past her open chamber. Her voice uses charm, but even so, my other courtier seems unsure of the pitch. Almost new, just as good as new and fresh from the trendsetters in King Alfred's court. Well, I don't like those. It's what everybody in King in the Kingdom of England wears next season. We don't need foreign nonsense. Or I could say those do, the, those do look enticing. 
I'll take the prestige and the loss of stress instead of, uh, yeah, so I can say we don't need that foreign nonsense, all that hip English clothing. We don't need it. I'll take the prestige and the, the stress reduction. Because I'm arrogant, which causes a lot of my stress as I get all arrogant and try and do something. Like an absolute fool. Oh, what's up? my Oh, my air. Kettle. Time to get over the course of his studies. His natural affinity for careful planning and little misdirection. He's an intricate web weaver. And then also, very importantly, he's an idiot. And we don't want Kettle to be inheriting the throne at all. Uh, no, we do not. That being said, we will try to find somebody for him to marry that is good. This guy sucks, though. Will he have an awesome wife? Uh, Margo, who is a genius, probably not going to happen. Kettle and Margo, ah, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, so no geniuses. Anybody that's intelligent. Anybody that's quick. The ten-year-old Vigdis Bjorgov's daughter. Yeah, sure. We'll do a. Uh, we'll arrange a future marriage with Vigdis. Oh, well, she's actually somebody of pretty noble uh, birth, Bjorgov's daughter. Okay, that works for me. I can hold court now, which is fun. Too many duchies held? Well, that's like your opinion, man. And then we've got to search for a court physician, because that guy just died. So we got to stay on top of this stuff. So off you go, and then anything else I can do? Borrow gold from a holy order. I still haven't determined my personal deity. I think I'll go with a devotee of Thor. Gives me extra stewardship so that I can, can handle my realm. Could seclude myself to try and reduce stress as well. Ah, we're not having a break yet. Jarl Hoftun formed a new alliance. With who? Jarldom of Brinnick. They don't like me very much, do they? All right, so we do need to appoint somebody in charge of these two lands. The Duchy of Munster is going to have to... It's going to come from somewhere else. But we need we need two people to take charge of land. Oh my goodness, Gormir. Where did this guy come from? Here, you get both of these. Have at it. You're a, an incredibly studious steward. You get the Jarldom of Leinster. And you also now become my new steward. As a brilliant steward, Jarl Gormir of Leinster. Traveling through my court, and I'm like, you look like a leader. So we're going to do that. You click on the find spouse, arrange marriage, you get a list of suitors, and then there's a filter option for inheritable traits. Um, yeah, but I always understood that the suitors list didn't include everybody that you could potentially marriage. Which is why I, I try to... Uh, Make sure I you we find the hidden wonder kids here. So the world is full of dangers. Yes, we've got our, our four options. Evald is good at alternative medicine. Rikiza is enthusiastic. Godfredo is quite experienced, but Dragos would be the best. Dragos is an Orthodox Christian. But he is a physician. Godofredo is a novice physician. So I think Dragos is the best option. And he is now my court physician. And he has the trait monk, so I can't convert him, but he'll help me out. You know, we're, we're an open and inclusive people. That's the key here. So now we go crush their army once we finish this siege. 
It's going to take a while. Duke Andres, the cruel of Breniak, has joined the war. All right. Well, I don't think his army is going to be involved in the business we're about to get up to, so I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, my goodness, dude. Finish the siege. Thank you. All right. Now we unite our armies. And we race to fight this battle before the new ally, the Jarl in the north of Daneland, is able, or Danelaw, is able to join them. All right, we got our Granger back. Didn't end up costing us anything. Oh my goodness, what happened? My entourage and I are enjoying a long, leisurely ride near the Faroe Islands town. Our business of the day concluded. We wind our way homewards in time for the evening meal. The sun is just beginning to dip below the horizon, sending red beams of light cascading through our number when my horse bucks suddenly. The motion is far too hard and too fast for me to regain control, sending me hurtling from the saddle. So, 80% chance I'm about to become incapable. In which case, I am essentially brain... not brain dead, but... Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, do you think my uh, my new my my new uh, doctor can solve that? I begin sharing power with Kettle. Yeah, well, okay. I gain stress. Can I even register the fact that I've gained stress? Like, honestly, be honest with me. Can I even register that I've gained stress? I'm going to, can I adopt a special succession type? You're not dumb, you're just crippled. No, it says physically and mentally. Uh, the picture is literally a picture of a brain with a hole in it. So I'm going to go with, you know, both. My regent is Kettle Sigtrigerson, my 16-year-old son. Yeah, I, I think the whole hole in the, a hole in the brain is probably a good sign. Bad sign, actually. Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys want to fight? You, you guys want to dance? Is now I'm under the regent of my 16-year-old son. I think that takes disinheriting my 16-year-old son out of the question. All right, we are going to... They just divided their army. And half of that army is going to end up here and try and buy time for the rest of them. Oh, now they're trying to come back and help. I might just be able to erase the entire army before they get there. I did, and now we're waiting on the field of battle for the rest of the army of... The Jarldom of Mon to show up. At which point, this army might get entirely crushed. We'll see. Uh, yeah, the horse is in, pers in pursuit. We did some serious damage. All right, the army destroyed. We are now going to leave a siege on this land that we did lose to them. And we are going to go kick them out of that area. These two, this 212 should be under control of my siege genius, yeah. I'm going to go scatter them away. My regents avoiding duties. Great. Great! That sounds great. Sounds awesome. Can't wait. Love it. Already. Where are they running to? They're running back to their land. Okay, well, I'll chase them back over there then. Or no, where where are they going? Oh, they went back to the capital. Ah, got it. Well, let's walk there, then. We're going to pin all of them to the capital. Oh, I, I could sponsor an inspired person. Yeah, I do know how to disinherit my son. Um, I... 
I just assumed I wouldn't be able to do it since he's the regent. Anyways, we have inspiration. I do not have... Uh, his skill is legendary and renowned throughout the world. Holy smokes. Okay, well, I'm going to sponsor this other inspiration for Bohuj the Metalsmith. Yeah, I'll sponsor that. The the other guy that is legendary for his craft all around the world. I we're we're at war right now. I don't know if I can spin that. Oh, Otter! My uh my mom died. Kenny at Alpen, did he die? Did Kenny die? Oh, I always hated Kenny. Oh. She doesn't own all that land. Okay, that's just her Yarldom. Got it. Oh, he's now the regent for somebody else. Okay. Well, I don't have a jester anymore. I see the sun thing. I don't have a master of the hunt either. Morker of Lancaster. I always liked Morker. Cupbearer, Hrafen Alfus. To keep me safe. My food taster. Kettle Sigtrigerson, my son. Seems all right to me. High Almoner, Dregoj. I mean, he's not even my religion, though, so that, that feels like a weird move. Bahuj, my champion, is a content fool. Well, then he, you know, he looks like a good choice as, uh, as a guy. Okay. Uh, but if I disinherit my son, who's the new regent? Good trotter. Maybe. All right. I cannot take overt hostile actions against my Diarc. Great. I wonder if you can do it when the thing pops up. Like when you're looking at the 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 thing, can you do it? At that point, where are they sailing? Oh, I know where they're sailing. I'm gonna leave a siege detachment and try and. Yep. Okay. There's no way they're able to disembark that fast, dude. There's no freaking way they're able to disembark that fast. Are you kidding me? How on earth are they able to disembark that fast? That is infuriating. My existence is torture. Yeah, well, death is near. Glorious. Glorious, my death is near. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. My vassal Ban Moramora could cost me well, Matt, my liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Bohush the metalsmith. They say he is forging regalia worthy of a king. Please take this and give it to him. I don't want to miss a chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. All right, cool. 15 more gold, maybe higher quality. Works for me, boss. Did they capture my siege guy? Oh, I have another one if they did. This war is going to take a little while to end, annoyingly. But maybe if we're able to continue this siege long enough of Mon, we'll be fine. A claim in the High Chiefdom of Meath? Sure. I'll pay the 36 gold. Welcome to the court. And we can just enforce that claim and then we don't have to worry about who we're going to give it away to. And they have the rights to it. The rights to the land. Alright, so I get there August 14th. When do they leave? 
August 21st, 20th, and 22nd. Well, then you're all dead. Then you are all dead. My metalsmith Bahush updates me on his progress, droning on about the limits of hammer and bellows uh, as my mind reels with bold ideas for regalia. Might not be my personal forte. It doesn't mean I can't have a say in how the money is spent. Likely make it lower quality. Could make it higher quality. Have you considered this angle? It's a learning challenge, and I'm not an idiot. My ideas work well. Awesome. All right, we crush the rest of the army, and now we wind sprint back this way. To make sure that we don't lose the progress we're making on the siege of their capital. I'm sorry, what's under siege? Heralder died? Oh no, I liked Heralder. He was really good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a sick chancellor. Prophet Ulfus. And that's the guy I met on the road back in the day. I knew that's where they were going. It's going to be of lower quality. Fantastic. That's the war. Good. I'm glad we got that war over with. It was dragging on far too long for my liking. I got really attentive care, so I'm actually going to be alive for a while so we can figure out how we want all of this to work. Um. So I got control over Drum here in Galway. I want to grant one of those to... This guy, and then we're going to grant the other to somebody else who is not going to be a courtier of mine. So that's my Reek Scotty. Court tutor, my cousin architect and seneschal, my son, Goodrutter. Oh, so many options. Try to assassinate your... Look, I know I have a lot of options, okay? But I don't think I can do that. I can't take any openly hostile actions against him. I have taken a lot of prisoners. Should probably look around and see if there's anybody we can... Ransom. Those options will be here. No. This guy. Well, he's the guy that we actually might be able to ransom for money, but I don't care about that. I need to negotiate his release. I'll demand his conversion and recruit him. He's a good fighter. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to negotiate his release, demand his conversion, and recruit him. Snedgus Cannibal. Very learned Eistai Bjorsen Flatman. I'll recruit him. He's an excellent learner. got the the top learning trait then gray eminence is also sick so we're gonna go ahead and recruit ingrid Selakin, Selakin's daughter 
Nice. Okay. I can create the Kingdom of Ireland, which is a bit of an issue for me because I thought my death was imminent. It's now not. But I think I'm, we're going to have to deal with one of the sons or else we're going to end up with two split kingdoms. I think that's what Ben was talking about. So. Amazingly, I'm still not a huge idiot, and I'm still a pretty decent fighter, even though I'm incapable. Hmm. All right. And create the Kingdom of Ireland. We can create the Yaldum of Connacht. Or oh, you usurp it. I don't know, man. I own the entire thing. That feels a little stupid to me. Right, anyways. Gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Just a dude. I just need a dude that likes me. Who doesn't have a, a, a role. Really not blessed with a, a ton of excellent courtiers. So we have to pay for this guy. Grant him that title. Grant the title because I don't want this guy to be too powerful. But I am going to grant him a couple of titles. Well, I can't grant him the whole thing yet, but he becomes the chief of that. We don't want to be too far over our limit. Oh. Are you still allied with West Francia? Who's fighting him? My vassal is kicking him all over the yard. I love it. The Jarl of the Sidreyer is beating the Kingdom of Scotland for their own land by himself. You know, expanding the realm for me while I don't have to do anything, basically the ideal scenario here. All right, we got to give that land away too. Uh, my Rick Scotty and Champion. Rick Scotty and I, he's theocratic, so I can't give it to him. Okay. My guest, Friedricher Voy. Vioy. Hey, you want to join my court, dude? I'm literally just going to give you land. All right, cool. Because you're not an idiot, which is so rare around these parts, man. You have no idea. I'm surrounded by fools. So you get that. I have, let me guess, too many duchies. No, but we should go raiding. I know that. I should go for a hunt, but I don't know how that would work because I'm incapable. Oh, he's a berserker, too. That dude's a big-time fighter. Sweet. We've added some people to our court. All right, strategy. We need a strategy to deal with this. I'm going to fight for Desmond. Oh, don't worry. The next time we get a war together, we're going to shred the rest of Ireland and bring it under our uh, banner, you know, but we don't really have the uh, prestige to to go for that.
I swear that's the same guy. It's almost the same guy. I have the trait incapable, so I can't declare war. R.I.P. in peace, dude. Why did my son have to become my regent? Oh, you guys want me to invite knights, then I turn them into vassals. That's not a bad idea, is it? Alright, well, raiding parties seem like the way to go now that we are the biggest, baddest dudes on the block, no question. Because Moon, even at max strength now, is going to be not near strong enough. We've, we've taught Jarl Hafdan the lesson that you don't mess with us. Alright, we're going to go raiding in Danelaw. Danelaw is... Yeah, King Magnus Hestenson of Danelaw. No, the King of the North Sea is where it's at. You know, we could try to get my older son killed by having him lead the lead a raid that's ill-fated. Let's try that. Let's raise the local raiders. And let's send him into Danelaw to die. Wait, what happened? Jarl Vigfus and High Chiefess Itty are the most powerful vassals of my realm. Yeah, he's the Jarl of Iceland, and High Chiefess Isti is, uh, you know, the High Chiefess of Moray. I never know how to keep them happy so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in the making. I should let my beneficiary, Bohush, know that I am dedicating this masterpiece to my trustworthy vassals and advisors. After all, why not myself? Yeah, they both already... Well, I Chief just doesn't like me. But her whole family has not liked me for, for a long time. So I'm going to give this to myself and get the prestige. Let's see if we can get this guy killed. We're going to raise an army of 75 people. Oh, dang it. Wow, because it raised the... Um, sorry. Um, we're going to need to raise less people than that. All those guys? Yeah, uh, no. All you guys? Uh, no. So we're, we're gonna raise a hilariously small army. And where's my son? Where's my son? Kettle Siegtriegerson. Nah, you know, dude, this is just too unrealistic. I can't. It's just, it's too unrealistic. I, I, I would feel too cheesy doing that. You know, like you want to, I, it would feel way too cheesy. It'd feel way, it's too unrealistic because it would probably work, right? It, it would probably work. I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Nah, we, we want it to feel, uh. King Aldred of England? Wait, did England get... No way England and Scotland are rolling together. Oh, they are. Oh, they absolutely are, and now my vassal got bounced. My child vassal got bounced trying to fight Scotland. They called in England, which sucks for him. All right, raid and raid. And we're going to have two armies that are raiding down uh, together. That are raiding down the coast. How much money would they be able to store? 300 and 255? Yeah, I think we'll be able to just keep walking for a while. Why are the supplies going down? Maybe, maybe while you're raiding, the supplies always go down. They should when you're in an area that can support you. Stay at the same level. Inspiration, creative freedom. Dude, you're taking forever with this, man. Oh, it's my antiquarian. 
Yeah, time for a breath of fresh air. Mel Collum loses opinion of me. Bo Huskins, 10 opinion of me. No, I don't want to replace him. I'll, I'll add my stress, sure. Stick to your own duties, Mel Collum. Leave him alone. Ah, oh, my inspiring rule. Of course. I don't know how I'm still alive. I'm like King Philip from Spain. I just don't die. Despite the fact that everybody seems to be aware of the fact that I should be dying. There's way well, youthful stupidity is one thing. Marching into Dane Law with 16 troops is another. Ah, Leofren. Leofren, Leofren daughter. Time to betroth you to my son. I will handle that later. The common girl that I raised is my own. Found it difficult to apply that kind of creativity. She's a flamboyant trickster. Okay. Leofren, Leofren daughter. Yeah, sorry. I, well, I raised you to marry my son because, you know, obviously. Arrange a marriage with Leofren, Leofren daughter. The proposal, I mean, I'm the person that has to approve it, so I will, uh, I'll guarantee the betrothal now. Oh, there's a war going on in Danelaw. Well, that should make this a whole lot easier. We're just going to be wandering around. <laughs> well, uh, Danelaw is at war, man. Uh, they're not doing anything. Oh, go there, go there, go there. We don't, we don't want our guys to go too far apart here. Actually, no, you'll be okay. I'll keep it. I'll keep an eye on you. I'll keep an eye on your troops. Ah, the war with the Danelaw people not going well for them, anyways. I captured Duke Andres' son. Cool. I don't like Duke Andres. Talks a lot of smack. So my son already married my elder son's uh, betrothed to a, an intelligent enough person, as it were. Those armies are going to be busy fighting each other. We should just be able to keep walking down the coast and raiding. Ransom? Uh, thank you. Appreciate the payment. Take all the money you want to give me. And we'll just keep raiding, raiding, raiding. I'm raiding everything. Raiding, raid. Oh, they're all on the same side. Interesting. Are they coming to fight me? This is my question. This is a bad time, dude. King Sig triggers regalia. Ooh, it's good. It's good. Fertility bonus. Powerful vassal counselor tax contribution. Prestige. This is lovely. Thank you. Bohush, my jester and general idiot. Appreciate what you've done. Don't let me call you a general idiot for long, you know. All right, we're going to keep a province between us and them. We're going to walk down here, grab that loot, and then keep grabbing loot. Ooh, they're getting crushed. Oh, the Jarldom of Brittany's involved. Oh, he's allied with the Jarldom of Brittany. Okay. Well, then that's going to take care of that army, and we'll just keep raiding. I have no quarrels with the Jarldom of Brittany. Obviously. No quarrels at all. Oh, they're... Where, where, where are they going? If they fight me, I'll win. Oh, they want it. They want the smoke. All right. Well, let's, uh... Let's stay here. Let's make sure we've got our best commander on the job. Which we don't. So I'm going to put our second best commander on the job here. Let's put our best commander on the job here. Jarl Vigfus of Iceland. What do they have? Uh, we, we've got better troops. It'll be straight up. We've got the Varingians. Yeah, they're they're much worse than we are. We should be able to win that fight easily. There are more dependents on the rabble, the levies. Yeah, well, they just got crushed. 
We don't have the horses, so we can't chase them down. Tragic. So that's good. We took a prisoner during our, our raid. And we will just keep raiding Danelaw. Okay, well, apparently all of this is going to hurt, so... We'll go down and then work our way up. This war has been helpful. Oh, that goes in the regalia spot. Nice. Thank you for reminding me. I actually invented the first IQ test in an alternate reality to select his vassals and potential marriage commitments. Of course. I mean, what do you what do you think we're doing here? Oh, seal fled Hestening. You know, what if I keep her? She's strong and quick. And she is also the daughter of King Heston the Proud, which means her claims are nuts. What if I negotiate her release and recruit her into my court instead of the 50 gold? Because she has claims on Danelaw and is like generally freaking awesome. And then I break my betrothal with whoever I was going to marry before and marry my the ruler I'm going to have that I don't want to Princess Sifled Heston daughter. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. See, so you're uh, you're in my court now. What did Chief Disclod do? Is there any way to see what they did? She's a fornicator, a dwarf, has herpes and is also ill. You got enough you got enough stuff going on. I I'm not going to make it worse for you. I'm not. I I, I, yeah, I feel like that would be mean. You you have you have abs you have plenty going on. I I don't want to make it worse. So, next order of business, the ruler that I apparently am going to be forced to have, who is Kettlesig Triggerson, who is betrothed to Vigdis Bjorgolf's daughter. I would like to break the betrothal. What's that going to cost me? Vigis of Torgar and Kettlenadatur will, they're going to lose opinion of me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes, I'd like to break those bonuses, and I would like... Sorry, Vigdis, it's nothing personal. And I would like to... This regent is not loyal enough to consent to being married off. Let's scheme to sway him, and then do the thing that I'm talking about, so that he doesn't marry somebody that sucks. Because right now, it sounds like... He's going to marry somebody that sucks. And we don't want that. We are we are we are going to be leaving Dane Law with so much money if I play my cards right and get out of here. Mail column died. Okay. We lost our antiquarian. He wasn't very good at it anyways. Ah, Einstein Bjornsson. Interesting. Dude's got the most Viking name of all time. The Dissolution Faction. Gaelic Insular Populists. Oh, I would love to fight a bunch of peasant rabble for the fun of it. Ah, the Army of Brittany is going to help him. That's a shame. Hey, go to... Uh, go, Dude, walk down to Stafford, man. They're, Stafford's rich as all get out. They don't have the army to stop us. 27 gold, brother? 27 for one little pit stop? 27 gold. Somebody hasn't been raided a lot. Dane Law just hasn't been raided a lot. And it shows. And we're taking prisoners. Hopefully that we can ransom. Oh, I took a Jarl. Oops. Uh, she is a stutterer. Oh, well. 
Wow, things are happening. Okay, uh, secret exposed. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal chieftain Yorinder is an extramarital affair with his lover Martha. Surprisingly normal day. Uh, name. My vassal and champion. He's the chieftain of Mayo. These accusations are not but malice and lies. Yeah, I'm not using it as a chance to arrest them. Oh no, he had an illegitimate child. Great. Well, that sounds like a problem for him and not for me. So I'll just let him worry about that. He can he can deal with the wrath of his wife and all that. I'm good. I'm staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. This is not my problem. Are you going to fight me again? Yes, you are. All right, have at it, boys. Here we go. We got our best commander on the spot, the Jarl of Iceland. All right, they're crushed. Yay. They've been crushed. Let's keep getting money. These guys are going to be rolling back with a lot of cash. I'm going to take these guys back once they're done with this uh, spot. I'm being raided. Oh, no, I'm not. Gowry? From where? Oh, the Scots? Come on, I didn't know you guys played like that. What? The Scots are raiding me? Oh, I will raid you so hard, dude. You're about to get raided into oblivion. Everything in Scotland should be raided perpetually all the time. Living a decadent lifestyle, that's what happens. Not spending enough on military and thinking too much about morals and stuff. I can't remember what you're responding to, but that sounded really good, so we're riding with it. I like it. We've crushed the army of Danelaw, so... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm out of gold spots. We gotta just ride up to... I'm just gonna take a double hit here, and then we've gotta ride up to our land. Oh, death awaits me. Stalks my every march. Alrighty. We're moving nice and slow, but we will get there. I delivered all of my stuff. They're raiding over there. Well, uh, let me take your raid loot real quick. Do you mind? Do you mind if I you mind if I just hop over here and uh, take your raid loot? I didn't really check to see if I was actually favoring this fight, but I do think I have my horses. I have a few good troops. Clearly, we had a few good troops. And then the horses to pursue, crush the army, recovered 29 gold worth of raid loot. Sweet. Let's keep raiding. We're gonna keep the armies up. We'll just recover them. We've returned all of our loot, which is amazing. Dangerous faction. The Gaelic Insular Populists. Okay. Looks like we might be crushing some peasant rabble here. Can I not raid against Alba? Why, why would I not be able to raid against Alba? Do we have a truce with them? I don't think so. I was talking about the rich Danelaw town that didn't get raided enough. Ah, oh, yes. Don't worry, we've taught them a lesson. So why would I not be able to raid right here? I want to raid. I want to raid right there. That's exactly where I want to raid. All right, with the war coming, let's disband and recover our troop numbers. That was a successful raid. It's wild how long I've stayed alive in the current state that I'm in. Hey, son. Love me. Is that too much to ask? Dude, we just made like 400 gold from that. That's just so insane. I love raiding. I love raiding so much. <sighs> uh, let's get, uh, we, we could just go all the way with the Huskarls here. I can't declare war, so we might as well. We'll go all the way with the Huskarls and just have all the men we can have, which would be 5,300 men in the field.
I'm so mad I can't declare war, dude. I'm gonna have to disown... I'm gonna have to disinherit Goodritter, the Prince of Fashion. The good one. And Leofren, Leofren daughter. But I'm gonna miss them. Snolly, thank you for the Prime. I should probably do that right now. Like, if we... Oh, I don't know, man. But if Kettle dies... Kettle's not gonna die. He's... N he's 19. Kettle's not gonna die. I happen to fall off my horse at the wrong time. It freaking happens. <sighs> Dane Laws reunited under King Magnus Hestens, and they put down whatever they were fighting. That ally, the, that alliance with Brittany is annoying, and they're allied with England, who I think I could take if England came marching up here to try and defend the Scots. But I can't declare war because I'm incapable. I need to die. That's what I need to do. Uh, I thought I had a notification in here. Oh, yeah. Whew. Like Christopher Reeves. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just staying alive, man. I, I am... I am life itself. I am unconquerably alive. Well, the thing is, once I, um... Once I die, Sulvi is going to get Ireland unless I disinherit him. And I like Sulvi. But I, I could eat the disinheritor thing for five years where the general opinion drops and I spend 300 prestige and 150 family renown. Ugh. Sulvi obviously hate or Goodrider hates me. It's not Sulvi. Sulvi was my brother who got killed in battle. And then that would leave Kettle Sigtrigerson Nadator, my regent. Who managed to position himself in, in the right spot for whole power. So that's... This is what I have to do. This is what I have to do. And if I die, I die. Then it passes on to my only heir and eldest son, Sig... Um, Kettle. Who I named Kettle as a joke because I figured he would never inherit. And here he... Yeah. Here he is. I do have the attempt suicide decision. Maybe we should do that. All vassals are 30 opinion of you. You lose a level of devotion. You die. The dynasty not adore decrease their level of splendor. Now, nah, dude, I'm going to die on my own pretty soon. There's no way. I'm not dropping a level of splendor. That takes forever to gain. Vigfus died? Oh, the, the Jarl of Iceland died? He was an amazing marshal. I'm not even going to try and say Gila Komgain. Gila Komgain. All right, we've got our armies. We might as well uh, keep fighting. Region avoided mandate duties. Great. Good job. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. Excellent work, man. I know I can't declare war, but we can just build up an incredible war chest financially by raiding constantly, and then when I die, inevitably, hopefully freaking soon. At right, a minus 0.7 prestige, even when everything's put away. Because of my large collection of men-at-arms troops, including the Huskarls now. Uh, no, I'm working on swaying my air, but we seem to be going in the opposite direction. There we go. We got a, we, we landed a sway, but I, 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 I don't know. We're at plus 82. If we get to a hundred, maybe. So another, another sway perhaps, and it'll be ours. We can't go to war. So let's raid England. In the meantime, you know, let's raid England. Alright, everybody converge. 
on that spot. And then we will divide you in half. So walking around England, we won't be leaking supply. Okay, here's here's where we're going. We're going out to sea, and then we are landing... Oh, wait, sorry. We're not in a raiding stance. Raid. And raid. We are raiding. Yes, us, the mighty, the mighty awesome dudes that we are. We're raiding. And I am not really threatened by their army. So you're going to come down here. And you are going to start... Oh my goodness, the Bisphoric of Canterbury is 98. There's 98 gold over there for raiding one province. No, I played CK2 for a ton of hours. I just... Oh, what What's happening? I'm having a mental break. Yeah, we'll just keep going strange recluse. That's my MO. It's a holy site? Okay. Holy site, sir. Oh my goodness, it is. It's a holy site for Catholicism. Are you... Oh, what if we went down and raided Cologne? There's no way they have the army to defend it. Or not Cologne. Cologne was over here. What was it? Santiago. We'd probably go up the river and raid Cologne, too. How's the king of Sweden doing? Very well. Yeah, well, wait until... You, whoever the sun is over here. The sun that takes over would... I think we know who that's going to be now. Oh my goodness, 98 gold. All right, we keep rolling. Oh, the gold down here is insane. Pillaging and raiding and pillaging and raiding like the good old days. Pay the ransom. You're paying it for Osred Heverdson of Ellsbury. Sure. Sounds good. Almir Alfas. Yeah, I got no need for this kid. This guy, they've been trying to pay for it forever. And they're just not. I can create titles, right? King of Ireland and the Duchy of Connacht. I would like to create that title. Yes. Constantinople's usually around 200. Oh, my brother-in-law. Ah. Oh, Karl Bjornsson of Jantaland. Ileana's husband is landed back in charge of some land. That's nice. My older sister. Ah. Uh. I want to save the Kingdom of Ireland, but the Duchy of Connacht lowers our vassal count and gives us the prestige to kind of continue what we're doing, so. And then we give it to Yorinder, because we like Yorinder. There you go, Yorinder. And we want to keep Yorinder in our realm, and he'll rule over Connacht. As the raiding continues, because we're awesome, and we raid stuff. Prisoner taken in siege. I'm sure they're incredibly enthusiastic about ransoming him back to me. Or the other way around. The raiding will continue until morale improves. Apparently. Children receive one to three extra skill points. Nadadur got plus two diplomacy. Okay. Cattle got plus three intrigue. We take those. 
All right, you walk there. I know it's going to hurt a little bit. We're going to lose a few guys, but you know what? It's, it's fine. No pain, no gain. And you're going, uh, we'll just say straight down the coast. No need to go too inland. The best stuff isn't there. Cuthbert, my prisoner, has died in my dungeons. Yeah, I will always remember Cuthbert for his incredibly sick name. And he will be missed. You know, do I really want to destroy England? I, I'm, I'm growing fond of the money they're able to provide me consistently. <sighs> Feels like you know, a real waste of time to destroy England. Why would I want to do that? They're giving me so much cash. Already have 172 gold down here. This guy's collecting money all over the place. Hand over foot. Protecting against schemes. Bro, I don't care if anybody kills me. Somebody kills me, I can get on with my life. I'm like infirm. I'm a potato. I'm enthusiastic about the death. Funny you should mention it. Sweep through that way. Go to the Barony of Oxford, which I'm sure is wonderful this time of year. The wealth of the Kingdom of the North Sea knows no bounds because we raid everything. Ooh, the barony of... Oh yeah, we'll do this. And then probably that, and then come back up this way. It's all about mapping out your moves. This, we've only got about 100 gold left until we have to sail home, so... Let's just loot the capital of England. You know, Kingdom of the North Sea and all, just irrepressibly awesome, as we are. Uh, we're gonna loop around, just clean all this up, thank you. Jarl Yorinder. You've been pardoned, Jarl Yorinder. For what I... I have no idea. But you are pardoned. Have no fear, my loyal vassal. I will pardon you. Regent fails to skim from mandate. God, my son's an idiot. Can't wait for him to be the ruler. It's gonna be awesome. Really can't wait. Prisoners taken in siege. Hopefully somebody I can freaking ransom. Uh, after this, we're sailing home. This is the last one we're doing. That group is sailing home. This group will continue its raiding. Because there's some really, really nice money to pick up in Chertsey and Reading. In Guildford, apparently. In Oxford. We'll go to Oxford. All right, I got all the money I can carry. With this group, we've we've extracted the wealth, as some would say. We've extracted the wealth. You go meet them. I don't want them to get their butt kicked, actually. Go meet them. We've taken more prisoners. Hey, dang it. You're going that way, and you're going right there. Our level of splendor is increased. Awesome. That's what I, I wanted to happen. Wet nurse position vacated. Oh, because Goodrider has come of age. True. Is he good? He's all right. He's a charismatic negotiator. Betrothed to Leofrin, Leofrin daughter. They grow up so fast. Goodrider, the prince of fashion. You'll marry my ward. It's a happy, uh, happy occasion for everyone. They both don't like me, but that's probably because I disinherited... Now, whatever. Lay a friend, I raise you. You can't hate me too much. You're literally a commoner that I raised you out of the good of my own heart. All right, then we're going to go up to the Barony of Oxford and pick up the rest of the gold that these guys need, and then we are leaving. Let me check my dungeons. I do have ten prisoners down here. Anybody else I can... Oh, sweet. Woolgafu of Wessex is worth 50. Nah. <laughs> Could create a holy order with the piety. Oh, dude, great idea, great idea, great idea. Shoot, I 
freaking forgot how to create a holy order. I did that all the time when I was uniting uh, Africa. I had like four holy orders for this random African religion that I had. Oh, I'm near death again, apparently, so we'll be able to declare war soon. We go for the final bit of gold from the barony of Oxford. I've been on death's doorstep for years, man. Don't count me out. I'm unstoppable. And I'm rich. I am filthy, stinking rich because I have the run of Danelaw and England for raiding. <sighs> Were we able to get rid of the heir? No, but I did die, and I did disinherit the other ones, so King Kettle comes to the throne at the age of 22. King Sigtrigger ruled for 17 years and died at the age of 44, the last six years of his rule. Um... Yeah, he, 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 a tormented man, he long desired the sweet embrace of death. Oh, is he hurt as well? Well, at least I'm able to betroth that young claimant of the Dane law in my court. King Sigtrigger of Nortreyer has joined the feast in Valhalla. Sigtrigger, son of... Uh, Inglefer, the first king of the North Sea. Yeah, rest in peace to Sigtrigger. He did do some good fighting in Ireland, but he freaking fell off his horse and became an idiot. So sometimes it sucks. Oh, really? I'm only allowed to have four four places. Any? Uh, okay, I need to find a spouse amongst my courtiers, and as weird as it sounds, we're going to sort by age. Um... Princess Sefled Heston's daughter. I would like to marry Princess Sefled Heston's daughter, who I captured in battle. B because, obviously, congenital traits. I, I thought strong was a congenital trait. Strong's not something that can be passed along. It was in, uh, in the, if it's not something that can be passed along, then that's new. But we captured Princess Sifled Heston's daughter during our raids in Danelaw. Happens to be the daughter of the former king of Danelaw. And so I would like to propose a betrothal between myself and that, you know. Oh, they're really hitting me with every single thing. Okay, royal court. Yeah, I, I, I'm learning the royal court. Raise a runestone, hold court, grand tournament available. I do have the cash. I will have the cash to do something real serious. What is available in an intrigue education? Skullduggery, temptation, and intimidation. That doesn't really attract me. Wealth focus, a martial focus. I, I, I don't remember. Am I a good fighter? Not really. I'm also gout-ridden. I see. So my heir is Chiefess Ileana, my aunt. Should I pass? Because Chiefess Ileana's brothers are gone and I've disinherited my sibling. I could re-inherit him, in which case a death would mean Goodrudder, the king of the prince of fashion, would become the guy. Now let's fill the council up first. We need a steward. Jarl Gormir of Leinster. You're a brilliant steward. Mayor, are you the best option? No. Chieftain Fridricker of Thomond is the best option as spymaster. A truly brilliant option, I might add. Hraffen. Uh, no, my champion Snedgus Alcabral is the chancellor. Okay! My Ridcody does not endorse me. We will sway him. And the religious head will endorse me, and life will be good. Right, I don't have a direction, though. So the vassals uh, likely don't like me. Um, the strongest vassals really hate me. Opinion of predecessor was terrible. Ah, yes. The unpreferred heir. Well, we overcome that. We overcome that. We, we overcome that. Yeah, I get it. My vassals hate me. But you know what? A grand tour would stop that, wouldn't it? County control, popular opinion, and stress loss. What about a feast? 
may gain courtly vassal opinion, may gain prestige, participants uh, may gain attending character's opinion, participants may gain the eager reveler trait. Could hold a grand feast, though. Oh, you know, I'm going to save the money up for a grand wedding. When I get married, I'll save the money up for a grand wedding. Grand tournaments, prestige. Claimed night, all this stuff. Okay. The grand tour is better for opinion, even than a grand wedding. So I don't have a lot of piety. Dang it. Yeah, we, okay. First order of business, you're right. Runestone to remember our departed father. That is one of the options we have. We can create a runestone for our departed father that gives us piety and prestige. We shall carve it. Rocks through the ages for my departed father, Siegtrieger. I'm humble, which is good. I don't think stress is going to be as much of a problem. And we will place it in, um, in the Faroe Islands, which will give us good popular opinion there. Yeah, I, I just want to put it in the Faroe Islands. All direct vassals that also use rune stones gain an opinion of me. My departed father, Sig Trigger, who uh, may, I may or may not know wanted to not have me in this place, but what can you do? My uncle-in-law, chief... Oh, yeah, my uncle-in-law. Let's negotiate an alliance. Never bad to have allies. Even though he only has 300 men he can put in the field. And I can declare wars now, so once we finish this raiding, we'll get down to business, huh? Diplomacy, majesty focus, family focus. Nah, the kids... I said the kids were likely anyways, so I think we'll be fine. Um, could do stewardship or learning focus. So I'm not a fighter. I'm never going to be leading the armies. I'm a bad fighter and a bad marshal. I have a sick beard. Right? That gets passed down. That's hereditary, which is good. <sighs> intrigue is always... Like, the intrigue-focused stuff has always been my least favorite. But I get a 30% bonus if I do it. This is for Seducer. I was literally working on Seducer. So I'm apparently a cold man. What's the, what's my... My health is fine, but it's, the gout has been treated pretty well. Okay, I'm betrothed to Sifled, Heston's daughter. King Kettle Sig Triggerson. It's a good name. Carry my milk tooth around, which is just a little weird, but... Sure. What's FM? Uh, football manager. It's the game I normally play. The game I made my YouTube career around making tutorials for. But I've always played Paradox games. No, I need to. I need to choose a lifestyle. I want to go down the administration tree here. Yeah, diplomacy was the thing for prestige. I was doing that in the last guy, and then I went down. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. We're going to do the majesty focus. And then we're going to get the monthly prestige per dread. And then we're going to do the natural dread thing. And just going to... We're, we're going to get these four. And then get down to, like, commission and epic. Well, we'll focus on majesty. So Grand Tournament and Grand Tour are both available, but I- how old is my betrothed? She's 14. I'm 22. 
So wait two years. I, I'll tell you what, I, I should hold court though. We've got plenty of money. Anything that happens, I'll be fine. So let's hold court. Come hither. Let me hear the petitioners. Sound the trumpets, gentlemen. For it is King Kettle. Approach. My lord, I represent the religious community of Jedburg. While rummaging through our modest archive, we have come across a very peculiar book. The cover was dusty, the binding fragile, and the pages were yellowed by time. But it contained the most unusual drawings, and the script itself was unknown to us all. We are certain is unique to this world, a long-lost vault of unknowledge and treasure, and that's why we offer it to you. Perhaps it's the original copy of The Will of God, or it's a memoir from the world's creation. Thanks, I'll add it to my collection. I get a nice monthly prestige with the mysterious book. I could say who cares about books, but that's a stupid option. Thank you, uh, Gear of Ramsdal. Next! My vassal Jarl Jorinder gently bites his lip before stepping forward to voice his petition. Jarl Jorinder, who is the Jarl of Connacht in the west of Ireland. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of bandits harassing the modest, harassing the modest people of Hemani. He pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. I ask for any aid that you can spare. I... Hmm. I cannot spend 50 gold and then tell my steward to offer him advice, which provides a severe stewardship penalty. I'll spend the 50 gold. Jarl Jorinder, actually... Nah, steward. Provide the advice. Next! Duke Selican, my vassal, strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to his petition. Duke Selican, who hates me? He's part of a long line of people who hate me in the Jarldom of Lothia, in the lowlands of Scotland. My liege, Bruin Brifna is among the greatest houses of North Ryer. Lothian council should always be heard by the king, excluding your most qualified and prominent followers only serves to sow division and mistrust. Uh, yeah, but if I appoint you as my spy master, you will kill me. So, maybe we don't do that. Prove to me you know the value of liberty. Alright, then he either pays me 50 and gets a council right guaranteed contract. I can guarantee his council rights. I get a weak hook on him, and they gain the council right guaranteed for the Lothian leader. I could get bejeweled heroic sagas to guarantee the council rights. Such entitlements demand sacrifices. Oh, and then I would literally just get some land, only if Lothian's borders are never altered. Now, in exchange for greater commitments, of course. I'm just gonna say, is it not enough to be a duke? I don't like Lothian. Lothian doesn't like me, but I'm your liege. Leave me alone. All right, we've held court. Let's get back to raiding. We'll bring all this stupendous amount of wealth back. Like literally 500 gold that we're about to bring back. To the seas, boys! To the seas! With the gold of England! Do you like this type of game, and what is your opinion about uh, Crusader Kings 3? I like Crusader Kings 3. The latest update adds a lot more to the game, too. I'm always that type of person, though. I'm usually not- I'm, I'm always a fanboy for these, like, types of series, you know? Where I'll do, like, uh, Civ 6, and uh, people are like, Oh, no, dude, Civ 5's way better, and I'm like, I just- Civ 6 feels better to me. But I'm clearly not the right person to ask. No, you've got to pay me the 100 gold or you don't get your son back, man. Well, I got a 1,000 gold and uh, just got a whole lot of prestige from finishing off those two raids. Which means 
We are so totally ready to rock and roll with some wars. Oh yeah, we are. So he's allied to King Alfredson of England. Which is annoying. And then of course we have all of Ireland, which we could declare war with right now. My armies are raised, I'm working on it, okay? I just wanted to explore, you know, how much would it cost? So this, there's two counties. So we'd have to declare war on... That's a lot of prestige that we'd have to spend. That's a lot of prestige. So maybe a hunt. Maybe a hunt. Somebody's in my court. What is it? Two palfreys. Step forward! King Magnus of Danelaw has bestowed upon me a most gracious gift. A couple of well-bred palfreys. One mare and one stallion. It's a horse. My lord! My champion Morkar beckons me over to the mare. Look at these muscles. And those hindquarters! Is he hitting on the horse? What are we... <clears throat> this one would serve well in war. They will serve the lords and ladies of the court. I could fetch a good price. Uh, or I could get... I will train the mare myself and then I get a war horse for prowess and prestige. I would gain 150 prestige. That's what I need. 84% chance of success. Also, shout out to King Magnus Hestenson for riding up to gift me something. He knows that we're kicking his butt all over with all these raids. I'll train the horse myself. Thank you, King Magnus. Gained a war horse. Good deal. Let's go for a hunt. Oh, sweet. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. A name inspired by history. Mythology is full of awe-inspiring horse names. What do you think? History or mythology? I'm leaning mythology, chat. I'll be honest with you. I'm leaning mythology. Oh. After the horse of King Arthur, Lamre, Sleipnir after the steed of Odin, Balius, one of Achilles' own. I'm not a learned guy. The name of another Achilles' other horse, no, Boreas, the ancient Greek god of the north wind. Oh, that's so it. I'm the king of the northern islands. And that's the ancient Greek god of the north wind. Boreas. Come here, Boreas. We ride at dawn. Scott Boreas. All right, we're going hunting. Your mother, Svanhildr, died. Oh, God, I remember marrying Svanhildr into the family. That was a long time ago. My mother, Svanhildr, has died. Very, we, we do not have a big family, do we? There's just uh, Most of the family's dead. All right, let's hunt. Uh, do I want to hunt? Is that really what I want to do? Yeah. I would like to hunt. No, I really should just go to war, honestly. I should go to war for the rest of Ireland right now. Did I become the king of Ireland? Yeah, I am. It was automatically created upon the death of the father. Hi. Um, have we have we gotten our troops up yet? Let's let's get the rest of our troops back. That was a long raid down in England. A long one. I still say grand tour. Well, look, if we keep making enough money, we're gonna host a grand wedding and a grand tour, and then all of a sudden everybody's gonna think I'm super cool. Alba's a nice indirect way of fighting the English as well. King Eldred Alfredson is 43 is uh, two. I'm going to be able to outlive him. Prince Beothfirth Alfredson. Bruno died in my dungeons. I do have a lot of guys in my dungeons. 
Anybody else would be able to sell? Anybody else would be able to use? Ooh. A proper Marshal Koshel Villagrodsky. Some Chancellor Athelward. That guy who we've been waiting to sell forever. He's been in prison for 15 years, all for Orming. Noob Delaith. Okay. Our guy's back? Yeah. Let's go to war with the rest of Ireland. It's time to bring it to heel. Bring it under our control. And then we'll give it away, but... Ireland should be ours. Oh, Jarl Gormer? Who's, which one's Jarl Gormer? My amazing steward. He's got a claim to Meath? I didn't know that. Don't I have that other lady who has a claim to Meath? Let me press her claim. Oh, Duke Selashan's got a claim to Meath? No, I don't want to give him Meath. I'll give this guy Meath. What duchy is Meath then? Well, the duchy of Meath, you genius. All right. Then no, I don't want to press his claim either. I want to create somebody else who will be the Duke of Meath. Also, can I get a war with you at the same time? Probably. I'll just try and conquer the county of, uh, of Diflin. Except a war with Mon is just a little bit more annoying logistically. Not to mention they have some talented allies. Including the Duke of Lothian, who's on my side, but won't be able to answer the call. Because he's on my side. So let's go to war with just Ireland first. Oh, he's allied with England too. All right. So these guys are allied with each other. Well, then let's just take Meath and Ennis real quick. We can smash both of them. Get rid of the rest of this nonsense. Oh, well, we'll do that and then go to war with Mon, who have that kind of northern... Cont no. You can fight these one at a time where they're not super complex. Let's keep the war in Ireland. Let's go to war for these counties. Send the horsemen! We want the central counties of Ireland for ourselves. Raise the army. Gemini, thank you for the 15 months, dude. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Send Boreas? No, I, I just ride Boreas around. I, I don't actually do any of the fighting or the generalship because I'm not actually that good. I am gifted in the art of delegation. You know, the art of delegation. The trappings of majesty. Great. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler unequaled in the realm, dressing the part with resplendent garments and jewelry, would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. Only the finest in velvet for me. That increases my prestige by half a prestige a month and gives me better diplomacy for five years. But I, of course, gain stress because I'm humble. The local fashion will do. I could get traditional raiment, but it's more likely I fail. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go with the piety. I do not need things to legitimize my rule. I'm pious. Who is raiding me? Who has the gall? Who, do, who needs a good kick? Interesting. Desmond is raiding me. Oh, I will... I will certainly particularly enjoy crushing you now. Oh, I don't have my ridiculous commander anymore. Not as much curb stomping. Oh, yeah, I suppose I do have complete control over over my lands now. Hello. You had to know this was coming, honestly. You're almost completely surrounded by the King of the Northern Islands. I'm also now just the King of Ireland, so... You probably knew it was coming. 
uh, break off the siege. We have a good siege general who will help us. Oh, Desmond, your time will come, you pesky little invalids. Is development still the best thing to focus on? I don't know, I just really want to develop the Faroe Islands into a paragon of culture. The Faroe Islands, the seat of our power. Oh, well, that was fast. Guy got himself captured in the fight, so we don't have to do the siege. We'll just have these guys uh, split up, and then you go up there, and okay. What duchy is that in? Ah, Munster. I see, Chieftain Fridricker. I'm gonna grant that title to somebody else, actually. Gila Comgan Alk Balik. Oh, he's Irish. Yeah, dude, you get you get this. Come on now. Duh. No, he's my marshal. He's my marshal, so I don't want to give it to him because this guy's my spy master. Chieftain Friedrich Thomond. So as much as it makes sense to give the Irishman that has the skills to rule it the spot, I'm not gonna do that. Because this one went well, once we unite this under a duchy, we're gonna have to lose one of our two guys. My brother, good ruder, the prince of fashion. I can grant him a title, can I? Oh, that seems stupid to not uh, turn him into a Jarl. Honestly, it's probably one of my frickin' prisoners, all these guys I've captured. That we aren't going to, uh, ransom. Yeah, once we get the ransoms done, we'll figure it out. Should be some more. Yeah, you. See you later. And you. See you later. Oh, it's good to be rich, man. Give your brother the title in the duchy. Oh, I don't want to, though. Ah, a grand wedding promise for my wedding. King Kettle Sig Triggerson and Princess Sifled Heston's daughter of Dane Law. Sure, grand wedding. Send the proposal. Sweet. Let's finish the war and then marry in a grand wedding so everybody can attend. The King of Ireland in the North Sea. Yeah, if I give him the duchy, I lose my spy master. He's insane and likes me. Somebody was trying to message me on ye old Discord. 
My renowned trainers approach me after hearing the rumors of my mighty mayor Boreas and offers her services. All I ask in return is small compensation. She needs to be stronger to move more swiftly is something she needs. She needs to work in her endurance. She's lacking in fierceness. Now let's go with uh, she needs to move more swiftly. I've got the money. Move more swiftly. Money well spent. I got Agile Warhorse, which increases my prowess. Cool. Chief Disbodil. I pardon you. I don't know what you've done, but I pardon you. I should have imprisoned her and revoked her title. Ah, we learn, we live, and we learn. I'll work on swaying that guy because I've had some vassals that have hated me for a long time, which once we lose a certain amount of ability to control the land we have, will continue to become a bigger problem. Swift is a coursing river, and I, I say so. I say that might be the case. Ah. Well fought, well fought. Stand the armies down. It's time for a royal wedding. So, who are we gonna give this land to? This land will go to my brother, who will eventually become the duke of this land over here. He gains the chiefdom of Athlon and becomes my vassal along with my kind of stepsister. And now we plan a grand wedding after I figure out who I want to give Innis to. Probably just some random courtier who is not important to me. All I need is one who's not important to me. Who's not a bodyguard and champion, per se. Carl, I'd like to make you the man of Innis. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, why am I at war? Oh, great. I inherited the war. Are you serious? I inherited a war against men. Oh, my. That's so annoying. Can you just white piece out of it? No, they won't accept. Oh, I have to beat them. Come on. Really, guys? We have to do this. We have to do this right now. I'm trying to get married, bro. I'm trying to get married, dude. They could just walk over. I, I, I just rallied the troops in a really stupid location, and I'm going to pay for it dearly. That was really dumb of me. Should just go down the line. They're going to pick them all off, and then I'm going to have to bring them up somewhere else. I'll bring them up in Inverness. Just already start the process since these guys are going to get the lead -oed. Oh, did somebody die? Oh, somebody got captured. More car got captured. Well, this is annoying. Well, it was my own fault. I, I did do this to myself. I, I know that that's what happens. I just figured they wouldn't be bold enough or whatever. I have played Mountain Blade, yeah. Well, I ended up losing like 300 guys. The issue is the champions. Lost a few of them. Who am I hanging out with? Halstein? Oh, this is a smart guy. Brilliant strategist. 
So that uh, the band uh, he's telling tall tales, okay. You simply must stay at my court, Halstein. Yeah, you must. I, I need capable people that can administer realms. The lure of language, ruling the multicultural kingdom of North Rayer, comes with its own set of challenges. Oh yeah, I need to learn Irish for sure. I need to learn Irish. Oh, I'm an idiot though. My court tutor can help me. Yeah, he gives me a better shot than me hitting the books by myself. Uh, it's the exact same odds as hiring a tutor. So 72% chance that we learn Irish. Somebody offered me a concubine, Grimma. Princess Grimma Heston's daughter of Danelot? Wait, hold up. Dude, the Danelaw people, Magnus Hestenson just offered his own sister? No, who's, who's Grimma's, uh, yeah. Oh, I learned, uh, I learned the fundamentals of the Irish language. Sweet. Pause. You're offering me your sister as a concubine, somebody who is also the daughter of King Heston the Proud of Danelaw. Just to make sure I understand that. Wow, okay, yeah, I mean, sure, dude. I have one sister as a wife and one sister as a concubine. It's getting weird out here. It's getting weird out here. All right, we've got our troops together. After some some poor uh, some poor work. Some poor work for me for sure. But we will uh, we will take Moon back. They've solidified their army and marched into Ireland. A war I didn't even start. A war I freaking inherited that I didn't want to have. Uh, that, that's just annoying me. Does this guy like me? Ah, he's fine. Thorstolfsson, I forgive you for whatever you've done. I'm not gonna call my ally. All right, we're just gonna start dropping off besieging armies. Oh, my concubine Grimma is pregnant. That was fast. Dude, I need to finish this war so I can hold my wedding with your sister. This is getting weird. Isn't that a TLC show or something? It sounds like it. Oh, wait. Bodvar is injured in the eye, the hardest part of ruling. Daydream about plots, yeah. Don't take a nap, just daydream about plots, dude. Focus. Just daydream about the plots. It's all about the plots. Right, do we have another siege guy, or do we just have one? We just have one. Okay. Well, we will siege down what they have in Mon. We can go two for one trading sieges. Then we'll have these guys sail here, and these guys go down and fight their united army, and we'll put an end to this war where they're trying to conquer the rest of Central Ireland. That they, you know, then we conquered it and inherited the war because we own the title. You know, it's all part of the game, man. All part of the game. Oh, this is the Duchy of Ulster. Who, who I have as my guy, Chieftain Yacht for. Oh, Bohush died. I don't have a court jester anymore. My food taster is Halstein. I, I don't think so. Master of Horse. Gita come again? Sure. Bodvar Rowdy is my... No. Bjorn Fetter is my new master of hunt. Court musician? Oh, there's a... Bjorn Fetter could be my court musician. Or Halstein. Cool. Caravan master? Bjorn Fetter's only average. We'll save. We'll save that. Personal champion... I'm going to need a wet nurse here in a second, so I'll solve that. You're bad, you're bad, you're bad. But, oh... Uh, no, I'll wait for the other guy to come back. The, the prisoner I have. Can I exchange prisoners? Or, wait, no, I need to capture prisoners first. Then I can exchange prisoners. 
A sunny day for my horse, Boreas. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather. I must take every moment to practice. That gives me diligent training. Yeah, sure. My prowess is improving. When's the beta come out? A week and a half from now. Something like that. Something like that. She's a woman now? Who is this? Oh, oh, this is awkward. Oh, this is so awkward. So they grew up together. Remember, we uh, we brought Chief Dis Leofran Leofran daughter into the house. She was a, a, this peasant girl that they found that they asked what we should do with, and I said I'd raise her myself. And apparently my eldest son fell in love with her, and then I married her to my younger son. Uh, you know, and who am I to stand in the way of all this? I will confess my love, and, uh, yep, yeah, sorry, younger brother. Oops. Uh, she has scorned my affections. Listen, Leia friend, this is like Romeo and Juliet, all right? We're going with the seduce scheme. Here comes, uh, here, here, here comes the ultra-smooth King Kettle. That actually, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. You're growing up in the, you're, you're growing up in the castle. It's like the only, you know, girl around. It's not your sister, which would be the normal CK, like, Crusader King's way to do it. Not your sister, just a, you know, a person that was brought in and raised in the household out of the goodness of your father's heart, right? Oh, we lost the siege, my good man. We lost the siege. All right, let's unite the troops. Get ready to rock. Siege one, siege one. Oh, would you look at that? Now we're all of a sudden, we're winning sieges. Hey, let's march to Ireland, shall we? They look like they want to fight. Beneath those layers, what's going on? Oh, Chief Dislea friend. Oh, is she pregnant? Oh, that makes this even more awkward, dude. She's pregnant with my my brother's child. She seems like a reserved individual who prefers silence as a companion. At least that's how she appears on the surface. Who knows what sort of person she is in private, if she's meek or submissive, perhaps passionate and fiery. I'll find out once I've breached her stony exterior. Is that an innuendo? For now, I have decided uh, how to make myself remain in her thoughts. Uh, be as gallant and charming as possible. Approach her as a friend. Sure, we'll do that. That seems like the not weird thing. Oh, I had a daughter. With the babe cradled in her arms, Grimma looks up at me. The face, a picture of serenity. Husband, could we name her Thordis? After my serene sister. Sure. A lovely idea. Well, I had a child with my concubine before I could get married. Uh, mellowed my seduction attempts, budding interest. All right, we're making progress. We're making progress. Hi Z from Flow Clocks's way. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. This is not quite EAFC. Oh, they're making moves. They're making moves to try and defend the, the island, but I should be able to catch them in doing it. That's where they are going. Be able to crush a part of their army. Oh, that's not where they're going. Well, regardless, I will meet them and uh, destroy them up here then. They've decided to split their army in the face of a superior foe, which, you know, most people opt against that. For most people, it's thought of as a bad idea. Yeah, you probably can't get out of there in time, can you? Which means you're probably going to lose this one. Excuse me. Coming through. The great armies of the Kingdom of the North Sea. How old's my wife? Or my soon-to-be wife? She's 17. Yeah, we need to hold this grand wedding. We need to end this war is what we need to do. 
And then I'm falling in love with my brother's wife, right. Well, she had her kid. She's had two children, actually. Oh, dude. She had twins, and they're both ripped. Bro. Oh, I am so mad that this guy inherited instead of the brother. I had it set up perfectly. Is this PvE? Yeah, it's a strategy game by a company called Paradox that make historical strategy games. Chief Dislea friend's windows are lit by a warm glow. Even from the ground, I can see movement inside. I could leave a rose, up I go, try and get her attention. Uh, I'll try to get her attention. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna just go flying up there, you know? Come on, what am I? An animal? Jeez. I need to go crush this army over here. It's probably where they're running to. Ah, oh, never mind, it did not go well. Lay a friend. My childhood sweetheart has, has scorned me. Awesome. Great. They're Herculean babies. They are ripped. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. They're absolutely yoked. One percent monthly prestige per dread, and then we will eventually get a lot more dread. Good Rotor, my brother. I can negotiate an alliance with him. I'm not employing a wet nurse. Well, I will work on it. I'll actually, I have a lot of money, so I'll go recruit one of the best wet nurses in the land. Thank you. I can train for an upcoming grand tournament if I want. I should determine my personal deity, which I probably want to go with Thor. It's going to give me more stewardship. Odin's going to give me more of that wonderful piety. And more intrigue. But I, yeah, I'm gonna go with Thor. Fine, right, guys. I just, win, just win the siege in the capital and this is over. Hi, brother. No secrets at all to tell you. Absolutely no secrets at all to tell you. None. I have, I have no secrets. Absolutely none. Zero secrets to tell you. Uh, okay, they're headed to sea. Here, we need to divide the army anyways. It's time to resupply, unfortunately. We are, uh, we're out of supply. Don't tell me this can't support. No, it can. It absolutely can. They just haven't made it yet. Okay. Come on, dude. How hard could it be? Oh, now or never. What's happening? Oh, it's happening. Oh, okay. Leofren's reactions to my advances tell me everything I need to know. The time has come to put my plan into action, but I fear the consequences. Leofren's husband, Gudrader, my brother, and his agents will be hiding in any shadow. Yeah, we're already, we, we've already followed along with this. Um... We, we go ahead. No, it's not going to work. It's a 0% chance of working. End it. End it. Call it off. Read the signals, dude. Read the signals. Oh, this isn't my land. Right. True. All right, guys. Well, we need to go back here where we need to go. And then we need to re-supply. Re, uh, and hopefully once this siege ends, we'll just win the war. I think we might. And boom. And hit. And goodness. No, my mare is sick. Boreas trudges out of the stables, dragging her legs, hanging her head. The stable master assures me there's a cure to be found. What ails her but for a hefty price? Now nah, we pay the price. Find the cure for my agile warhorse. Yep, there it is. Took prisoners in the siege as well and enforced demands. Okay. Which I think is just they lose uh, 
some prestige. I gain some prestige. They pay me a little money. We disband all of our armies because, my goodness, they're dying. Why did my other armies not disband? Cannot disband while hostile armies are around. Ah, cool. Raiders of Gowrie have kept us from disbanding. What a lovely time. Well, let's get our supply up, shall we? And then get together for one fight. One fight only. Everybody knows the rules. We're out of supply, so we're just, you know, we're kind of slowly starving to death. But I think we've got him. Nice try, guys. You try and raid me, I crush you. Not the kingdom of the North Sea. Rightful liege, education, tooltips. And the war is over, so we should set up to host, uh... Once we crush this raiding army. Wow, he dumpstered him. And we recovered some loot and prestige. Beautiful. Somebody's paying a ransom? Cool. All yours, dude. I still can't bring the army down. It's the most annoying thing of all time, dude. Let me disband! They're not coming back, dude! Thank you. Let's hold the grand wedding. Cost 355 gold. It's time. I gain prestige, guest opinion, courtly vassal opinion, may gain eager reveler, may gain magnificent or gracious host. All right, I've never done this, but uh, let's do it. Plan a grand wedding. I don't have the accomplice forger perk. Oh, I could plan a bloody wedding. Jeez, okay. Um... A magnificent celebration of the union of two spouses and two families. Ah, oh, where would I like to hold it? But of course, in our capital of the Faroe Islands. Uh, we need a caravan master, so Bjorn Fetter will be appointed as the caravan master. I don't think anybody's going to worry about travel issues. There's no danger. Um, entertainment, acrobat, and musicians. Uh, troubadours and exotic fiends. Increased prestige gain. Okay, we can also have a generous or a gargantuan meal or a generous feast. So I could lose stress, increase health, increase opinion for all attending characters. Um, okay. Focus is diplomacy. Select a target. Oh, King Magnus Hestenson of Danelaw will be in attendance. It's his sister marrying, of course. Of course, King Magnus Hestenson will be in attendance. And we can also choose uh, silver and gold. An unapologetic display of the boundless riches and enough servants for each guest to have their personal cupbearer. I gain magnificent host and increased opinion of my courtly vassals. And I think there are some guests of which I really wanted, uh, I really want some courtly opinion. Yes, there are. I want to blow people away with this wedding. We've got so much money, we don't know what to do with it. I'm going to spend 634 gold on my wedding. We are going to select the finest entertainment, Trabadours and Exotic Fiends, a gargantuan meal, and silver and gold wedding venue. This is the marriage of a king. A raiding king. A genius raiding king. I am going full Kardashian. 634 gold for my wedding. Start the grand wedding. Do it. I gained the trade eager reveler. Ain't nothing wrong with that, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The wedding is on. I can offer, I can exchange hostage, uh, hostages with Hofdun. I will give you her and my hostage. You give me Arnbeard Malfredson. I don't know who these people are. 
I thought I was just buying back one of my guys. Which I want to do. Yeah, I, I had a really, I had a really, really good, like, champion that you took. How do I get him back? No, I'm not giving my air away. I was just I'm I was exploring like whether that was the right option and it wasn't. Not giving my air away. Um All right, we've defeated what's left of the armies of Mon as they continue to pull Danelaw vassals. How do I get my prisoner back? Is he fighting now? He's defending his chieftain. A holy war for Dublin. Oh, Desmond's going after Dublin. Wouldn't you know it, and Desmond's got a serious army because they're fighting with the uh, King of England. So mine's going to lose that one. Prisoner exchange. Okay. Like exchanging hostages is not it though. Thordis not going over there. Huh. Yeah, I under I understand the concept of what the hostages are now. That's a really common thing in like uh history. Which would be why they've added it to the game, but I am uh less clear on how I might ransom my guy back, because if you haven't noticed, I've got plenty of money. He was my acclaimed knight and bodyguard and master of the hunt and everything. And he should be in the prison here. Morker of Lancaster. I'd like to pay his ransom. Yes, give me Morkar back. Morker of Lancaster is uh, a special lad for me. I'll pay the 20 gold, give me Morker back. And she'll be returned forthwith. Oh, nice word. I think I left the personal champion open so Morkar can come back and become my personal champion again. More car of Lancaster. All right, we're hosting a grand wedding with Siflet Hastening. The grandest freaking wedding you've ever seen. 
while we recover our troop numbers for a new set of wars after the wedding, where we'll slam into Scotland. Keep it going. Pay the ransom. Yeah, you, you got it. She's all yours, man. Sure. The money's rolling in. We're like a we're 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 like a racket of ransom. Oh yeah, the wedding's got some banger tunes. I'd like to search for a caravan master, a really accomplished caravan master. Not this average caravan master that I have right now. A really good one. Wagner. Wagenskald. His aptitude is excellent. Well, Wagenskald, you're now my caravan master. Man, everybody's at this party. Hit guests remaining. It'll take them three more months to get there as everybody rolls into the royal quarters in Torchavan. Should we send the army? No, we're not going to send the army out raiding. We'll do that later. Oh, 50? Has this guy got claims or something? Who's his parent? Jarl Hofton, spy master. All right, Jarl Hofton. Thank you for the cash, dude. Thank you for the cash. Task finish, converted faith. Sweet. Keep converting the faith. In Inverness, the Highlands. What's happening to your brother? Uh, nothing. He's just chilling. He owns this one piece of land. I'm sure he'll be at the wedding. Hopefully he ignores the fact that I hit on his wife. I'm walking the gardens of some of my lords when I notice my kinswoman Thordis approaching. I step aside to let her pass, but to my great surprise, she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process this turn of events, Thordis begins to sing. Thordis is the, uh... Tortoise is my great aunt, so this is awkward. To my great dismay, the woman the dismay, the woman before me cannot carry a tune to save her life. It takes a while before I am able to identify the song. It's a famous Nord love ballad. She has altered the lyrics to include my name and mentions of my physical appearance. Uh abandon this foolish endeavor, uh great aunt. Please, dear God, please stop. Please. You went Christian? No, I did not. Ah, the grand wedding has started. It always feels amazing when you've been planning something for so long, spent so much money on it, and then it's finally here. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling, and the servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I'm pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Siflid, appears radiant in her finest attire. We are ready to begin. Sweet. Time for the grandest wedding of them all, with all the trimmings of a banger royal wedding. We finally stand face to face. I can see from Syphilid's nervous fidgeting she's hardly at ease. Her eyes avoid mine, and the grimace shaping her mouth tells me all I need to know. She doesn't like me. I will start a seduce scheme on her. I can say I don't care where's the food, or I could say uh, your opinion was not required. No, I'll try, you know, I... I don't know, it just feels awkward to not go with the seduce thing. Wait, that option means the wedding can get called off? The guests leave confused and disappointed. Groups head back to their respective homes. The wedding gets called off? I'm sorry, what?
Bro, that is insane. All right, listen to me. We're getting married. I'm not doing another grand wedding. Screw that. I just lost, you know, however much. We're married. Congratulations, Syphilid. We're married. What? Did anybody know that was possible? Because that's insane. I literally went, nah, I'd try and make her like me. I didn't know. Yeah, I thought that meant like, let me be charming during the wedding. All right. Well, you know, sometimes curveballs be thrown. Let's go to war. Oh, did you lose your war, Mr. Desmond? Because I am now upset. I am now upset. My level of fame is less than illustrious. Well, that is annoying, you know? I would have figured that it was, it was plenty enough to start going to war for duchies, but apparently it's not, so we must raid again. And we will raid, and we will raid with enthusiasm, and we will raid with anger. Because I just lost 650 gold and I fully plan on going and getting it back. How is that like I th here's the thing. I don't even know what happened. It didn't it it didn't say that was an option when I hovered over the thing. Like I'm sorry. This is the Middle Ages. Does she need to be in love with me? Right? Like wh what? You know? What on earth are you talking about? Has none of this been raided? Uh, no. Let's just go raid Scotland real quick. Danelaw, what's your army? Yeah, we can beat that. Yeah, I'm gonna rage conquer the entire continent. Uh, no doubt. I can't believe that that just got the wedding canceled. I am, uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And we are we're 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 going on a bender now. We're going on a raiding bender. I like having money, and I liked the extravagance that it afforded me to be able to go for a giant wedding. But you know what? It's time we got married. And we did get married. And so let's just rock on with that. I'm raiding all of Scotland, I'm raiding all of Daneland, I'm raiding all of England, and we're taking all of the money that gives us, and we're rolling it into so many wars that nobody can even tell what's happening. Who are you? Oh, the queen. Right. She seems reserved individual. Silence is a companion. I'll approach her as a friend. As I attempt to woo my wife. Ah, okay. Budding interest. We're making progress. Time for treatment. Uh, do no more than what's necessary. Made the gout even worse. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it. God, that makes, makes me feel like an idiot. The wedding that never was, the grand wedding that fell apart because I I don't even know. The grand wedding that fell apart, I don't even know. I don't even know. All of Scotland will burn because the wedding was a failure. I will burn Utica to the ground. I know I could declare wars, but I you know I want to I want to put my money together. And then I want to put my money where my mouth is. And then I want to go to war. Because I apparently don't have, you know, I, have a, don't, I don't have enough prestige, you know? I barely even gave it a moment's thought. My vassal, Duke Selleck, has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. I hate this guy. Mock his infirmity will shut him up. He could outwit me. He probably will. A subtle threat of violence. Yeah, I'm worried he's going to outwit me, so we're just going to go with a how dare you challenge your king move. Because I don't care if he hates me even like anymore. He, he, he's going to continue to hate me forever, and that's just the way it's going to work. Court tutor position's been vacated. Oh, my friend Freya died. 
Sad. Oh, I don't have a good food taster. Lenin Maxenatig. Do I, I not have anybody that could be a court tutor? Is that... Oh, I'm only on the royal positions. I see. Court tutor. Yes, uh, Dragosh. You're the new court tutor. And a court jester. Somebody perhaps that I hate. Bjorn Fetter. My master of the hunt. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new master of the hunt, aren't I? Just feels weird to have a master of the hunt that's also a jester. I'm sure there's... Yeah, Morkar of Lancaster. I like Morkar. He doesn't like me anymore. I got him uh, darn near killed, so I kind of get that, but... My stupidity almost got him killed. I don't think this is a problem. Yeah, it's not. A reading in tribe of Torshavan? What? The celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed over when Queen Sifled suggested a reading. The clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Sifled. Something pious? He's a content gambler, so I'm going to go with no. Um, let's be entertained. Yeah, let's be entertained. Let's do that. Ah, beautiful. We have smoldering chemistry. Only this had happened before the wedding! <sighs> oh, I should prestige and you change court positions. Yeah, but like 10 to 15. Worth it to have the right positions put together. Oh, that's an army of 31 that could be a problem. Somebody died of their wounds? Who got hurt? Ah, okay, I guess he was doing some of his own fighting over there. I see, my dude, I see. Well, yeah, Duke Selican, I, I re I've spurned you so often that I really don't think it's a good idea for me to put you there. Well, Chieftain Carl of Innis. Chieftain Carl, it is a good idea to put you there. Do we have a better marshal? We do. Morker of Lancaster, welcome back. I missed you. Train the commanders. Oh, come on. Let's have a war, shall we? Let's do a little fighting. Morkar of Lancaster's got these troops in the field. You want the smoke? Morkar of Lancaster does not concede lightly. Ah, see? I can drop this stuff off and crush an army in the process? That sounds good. Oh, we didn't get there in time. Let me drop the stuff off, though. Oh, am I not illustrious yet? Guess we gotta raid more. Let's keep walking down Danelaw. Dare them to fight me. My beloved wife. Uh, my beloved wife. This is probably good. Servant have all been, servants have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As Queen Siflet enters our chamber, she smiles eagerly and joins me without hesitation. Didn't think seashells would be the winner. We reaffirm our devotion we swore before Odin. If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. uh, uh Queen Siflet, sweet. Very rare, excellent vibes in the ancient world here. Let's go ahead and crush this army. Yeah, I just... I, the only reason I'm crushing this army is for potential prisoners, and I just don't like this duke. I really don't like this duke that lives up here. He, he's, like, allied with everybody I hate, and I'm just not a fan. We didn't take any prisoners, though. That makes me sad. Yeah, just a uh, straight-up hater. I'm a straight... I, I'm a hater of that duke. This dude. The Jarldom of Brynich. See, they just revolted again. These guys suck. All they do is just revolt. I just crushed their army and they joined a revolt as I was crushing their army. Take that, dude. Take that. You happy now? You cross swords with Morak? It's my commander. I don't do any of the fighting. You know how it is. We raid. And we raid, and we raid, and we raid, 
And we raid. The first Raiders of Gowry. Interesting. It's mostly levies, and we might be able to beat them with the troops that we have up here. Yeah, because I don't want to get raided anyways. Are they raiding me or no? They know better. They're trying to raid there. Oh, yeah, you raid there. Where are you going? Where, where are they going to raid? Yeah, they, they don't want to raid me because they don't want to fight me. I get it, but I might try and steal the money that they raid anyways. I do get it, though. Ah, Tortoise spoke her first words. How delightful. What else can she say? I do have time for this. Nice job, Tortoise. I'm so confused as to what land is actually yours. Oh, let's go! Now my wife is my lover. I uh, she bears she shall bear with a child. Finally. We'll have a legitimate child. Hopefully it's a son. So I'm the king of the North Sea. We created a kingdom title. This is the du jour kingdom. It's Iceland, the Isles, and the Highlands. This is what we own. We're also the king of Ireland, although we don't own all of it. I'm working on it. We're just doing some light raiding right now. We're going to build up a massive treasury and then unleash a giant war on basically the rest of Britain. Almost all at the same time. Like, it's going to be very quick. Once we decide that it's showtime, it'll be very fast. Dane law will be tricky. Er. Because Dane law is, um... Okay, if we're going to take a hit anyways, let's just take it now. Dane law is allied with Brittany from the mainland, and we can't fight Brittany, at least right now. But we can go around Dane law and solidify our control over Scotland and Ireland, and we can fight England right now, which is cool. My daughter and her and Thord is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage her. She's three, dude. How am I getting cornered by a three-year-old? Man, I'm an idiot. My daughter got the trade curious. I got outflanked by a three-year-old. Now birds and the bees and all that. Goodness me. All right, we'll just keep raiding. They're staying away from us. They've got another war they need to fight. Oh, and now our first steps. Brilliant. I'm just getting free prestige. And now my glory and fame has gone up. Cool. Oh yeah, what's this army doing? Still raiding, hopefully. Can we intercept them before they drop off their raided goods? We will win this fight. They're all levies. Oh, they are raiding me. Well, you know what? Now you die, so. Okay, we need to zoom out so we can keep track of both of these because they're both walking near armies. All right, we're going to catch you. Tell me we're going to catch them. No way, bro. No way. There's no way we didn't catch them there. Okay, they want to come fight us across the river? We'll wait. If they want to come fight us across the river, we will wait. We also delivered some raid loot, but... Alright, you're raiding the head of the Kingdom of Danelaw. Alright, they're fighting us in our land. They made a stupid decision. We have much better troops. We crush their levies in battle. Oh, Gila died of old age at 63. That sucks. That guy's been around for a while. We need a new master of the horse. Morker of Lancaster. And a problem is I'm not going to get any of their raid gifts, or am I? Because I already... Dang it. Well, that's a no. Oh, did so oh, he died leading the fight. Oops. Sorry. Hey, at least we won, you know. At least we, at least we beat him. So, like, you can be really excited about that. That we, that we beat him. Sorry, are we not raiding this anymore? Raid that. Oh, we took a prisoner. So wait, I think we took the King of Danelaw's son. Which is, uh, that's a nice little bargaining chip. My culture has discovered moats. Oh, that means we can just build bigger castles, right? Let's increase the size of this hold. I have plenty of money and prestige to construct a fortified tribal hold in my home territory of the Faroe Islands, which gives me a better levy, garrison, station men at arms, toughness. And honestly build that on multiple islands, all the money we're bringing in. 
This is what it's all about right here. Injecting money into the economy. Oh, yeah, here, you want your son? I could recruit him to fight in my ranks, but I don't care. I'll take the 50 gold. And uh, captured somebody else that's worth some money. Cool. I gained a rival. Alba Neal. Oh, I had a daughter. All right, so we're having... But she's intelligent. Oh, matrilineal marriage, here we come. Oh, we're starting to get smart, finally. Malmfrieder, Kraka, Ingeborg, Rikiza, Hala, that's a good one. Hala, not order. The first true-born child of our uh, marriage, Hala. Kettle's daughter, Nadodor. Tortoise Kettle's daughter is, you know, well, she's the daughter of, uh, she's the daughter of concubine, so it's a little complicated. Why am I not rating this? I'm so confused. Like, why, why am I all of a sudden not able to raid the Kingdom of Scotland? I, I thought that's what I was, I was doing. I thought that's what we were all here for. My my job is to raid the Kingdom of Scotland. That's that's what I'm That's what I'm doing. Alright, we'll just keep walking around Dane Law, just picking up things to raid, I guess. Pay ransom. Yep, thank you. The ransom's a nice bit of money too. You languished in my prison? Yeah, you're, you are you don't like me? That would make sense. That's kind of how that works. All right. So we're going to... Okay, I can't even toggle raiding. Uh, what do we... Stop being a raiding army. Start being a raiding army. Let's go right here. This Bisphoric, which has been raided, so totally get it. Let's go over there and raid that thing. Now that we've reset as a raiding army. Tell me we can raid. Oh, we got to fight real quick. Then it looks like we can raid. Monthly prestige per night. All right. I have a Praetorian guard sort of thing going on now. It's pretty sick. LARPing is like a Roman guy. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we're getting we're, we're 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 getting violent. We're throwing some elbows now. We're getting violent. They seem to be having fun with their war. Oh, it ended. Oh, what a letdown. Somebody's paying a ransom. Yeah, I guess I captured somebody else. I got a lot of um, angry women, apparently. I mean, I get it. Like, you know, when you're held as a prisoner, that's probably not the most, like, wonderful experience you've ever had. But I like to think my hospitality is decent. You know, we have very good food. I think we have very good food. Um, oh, I took a prisoner during the siege, and I didn't even know it was happening. Okay. I'll we'll just walk right down the spine of Dane Law. Nobody can stop us. Our armies are simply too high quality. The raiding never stops. It never stops. Oh, fight me. Fight me. Come on, you got no shot. Fight me. It's gonna be close, actually. I say he's got no shot. It's gonna be close, we'll win. Because he's attacking us across a river and we're in wetlands. Ah, tortoise first teething, beautiful. How you tell if a baby's intelligent? Yeah, that's maybe the most unrealistic thing about CK3. Oh, I'm sure there's a bunch of unrealistic things about CK3. Oh, a real good fight. They did have some, you know, Dane had some good troops. Bjorn Vetter died in the battle. That's all right, Valhalla and all that. It's a shame, though, because I hate appointing a new jester. Jarl, you're under the proud. No, I, I like you're under the proud too much. I don't need a jester. All right. 
won the fight. And we'll take uh, whatever else we've got back home. Because that fight was enough. Oh, Carl died in his sleep. Dang it, Carl. See, that's why I didn't make you the jester, because I'm going to need you. Jarl Jorinder, I'm going to need you for sure. You want to assist the ruler in chivalry? Yeah, there you go. And then you, I'm going to sway you so that you're less likely to kill me. Seems like a good deal. Am I fighting over here? I don't even know. I'm crushing some tiny army. Ah, my my horse. My great horse. And they're vassals. With, yeah, I have two vassals with minus 100 opinion. Which is why I need a good spy master that can't be corrupted. She needs to be stronger, move swifter. Don't I already have a, an agile war horse? Well, let's go with uh, stronger. Let's see if we can add strength to it. Strong and agile warhorse? Goodness me. That just upped my levy size by 10%. What an unbelievably good, uh, weird bonus we just got. Oh, okay, I just captured an amazing prisoner who's worth 100 gold. My wife is pregnant again. Maybe we'll have a son this time who's a genius. Obviously, that might be just, you know, slightly hopeful. Dude, every time I fight a battle like that... Oh, no, I already raided it. All right, fair enough. I want to go down to England next. That's where all the good money is. This Dane law raiding takes longer. All you got to do is go to the east coast of England, land there. And then it's just, like, the easiest thing ever. Raid loot delivered. Yeah, you're gonna need to... Are there enemy armies around? Oh, just go over here, man. They're not gonna raid us. Somebody wants to pay? Cool. There you go. All yours. We're just in the kidnapping business. Sweet. Over a thousand gold. Let's look at decisions that we can take. And invite champions. Maybe just to give land to. I don't know. Hostile armies. Okay, will you just go kill them? I'm not I'm not sitting around here waiting for this nonsense anymore. We'll go across, we'll raid what we can, and then, you know, deposit it. It'll be easy. Thank you. Can I now disband this army? Yes, after a nice, long, successful raid. What's the best speed to play on? I'm playing on three. Sometimes when you're in war, putting it all the way down to even one can be good if you're really trying to outmaneuver somebody. Um, if you're waiting, you know, four and five is good, especially like early game when there might not be a ton to do. What else could I do? I could go for a hunt. I could go for a pilgrimage. I could hold a blot. Which would be deciding this. It's a festival of sacrifice, if I remember my history. And yes. Choosing one of my prisoners is a chief sacrifice. Gaining or losing popular opinion, character opinion, depending on the tenets of your subject's faith. Okay. I could just host a grand tour as we keep this raiding and pillaging going. Although I am now at the level where I am able to, uh, I'm able to start launching my wars. So I think we launch into a few wars once we recover our troops and finish this bit of raiding. Oh, they're raiding Dublin. Dang it. That's what I wanted to raid. All right. Well, we raided the last thing we could. Let's bring it back and then prepare ourselves. 91 gold, 91 prestige, and we're set to have 77,191 troops. King Kettle is just 29. I think we are setting up for quite the ripoff here. Like, we're going to rip off some serious results. We're going to go hard. Ah, Jarl Hafdan of Moon has been schmoozed. Oh, I had another daughter. All right. Well, I mean, 
we're going to be able to make a lot of alliances, so this is doing just fine. Um, oh, Siflet, you've been so brave and so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you, Siflet. It is cool to actually have a marriage in the medieval world where they're kind of fans of each other. And she is quick, so matrilineal marriages all around, perhaps. Um, good Norse name. Roggenfritter. Well, Svanildr. Ragnildr. Freya. There we go. Freya now, daughter. We got the money back for the wedding? Yeah, we did. I mean, we're we're unstoppable on the seas, brother. We're unstoppable. We're the kings of the isle as long as we don't invoke Dane Law's incredible alliance with Brittany, which is keeping them afloat. Brittany has 5,000 special soldiers. I don't even know where that's coming from. England's only allied with the King of Frisia, who does have some good troops, but our first target with these wars. Oh, a sunny day. I must take my moments to practice. Oh no, my stress. No, I won't take any moments to practice. I don't need to gain more prowess. I'm not planning on fighting. Activity joinable, Chieftain Yomar's Grand Tournament. Am I a good fighter? I'm not bad. I got 17 prowess. Um, who is Chieftain Yomar? Where is he? Chieftain Yomar, he's a uh, Catholic in my land. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to war with them. I'm not. Oh, they're hosting the Grand Tournament in Galloway. Well, this seems like a good time to attack them. I mean, goodness. They're allied to Alphonse of Asturias. Well, that's going to take that guy an eon to get up here because that's where Asturias is. So I'm not worried about that alliance. You're allied to... One of your vassals in particular, and that's it. Okay, so you're screwed. High Chieftain Kenny, its claims on the Kingdom of Alba. No, I am not installing him as the King of Alba. And I'm not chasing that claim either. See, I'm chasing a duchy. Would you happen to know one that we'd like? Perhaps the Duchy of Albany, so we finally own the middle of Scotland? How many men do you have? You know, that is a very respectable amount of levy and prepared troops. That's very respectable. I'm going to wait because of that. Desmond, are you still allied with the King of England? Yeah. Okay, we need to we need to wait. Mon is allied with Ayrshire, the Duke of Lothian, who, which can't be called in. So if we go to war for Mon, we will be able to just take Dublin real quick. All right, I'm going to change my counselor to organizing the army so our levy reinforcement rate is faster and we're going to reinforce our armies and then we're going to go. We're going to go after the Duchy of Albany and we are going to declare war on Mon... Or no, we're going to go after the Duchy of Albany. We'll crush them, take the Duchy of Albany, kind of unite Lothian with the rest of our kingdom. Uh, and then we are going to declare war... On Mun and Desmond. Take Dublin and the rest of Ireland. Except for the far north, which will still be owned by the throne of Scotland. How'd the run go yesterday? It hurt. <laughs> it hurt a lot. I came out of the gate too fast and then was just kind of surviving at the end. It hurt. Is this game overwhelming for beginners? Oh, totally. It's like, you know, football manager. It's incredibly detailed, but it's just so fun court physician uh, and high almoner and court tutor position vacated. Well, let's go ahead and invite a new physician in. And you know what? Let's spend some of this prestige to invite some champions around so that we might get some even better fighters. Perhaps. Or at least some guys that'll be able to rule the new land. Excellent court physician, terrible court physician, terrible court physician. Well, then how about Alphonse? Where is this guy from? Alphonse de Bissy from France. But he has an excellent aptitude. All right. Time to fill out the court tutor and 
other other such things. Alphonse de Bissy, of course. Usually those go hand in hand. Uh, and then the High Almoner, also Alphonse de Bissy. What is a court artificer? Someone who's proven themselves able to craft gate. Oh, they, they're like a craftsman. That's cool. What is an executioner? Obviously, somebody that executes criminals. Ah, not exactly a desirable position. We don't have a poet either. What's up, Nan? How you doing? Are we winning, Simbo? Uh, yeah, we are. I mean, we we're feeling good. Uh, this guy's not great. I think we'll just let Yudis de Roches pass, heeding my call for champions. I was hoping for better. Right, we have a thing. Colorful talent. I find my courtier Rikiza. The daughter of my wet nurse, okay. Sitting on the floor, surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas for the third time this month. My courtiers whisper about her being an artistic genius in the making, but the servants complain about scrubbing the floors. Uh, her genius is, uh, yeah, we'll nurture the genius, sure. Maybe that's how we end up with, like, an artistic person. I can hold court, so I'm gonna do that while we're waiting for our troops to come together. Sound the trumpets! King Kettle will now hear your complaints. Thank you. Ah. All right, I'm on my throne. Who's first? My hunt master, Morkar. All right, he's here. That's Morkar of Lancaster. He's cradling a woolen bundle. With a grin, he pulled back the swaddling, revealing a pair of squinting eyes above a lolling tongue. It's a puppy. Nice. He can hardly keep the excitable furball in his arms. A gift from the finest allant litter I have seen in some time, he says. You must take advantage and expand your kennels, my lord. Uh, 90 gold, I gain pet dog, good court grandeur. We gain dog lovers for 30 years, which gives us a small health boost. I can say cats are superior and then pay and get a pet cat. Which gives me improved intrigue, actually. But now I'm going to go with a pet dog. Our kennels will have no competition. We invest in them. Thank you, Morkar. My vassal, Duke Aid, who I'm sure is... Oh, this is the son of the Lothian guy. He's assumed the throne of Lothian. I'm sure this isn't good. I'm sure someone in the kingdom is out to get me. I have no e I have no evidence, but suspect Chieftain Gudrodder and have our, have, has always positioned himself as my en enemy. I beg you to imprison him. Uh, no, that's my brother. So, malice is not a crime itself, Ed. It's not. All right, last one. One of my guards approaches with my kinswoman, Thordis, in chains trailing behind him. As in my great aunt, Thordis? She was in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Alba. What should I do with her? I forgive once, but don't betray me again. You were you used to be in love with me, Thordis. Your great nephew. You used to be in love with me. Now you betray me, Thordis. After all this time, Thordis. After all this time. Oh, the dog! As I pet the dog in the head and she happily wags her tail, what name would suit her? Something historical, something alluding to her brown fur. It's an important decision, and as the dog rolls over to let me pet her stomach, I find myself distracted for a while, but wait, I know what I'll name her. Nosewise, hold fast, amiable. What kind of name is Nosewise? That is insane. 
I like Baron. Baron's a good name for a king's dog. Although that could insult the barons of the realm. I'll go with Freya. The Norse goddess, right? I have a kid named Freya, though. Now nah, we'll go Baron. Who cares if the Barons are mad at me? I'm a king, dude. I'm a king. Try me, homie. Alright, couple more months for us to get our levies in order so that we can really go out and win this war. Hmm, religious heads are being established all over the place. Sweden is, uh, tough. We need to become the Emperor of Britain and then declare war on Scandinavia to unite the faith. Activity invitation, Jarl Andres. Oh, this is so trying to kill me. There's no way this isn't trying to kill me. Jarl Andres, no wait, Jarl Andres is uh, up here. Jarl Andres Vigfusen. You are cordially invited to my hunt in the grasslands of Sutherland. Together we shall make a mighty sport of it. <sighs> yeah, I need to I need to become better better friends with Jarl Andres. I was good friends with his father. There's one danger, mountains. Well, let's hire some mountain guides. We'll be fine. Hire me a mountaineer and let's join the hunt. It'll only cost me 12 and we'll get some prestige and hopefully make friends with him. Hope it goes well. What am I, freaking freezing? What's going on here? Hopefully this hunt will help. Oh yeah, my worsened disease symptoms because we mistreated my gout. Forgot about that. Anyways, do we have enough troops while I go out for my hunt? Are we able to go to war with Alba? Yes, we totally are. I can't declare war while I'm in a hunt. Okay, well after the hunt then. Ah, Yorinder's died. Should have seen that coming. He's a little old. All right, the wet nurse Seif is going to be my spy master. While we go to my vassals and attempt to start swaying the ones that hate me. Thank you. This character spent the last five years living in a rowdy warlike court. 18 of my courtiers just got plus one martial and plus one prowess because we've been a warlike court. Love that for me. All right, let's go do this hunt and then we're going to war. Fortified tribal hold constructed in the Faroe Islands. Thank you. That was the goal. Skalgvir. We can upgrade longhouses. We can construct grand halls. I don't even have grand halls over here, dude. Let's construct some markets in the home hold. And let's construct the grand halls. That'll give me more prestige, more levies. I can host feasts there. Seems like a cool thing. Construction is always good in the Northern Isles. We're developing the Northern Isles. I'm almost to the hunt. A long trip up to Iceland, who my grandfather conquered. Weird whispers on the travel. Oh, great. What's going on now? I noticed that Arnie avoided me more than usual. Who is Arnie? My guest? I don't... I'd like to recruit Arnie. Is that going to be an option here? The attitude's starting to tire me. I overhear him defaming me. Kettle is a contemptuous sycophant. I'd be a way better king than him.
I can imprison him. I can tell the caravan master to take care of it, or I can fight him. I have a 0% chance of losing. So let's just fight him and kick him out. You know, I hadn't had a nice sword combat in a while. Guy was a guest anyways. What a, what a dweeb. All right, cool. Jarl Andres, I hope this is a fun hunt. I'd love to... Are we falconing? What are we doing, Jarl Andres? What's, what's the game plan here, boss? Champions arrived. Well, he's intelligent. And that means he will be joining the court. And he will be marrying somebody of intelligence. Can I demand your conversion? He will accept, so yes. You must accept the Norse faith, Meliosa. Arrange a marriage with hopefully somebody outside of my realm. Um, let's find somebody. Somebody lowborn with some intelligence, maybe. So we can have an intelligent family in our midst. Yeah, hold Bella's daughter. Probably won't agree to this marriage. They certainly won't agree to this marriage, but yeah. Hey man, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying. Close. Close. This is what he needs. I started playing this game because of these streams, United Ireland and Britain, and I'm now the target of a crusade. Yeah, that happens. That happens. The Holy Land's fun. I'm outnumbered four to one. Uh, I mean, you can hire some mercenaries. You can... This is why you create holy orders as well if you're really trying to be like the head of a faith. You got to create holy orders, and those holy orders can you know be hired for piety. Also, crusades are traditionally very unorganized, so if you can kind of sit on the coast and pick them off, you might be able to just keep crushing armies as they land and not let them get, like, the giant blob together. Maybe ways to survive, but... I don't think anybody with the princess in their title. Uh, Princess Agderv, uh, who? Ed Baragna's daughter. Okay. I'll just leave it then. Hey, Big Daddy Hunt, thank you so much for the prime. Ah, my wife is pregnant again. Time to get a guardian for Thoris. Midas touched. My favorite. We don't have nearly enough Midas touched people in our at our realm. We have a Midas touch person now. Right. So the hunt. Thank you. Let's get out there. He's going to seek a fox. We're trying to hunt a fox. If I get hurt hunting a fox, that would be the funniest thing of all time. Baron trots alongside me, obviously enjoying her time outside. Suddenly she freezes and starts barking, and a couple of seconds later something can be heard moving through the undergrowth, something big. Her barks turn into growls just as the stag bursts into her path. 33% chance I lose, Baron. 66% per ch uh, chance that we take it down. Or I can take it down myself. I take it down man to stag to increase our chances and improve my prowess for five years? Sure. Sounds like a 100% chance that I take the stag down. But I am now stressed. Great. Uh, I could become a flagellant. 
try and beat myself, or I could drink. If I get drunkard, which hurts my stewardship, prowess, my health, my travel safety. No, I'll resist these impulses. I don't have things that make me stressed a lot, so I should get opportunities to reduce my stress. So wait, we have a 49% chance of success in killing a fox here? Do you ever do a tour? I should. I uh, just haven't, and we're about to we're about to rip through some wars. So I gained the trait hunter. Nice. We return home for the fox's hunt in glory. Sweet. And let's just sail back home. I'm no longer overwhelmed with stress because I went to the open air. Beautiful. Champion has arrived. Another bit of a dud. Although he is athletic. Sturbjorn. I don't think you're I don't think you're the right stuff. What does this do? Send my guests packing. Every guest leaves your court. I wonder why you'd need to do that. Like what would the argument be? Alright, once I get home, it's war with Scotland. Their allies in Asturias won't get up here, and their other ally doesn't scare me at all because they have no troops. Grand tournament, grand tour. No. War! War it is! Alright, we're going we're going straight for the duchy. It'll cost us 375 prestige, but that's easy. We're going for the Duchy of Albany. The real hold that they have in Scotland that will be ours. The Zealand's court in the Faroe Islands? Yes, it is. King Edgen. Hi. How are you? Alphonse of Asterius has joined the war. No way. Let's do this. The war is here, finally, for Albany. This sore thumb in the middle of our kingdom for quite some time. All right, we're gonna leave two sieges right here. Two sieging armies. Boom. Uh, we're gonna leave another sieging army and then we're gonna go fight. Let's see how much it is. Too much. To our land. I had another daughter, bro. I'm unbeaten. And they're all quick or higher. Four daughters. Malmfritter, Auslag, Inga. We'll go with Inga. I have three trueborn daughters to the marriage now. Oh, the alliances will be supreme. Trading outposts constructed in the Faroe Islands. Oh, why, thank you. I, I know. I know. My good man, I know. All right. Hey, army, come here. Time to get crushed, army of Scotland. And the horses will chase down the retreating troops. Oh, my goodness. Asterius got here really fast. Glad we got into this fight now, and we just basically crushed all that they had there. Well, this is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, Run. Run away. Asturias is coming. 
It's not a sentence I really thought I would say up here, but uh, Asturias is on the way. We'll see if we can meet them somewhere. Um... Oh, yeah, we're going to catch Asturias. Maybe. I stumble upon my vassal, Jarl Ragnar. Oh, he's young. He's only 12 years old, the guy that inherited Connacht. Stog of yours, quite a charmer. Yeah, I know. You got it, boss. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Was up. Commanded by Morker of Lancaster, my trusted commander. The army of Asturias. Oh, Snegdus was slain in battle. Dang it. I liked Snegdus. He was good. Let's put the 70-year-old in charge. Well, I don't think Asturias is going to be able to replenish its troops anytime soon. We did what we could. Gout ridden, time for treatment. Please make it better. Reduced my disease symptoms. Thank you. Appreciate it. We need a son still. Now, we daughters can inherit, but only, um... Daughters can inherit, but only if there are no sons. So I do have an heir. I'm not... Yeah, my lover encourages chivalry. Sweet. Literally just got me 350, uh... 350 prestige out of nowhere. Oh, the mare is sick. Pay the 30 gold, save my brilliant warhorse, please. I'm gonna up the skill of my sway scheme. Alright, where are they where are they going? You. Where does Sturius go? Or are they just oh they're running to Ulster. Are we really No, we're not that bad on supply, not yet. My one eyed siege commander. On the way down. Let's see if he can help take that castle now, or Fristurius is going to ruin my plan. Bud V. Rowdy died of fatal apoplexy. Anybody know what that is? Pariah of the court. What's happening? Who is this? Oh, I found Stabisi. He's important. He's smart. I'm judged harshly for my hospitality towards Alphonse de Bichy. Is he a monk? No, he's a wise man. Let me demand his conversion. He'll accept it. Yeah, I'll, I'll... you must repent. Sorry. I thought he was a monk, and I thought I couldn't ask him. All right, I'm gonna split my army. This army's gonna stand here in this army under command of, uh... Not me. No, we're not... Actually, you know what? Here's to me not dying, but I'll command this army. I think they're going to Torshavn. And I will defend the royal home of the King of the North Sea. Oh, no, they're not. Where are they going? Profin died? Yeah, well. He was 70. I could probably see that coming. Alphonse de Bissy, now that he is of the Norse religion, can hang out in the court. Where are you guys going? A knight became a blade master. Ooh. My marshal's excellent marshal skill led to this windfall. Well, that's a windfall. Okay. Oh, the Asturian army's on the way back. All right, well, let's unite the troops right here. Because they're going to try and get the Asturian and Scottish armies together. I see their plan now. Took me a way too long to see their plan, but I see their plan. My queen is pregnant again. May we have another daughter or something. Ah, there we go. The Asturians and the Scots. The unlikely alliance will face off against Morker of Lancaster. Oh. Hi, guys. How you doing? You're running away? That's a shame. I think I've got them dead to rights. They're not going to be able to move off this spot. The King of Scotland is going to be shielded by whatever excellent shielding troops Asturias has. We weren't able to kill a lot in pursuit. Oh, Jarl Andres wounded some of their troops. Nice. Oh, I captured the king. So hear me out. We get in the war now, or we could ransom him back. Oh, they don't even have the 200 gold. We in the war now. 
Give me Albany. For the miserable King Kettle. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, miserable is... Okay, miserable is a strong word. Ban the armies. That was nice. Oh, he owned all of it? That's insane. He owned all of it. Temple type holding. I could start constructing... Um, oh, my government type is tribal, so constructing new holdings just isn't something I'm able to do. Ugh. Now I'm being raided. Awesome. Probably shouldn't have disbanded the troops there. Well, let's call the men-at-arms back and see if we can... if we can't just smite these raiders. Gonna take that long now. Okay, uh... Hi. Uh, yeah, the pushover Scots are not in control of this area anymore, so I'm gonna need you guys to chill. So I can only hold five. Should I trade in Donegal for Dunkeld? It's got the walls and ditches and, and, and such. Or Dunfermline or Dundee. I think I'll keep Dunfermline. Do I have any prisoners I can ransom? Mayor Raymond? Sure. I can create the Duchy of Albany. You're darn right I can. And I will. And now I hold too many duchies. You're probably right. Yarldom of Ulster. Okay, Ulster is all that nonsense that they happen to be in control of. So who's this guy? Chieftain Yachtverder? You are trash. Oh, well, you're incapable. So who's your heir? An 18-year-old girl who is also not good. So we're going to go with somebody else. Sorry, guys. Again, I find myself just completely at a loss, but this champion is a good choice. I grant him this title, and I grant him the Jarldom of Ulster. So that I don't have too many duchies. Now we need to distribute a few of these lands. Dunkeld, St. Johnston, Aberdeen, and Dundee. Give somebody the heartland here. He's old and he has no heir, so I don't know how that would work. Uh-uh. Scooty, thank you so much for the prime. Now we're looking proper. Should be the Kingdom of the Scots now. Can I not create that title? I can station men at arms. Oh, true. I did give away a... I did give away a thing. Ooh, I can increase the size... of some of them. Why can I increase the size of two of them? How does that make any sense? I mean, I'll do it. Oh, I can continue to increase the size of them. Well, that's intriguing. I can go up to seven. Well, then I'm going up to seven. I want 700 Varangians and 700 Huskarls. Okay. That's pretty serious. Now I want Desmond and I want Mon. Oh, you beat the crusade? Let's go! Nice. Might be because of where they're stationed. Yeah, but they're not stationed anywhere. So that kind of... It kind of defeats that purpose, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're stationed somewhere. Um, then maybe, but they're not stationed anywhere, so I don't I don't know. Uh, Lowborn Prisoner Lemar. Nah. 
No, I mean, I will disband them. I, ra I, I raised them up for a purpose. We're going to go fight some raiders down here. Because Scotland was being raided while we fought that war, but then we took the land, and now we have to defend it from the raiders that are also there. The King of Scotland hanging on to pieces of Scotland that he desperately wants. Okay. I don't need Inverness, do I? I'm going to give Inverness to somebody else. What duchy is Inverness in? Moray? Oh, God. The High Chief of Moray. He already owns two uh, pieces of land, right? He owns three pieces of land. So I'm going to give this to a nobody and then give him to the High Chief to Mamore. So you have, like, just a bad dude. Eudis de Roche. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. Uh, I'm going to grant you the title of Inverness. Actually, Inverness has so many holding areas. I think I want to hang on to Inverness. Sorry. Bagan uh, 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 Skeld. Man, I just need people that aren't idiots. It's so hard to come by. Sturb, you're in my guest. I grant you the title of uh, the chiefdom of Athel. No. Definitely not that one. I'll, I'll grant you the chiefdom of Mirns. You get the coast, brother. Um, court musician and champion, Halstein. Halstein's a good, uh, he's a good guy. We'll give, we'll, we'll give him Athel. Oh, uh, yeah. Halstein becomes my vassal and is no longer my court musician, which I knew was going to happen, so at least I can anticipate the problem. Tightlick. Uh, Eudis de Roche. You're just a weirdo. Morker of Lancaster, you've done some wonderful work for me. I just don't have enough guys, do I? I really don't have enough guys for the land that we conquer. You know, Lemar, I'm going to negotiate your release, demand your conversion, recruit you, and then turn you into a, uh, a person. And I'm going to do the same thing with, uh, Al forming. He's 67. He's going to die instantly. It'll go to his heir, whoever that is. Dungal McLeod. He's 55. Dude, is there somebody in here that doesn't suck and can take over this? Kieran? He's disfigured and he's Irish. Well, he's also terrified of me. Considering a proposal from it. Okay, well. Awesome. Oh, you can use it to recruit courtiers. Oh, interesting. So I can, like, do find character or something. And then just find a, um... Courtier who, for example, is an adult male... Of my religion... In a Norse culture, who happens to have excellent, uh, who is not a ruler, who is unlanded. What? And then I can go, hey, do you want to, oh my, I never knew that. In all the years I've played Crusader Kings, I never knew that. The Chiefdom of Angus. To Kolbjorn of Alberg.
You don't want to invite them. You don't have to invite them to your court and land them. You can apparently just do this. Kolbjorn of Alberg's become my vassal. And then you're saying if I click on the thing, I can go to Grant to, and it brings up a large collection of options. Alvgir Gunnarsson. Lyoder Toki. Van Mermach Megilla. No. Hacken. Yes. The chiefdom of Gauri to him. That is so useful that it doesn't have to be courtiers. I've been doing that particular part wrong the entire... My entire life playing CK3. All right. We won the war. We distributed the lands. Life is good. No choice but to accept the conditions of my release. I know I'm being raided. I'm working on it. And hopefully we can get to them before they get to the sea, but I don't think we will. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, we got them. Let's go. Get crushed, raiders. And we recovered their loot. Oh, my love for loot. My love for raiding and pillaging and loot. I almost hate wars because then I'm not, I'm not looting, you know, I'm not, I'm not making that cash. Hi, Chieftain Swade. Cool. Keep making progress. And once he likes me, then we'll add him to my court as my spy master. All right. We just made a little money off of their stupid looting. Now let's fill out the rest of our group here, unstationed. We'll station them in Dunfermline. I remembered. Ah, the King of Scotland finally got the money together. Good for you. Right, I do need to do need to gain control over my new county, Dunfermline. Oh, it just looks so nice now that we've united all of our land, you know? What can I raise a runestone for? The vanquishing of my foe? Nah, I'm gonna get stressed. Oh, no. Worth it. Uh, Fife would be a good place. Yeah, that is. That is exactly where it should be built. A conquest runestone helps me gain control over it faster. Okay... We have plenty of money. We have plenty of prestige. I say war with Desmond. And their allies, the King of England. What what war is the King of England fighting? Defending against Jarl Raff and the Brute. Conquest of the Earlman of Desmond. Oh, okay. You're not going to be able to defend mine, though. You see, the, the thing is, we've got a lot more guys. We have a lot more guys. And so, um, yeah, you're in, you're in trouble. Oh, many. I, uh, I, I, I've, I've done a one long CK three where I conquered all of Africa. That was awesome. Loved that. But we need to, we need to keep fighting. We need to keep fighting. War. Nah, it's all about counties now. What county do we want to fight for? I say we unify all of Ireland, with the exception of the little bits of Kingdom of Scotland that remain there. I say we do that now. So I go to war with the Kingdom of Ma- no. It's stupid. Why would I do that? I have no need to do that. Mon has a good number of troops. We're already going to war with England for the first time because they're allied with the Duchy of Munster. But we need to, you know, we need to press our advantage. We need to press our advantage, and this is our advantage. Our advantage is going right now over here. Down to Munster, crush the army, don't let them get across. And I had a son! Who's quick? Oh. 
We had a son on the fifth attempt. Hurry, Yulfur. Let's find a good, uh, good Norse name. Vamunder, Refer, Flossie, Asbjorn, Knuter, Gandalfur. I like Gandalfur. May you grow strong and wise, my son. Yeah, look at the pace. That's a wonder kid right there. We got quick. We're passing it down. Queen Sifled. Passing it down like an absolute champ. Not only that, he has claims on the entire kingdom. Uh, dang it, he should have claims on the king of... Uh, that's annoying. She has a claim on the kingdom of Danelaw. But he doesn't? I hate the rules. The rules suck. Rules always suck. All right, let's get the army together. Let's meet there, and then we will prepare to fight. A scheme at court. Somebody's trying to murder me. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I think we need a better spy master now. What do you think? I'm going to send a gift to this guy. I'll pay you 39 gold for your happiness, and then I will assign you this job, and now all of a sudden you like me, High Chieftain Kenniot. I need a better spy master to deal with the fact that somebody's trying to kill me. So we will spend the money to expedite him liking me. Uh, who's this? The Jarldom of Gellera? Oh yeah, that's the other war that they're fighting. Well, let's just get the whole army together. And then we'll figure out who we need to kick the bejesus out of, alright? Which is this guy. And then the Earldom of Dorset, and then wherever England's armies happen to be. And then we probably got to beat this guy up, too, so they don't win the war while we're winning the war. And they'll steal it out from under us, and then we're screwed. And they won't be able to get to sea from here. We're going we're gonna to catch and, catch and destroy. It's a pressed claim. They don't go down. Okay, thank you for explaining that. I would have continued to have wondered. Well, we caught them. Captured somebody. Crushed them. Oh, he stole my clothes. He's like zero years old. It's just a baby rolling around and ended up with the clothes. Who's trying to do it? Albin Nig Adnil. My rival who is at Captain Serbel's core. Oh, she's not a threat, is she? She's not a threat at all. The scheme's been abandoned. See, that's why we bring in the professional. My vassal Duchess Marta. Oh, now somehow Lothian has a duchess. How does Lothian have a new ruler every five years? Rage in her eyes, dog in her hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As she reaches me, I see that it's my dear Baron. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. All right, I'm going to try and win you over in the future, and I'm filthy rich, so I'll pay you for the things that were chewed by my dog. But maybe you shouldn't leave your things out where my dog can get to them. You ever think about that, huh? No, you didn't. Doesn't look like you did. Come on, some people, you know? What is this? The Empire of Britannia. Oh, no, you're not outflanking me, brother. You are not outflanking me. Nice try. So you're already locked into going there. I'm already on the way there. I'm going to catch you, and I'm going to do... I don't even know who you are. The Jarl of Gelra? Dude, Why I'm fighting some Dutch Vikings. I, don't, I have no quarrel with you other than you're trying to take a piece of Ireland, and I'm the king of Ireland, so stop trying to take the freaking piece of Ireland. My glory and fame is widely known. I'm exalted among men. And I'm young. This guy's going to end up going down as like a serious legend. All right, we sent the, the Jarl packing. If he knows what's good for him, he'll leave, but we weren't able to route them like we're able to route most of the Britons. I accent shit. Yeah, they are. They're completely in shambles. I had nothing going for them. Evening from England. Good evening. All right. We've crushed the Earldom of Dorset. Oh, he's allied with the Earl of Dorset. We're not even fighting the King of England. Okay. 
sweep. So this is the other vassal that hates me. Duchess Marta, it's finally time to bury the hatchet with the Lothians. Who've hated me for time eternal. They've always hated me. Alright, we'll leave enough to siege and then go pick up supplies in our land. We're ready for any fight that this idiot wants to bring back over. Oh, shoot. All right, well, we'll go bring some uh, defensive troops over there, then. They'll stay here. It's come to my attention that local uh, commoners are moving to Lothi in the capital of my vassal, Duchess Martha. Take the uh, locals newly settled, praising me surely can do no harm of her perception of me. Sure. I'll bribe the locals into making me sound like an awesome dude. Surely my levies will win this fight. Yeah, they're gonna win. Uh, awesome. What DLCs are essential? What would you guys say are essential? I... As annoying as it sounds, the, like, full ones to me. The tours and tournaments, the... Maybe not the Royal Court. Well, the Royal Court does add a lot to the game. Inspired person can be sponsored. Ooh. She's considered a master by her peers. And she wants to weave a historical record. Well, Hildeberg von Magdeburg, not only does your name go super hard, but I'm super down. You go ahead and weave, sister. You weave to your heart's content. Oh, my counselor died. That means Rick's gaudy Trig V Gunnarsson will now take over. All right, they're coming back. Let's see if we can uh, make this a little easier for our siege works. Inspiration, a name to remember. I can dedicate it to my wife. The Allfather guides me, or we'll take the prestige. There's no need for dedication of this new artifact we're crafting. All right, and now we should crush them. Oh, siege one, that was enough. Okay, well, we are fighting right now. Let's see if we take a prisoner. We did. We took the chief of Desmond, who I can now ransom back and then end the war anyways. For nine gold, but I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Sometimes your opponent is poor. We got the 10 gold and now we've captured Desmond because we can't, you know, we can't send him back if we if we conquer all of his land first. So you, if I remember, well, now you're 10. See, now you're 10 and incapable. How does that happen exactly? <clears throat> what? You get hit really hard in the head or something? Like, what are we, you know, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What's the, what's the point? I, the guy I put in charge of that was supposed to take control of this duchy, but then all of a sudden that happens. And he sucks eggs. Alvgir Gunnarsson, on the other hand, looks Midas touched. And so I'm going to give him both Ormond and Desmond. Hold on, let me create the uh, duchy real quick. Duchy of Munster. So I get the prestige. The top button, what do you, what, 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 it'll tell me? I'm reading chat, you're saying at the top, but the, the where? Oh, the giving away lands, I thought you were telling me about that, okay. The top button. A noble of, ah, uh, okay, grant title of your, uh. Well, that's stupid. I didn't want to do that. A noble of Norse culture. Fine, this guy will work, but that's not the exact guy I wanted. That's just like, uh, if you, um, if you just want to not have to think about it. I want to have to think about it. 
I liked another guy more, but I guess this guy's gonna become a duke just because, you know, he's gonna become the Jarl of Munster and take care of that brain-dead ten-year-old. Alright, well, we've taken care of that part of the realm. Now what's left? Mon? Time to go to war with you again. I could just subjugate Jarl Halfdan. I can only attempt one subjugation war in my life. I might- Whoa, no, if we could become the Emperor, then we subjugate, uh, Dane Law. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, you, apparently you can generate new people via that? That is a cool button. Like, if I don't want to think about it and I really don't care and it's some, like, backwater. Who am I at war with? Oh, I'm still at war with this guy. Oh. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and declare war then here so that we have a reason to raise our army because there's just three counties. He has four counties. You fool. Well, let's fight for Dublin. Or no, if this guy's sailing over here, let's fight for, um... Let's fight for Ayrshire. And we'll just cut off Alt Clut. Nah, we'll fight for Annandale. We got a war for Annandale, Jarl Halfdan. The Duchess of Lothian's allied with Jarl Halfdan, which I have to imagine is going to make me excellent friends with Jarl Halfdan. Or with the uh, Lothian lady. Nah, we don't want war with Danelaw. They have allies. My dog Baron just ran away while we were out in the hills. I don't want to risk my life here, but I am going to chase Baron into the hills. We'll see how this goes. Uh, great. My army's going to take too long to come up, isn't it? Ah, a couple of gold coins. Thanks, Baron. My vassal, Mayor Lathir, accosts me. Well met, liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Hildeberg the Weaver. They say she's weaving a historical record worthy of a king. Please take this and give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Okay, cool. It's just going to make it higher quality. That works for me. Any days do we have? 50? Great, I've done it again. I've done it again. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, right? I don't want to gain stress. I don't need these things. I don't need the resplendent raiment. I need the piety. The Norse gods smile upon me. Thank you. Go a different direction. You know you're about to catch these hands. Go a different direction. That's what I thought. I forgot I was at war with you, to be perfectly honest. Now that we're getting the army together again, I figured I'd go to war with somebody just to make it worth it. We're getting the band back together. Ugh. Okay. Army's ready. We meet there. Oh, Morker just died. In his sleep. Well, I mean, that's one way to go. He's had a very long, eventful life and led a bunch of battles, so... Probably the best way he could have hoped to go. But I did just lose my... Master of Horse. That will go to... Lenin Moxinic. My cupbearer, who will be Princess Grimma Heston Daughter, who is my concubine, which is an interesting choice. Hildeberg Eberhardson, a poor court musician, but at least we have one. My master of the hunt will be Jarl Andres Vigfesson. My personal champion, since I've lost mine, will be Linen Maxinatig. The Gaelic man the Cenetig House. And I have no decent court jesters. I also have no courts here that meets the eligible position or the requirements to be a bodyguard, which sucks. And before the true king of Ireland since 20 men at you. Yeah, that'd be that'd be wonderful. I can't wait. Is that my best commander? No high chieftain Maliosa of Ulster is my best commander. 
And he will lead my 8,500 men. Ah. The Lady of Lothian is in uh, the Faroe Islands. I'll receive her in my royal court. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Duchess Martha, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference, offering nothing but her oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the kingdom. At last, I bid the Duchess arise, confirming my, f my satisfaction and her rights to the lands that she rules. Interesting. Don't know why she's doing that. Kind of creeps me out a little bit, but we'll take it. Do a little ransoming. First time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal Mormer Finlay has grown bolder. His challenges no longer his challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. Of Strathern. Oh god, or Strathern. Oh, he just took this land, so. How dare you challenge a king? I'll go ahead and gain some dread. Uh, he's a lot less dangerous of a vassal than other vassals that we've we've had. Did I just capture him outright? I think I did. I destroyed the entire army and captured them outright. Oh, they put together a serious force. Okay, um... Interesting. We're gonna split this army. Bring that army to bear over here. Leave a siege there. Bring this army up. Siege down Mon as much as we can, and we're gonna go fight this other army from this stupid Jarldom in Frisia that has decided that they want to, uh... They want to fight forever. They, they are not going to give up on their desire to capture the Southern Duchy of Ireland, and they are, to their credit, sieging the cap the, the capital right now. But hopefully, uh, Mun does not spawn another army and I'm able to take another county from them. That would be nice. Inspiration, the highest quality. My lord, look at the thread. I have never seen such fine quality before. Hildeberg breaks away from our market procession to accost the merchant selling the coveted item, ecstatic over her find. With this, my project would reach marvelous new heights. Surely we can get a fairer price, but I will fail. Guard sees what Hildeberg needs. Now nah, I'm good. Now, your project's worth investing in. There's a reason that we make a ton of money, so that we can basically spend it on all the things we want to. Ah, Hala, not a uh, not daughter. Or what have you. Let's make her learned. Leonard Maxenetuk. You look after my daughter. You educate the child. You got it, dude. Don't think we'll get there in time. No, we will. It's taking them too long. We will get there in time. Hopefully when we win this battle, the, uh, the war is over. Did I just sway Dar Duchess Martha 25 and she hates me so much it didn't even move? I love it. This guy's got a sturdy freaking army. It's impossible to wipe them out if you don't kill them on the battlefield, but that did win it for us. We get some prestige. He pays me some gold. We go on our way. Request for funds? Good God, Hildeberg, I just got this money from a war. How awesome is this thing going to be? Get off the boat next to them. Got it. That is a good thing to know. Invitation to Jarl Gormer's hunt. Does Jarl Gormer dislike me? No, and I quite like Jarl Gormer, but I'm not going to go on the hunt this time, sorry. I'd like to decline the invitation. Sorry. I got, I've got important kingly things I need to be doing. Created a large tapestry of masterful craftsmanship. Oh, renowned gain, powerful vassal counselor tax contribution, and a court grandeur bonus. Hildeberg, I paid you like 250 gold. But this is lovely. Thank you. I've got to put it up in the, uh, the court, right? Right above the throne itself. This is where it'll go. Right above the throne itself. 
A beautiful tapestry that we paid for with the gold that we stole from England. Ha ha, lads! Mon's attacking. Oh, well, they attacked my stronger army rather stupidly, and they're going to get crushed. But thank you for pointing that out. And we captured him, so the war is over. That was easy. Save us the time on having to siege them down, since time is of the essence. Especially when you're somebody uh, in the tribal stage, shall I say. Span the units. I wonder what caused those two uh, men-at-arms units to be able to expand. Can I go to war with you? I can invade the Kingdom of England and just take all of it. Uh, it's Kingdom of Danelaw, Kingdom of Wales, Kingdom of England. We can't fight Danelaw because they are still allied with the very strong uh, Britons who are holding Danelaw in place. Kingdom of Scotland, we have our truce with. The Jarl of the Isle of Man, we have our truce with. Did I get that land? Oh, yeah, I have to give that to somebody. I'd like to grant this to Alvgir Gunnarsson. What part, what duchy is this part of? Ah, Strathclyde. I don't, I don't own any of Strathclyde. Grant to Alvgir Gunnarsson. What court are you in right now? Du oh, he's in Duchess Martha's court. Well, guess what? I have given you your own piece of land, so enough of that. Earl Alvgir? Oh, no, I would like to pardon him. I'll gain more of his favor by pardoning him, and then he'll love me forever. Should we go raiding? I feel like we might want to go raiding. We've got our truces with Scotland and with uh, the Isle of Man. We really are Scotland, Ireland, Unite. How are Brittany so strong, bro? I don't know. Take England? Yeah, but then I can't raid England. I kind of want to raid England one more time and then take it. Is it conniving? Maybe. Will it work? Probably. How many more counties do I need for the Empire? I need 70 de jour... See, the issue is, when we created our own kingdom of the North Sea, we turned the Highlands into Scandinavian Empire. So we don't actually own too much of Britannia. Now, we can invade England. The issue with invading England is that, of course, every piece of land that isn't owned by King Alred Alfredson, we will inherit his vassals. And they will all hate me. Which means we gotta make sure their old vassals are all in good... in good place and time. It looks like you're quite far away from your own empire. Yeah, I am. But I can pass absolute tribal authority. I don't think there's really, uh... Really in a reason, though, for me to do that. Jarl Andres is the regent presumptive. Okay. Wait, I can pet my dog? Absolutely. Thank you, friend. Reduced some stress. Wow, that's awesome. Love that. That's great. Uh, found a new empire. I need 120 things in my realm. I only have 40. I own three kingdoms. And your realm size is 80 or more. Okay, so I am halfway to founding my own empire. Which means that we're more likely to just found the empire of uh, of all this. Yeah, if we go to war with King Magnus Hestenson, we will be outnumbered if he gets together with the Britain army. Right now, England is fairly vulnerable. He's allied with East Francia, but that's um, Prince Andres of East Francia. And he is not the heir to Francia, the emperor of France that now rules in England or in in France here. Um, uh, 
Okay, we're raiding. The gold of England is just too much to resist, dude. The gold of England is too much. Are you coming to raid me? The raiders of Northumberland? I think they are. Raise the men. We're going to, you know, we need more wealth and, and prisoners to sell. We're going to England on a raiding mission and then probably going to war with England once we're done raiding them. No, they're not raiding me. They're just raiding Scotland. Scotland and the Isle of all that. Grand Hall's constructed. Well, we can keep constructing things. Don't think I can upgrade this, and I can't upgrade that because the Norse culture doesn't have city planning, but we do have Grand Halls. And I can't upgrade the Tribal Hold. And construct a fortified Tribal Hold. Just turning the islands into the our own personal fortress and seat of power. Because that's what I know will always rule. Okay, we will split this army in half. We'll put both of them in a raiding stance. And we will sail. Hold on. You are going here. And you are going there to the Bisphoric of Canterbury. Oh, I picked the wrong one. You're going there, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. No, you're going there. We're just going to we're to walk through Danelaw, too. As well, if we go to war with Danelaw, the Bretons are involved. As long as we're just raiding, the Bretons don't care. They're not going to be here to support you, after all. Britannia requires 73 de jure counties to form. Ah, my wife is pregnant again. Honestly? Son or daughter, I'm, I'm kind of okay with. We're probably going to have to do a little disinheriting, but... Let's get to raiding, baby. Let's get to raiding. They're not going to stop us. We have, we have far too many men. As a commoner of Irish heritage has been accosted in the streets of the Faroe Islands over some minor offense, by making a statement in the defense, I, I could perhaps convince my vassal Duchess Marta, who's Irish as well, of my good character. The Irish are good people? Sure, let's try it. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Sweet. Um, just did the whole thing in Canterbury where they give us 91 gold for free which is nice oh new diplomacy perk my inspiring rule oh I am inspiring <laughs> I, I am pretty inspiring I don't know what to tell you what's the independent bit of whales I just don't really care about it I'd like to undertake the Earl of hmm Okay, he's going to improve the development over there, and it only cost me 75 prestige? Sure. I'll let him take the reins. I've got prestige to burn so that you can, you can do all that stuff. All right, we raid down the coast. We've done this before. This is uh, the land we enjoy raiding. I should raid France. It's looking uh, particularly raidable this evening. I gotta get more creative with where we're raiding. You know, France is just right there to be raided. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can hold court. Well, I'm not doing anything important. Fire up the trumpets. What do you guys got for me? Come on. First in line. Mormer Fasti and Mormer. Tjostolfer march to the throne, their discontent clear. The counselor, uh, okay, these are various courtiers in my realm, not for me. Fosti flares up, my lord, I seek the impressive peasant Thoras, my concubine, her dancing is talked to. Oh my god, really? You guys are. Well, she's beautiful, so how about this? I don't care what either of you think of me. And 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and you're the chancellor for Jarl Kubratan, the Han uh, Haroldson. And you, equally as unimportant, no offense, you are the chancellor of High Chieftain Seniad. So she's my concubine. That settles that. Next one. <clears throat> An ancient figure approaches my throne. My lord, I'm a genealogist. You're aware of your noble origin? Okay. Um, I will pay him 35 gold for him to give me 14 court grandeur. Or I... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to add to my stress. He's going to build a scroll of genealogy that says we're descended to the gods. Over the last few years, I have heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero goes by the name of Gormir, has been defending the small folk from Gaelic raiders, and has now traveled the way to Torshavan to seek an audience with me. Gormir Ulfos. He's only 20. There's no doubt that Gormir is a great hero. However, my quarter adamant, I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. Okay, so this dude's a brilliant strategist. 25 martial, 30 prowess. I believe in meritocracy. Uh, I don't want to grant him a county. You should be honored as the hero that you are. Garmer Alphas. Yeah, here's the move. I'm going to make him a frontier hero. It cost me 34 gold. I don't want to anger all of my champions. And then I will invite him to my court. We just got to remember him. Gormer Elphus, the champion of the common people. You know, and he wouldn't be a bad matrilineal marriage for one of my smart daughters either. Because he is uh, uh, he has a great inheritable trait here with the uh, robust. Yeah, this man is this man, he's a beast. He's a tremendous individual fighter and a great leader. I'll spin the gold. You should be honored as a hero. We get the bonus and levy reinforcement rate. I gain 75 prestige as well. And then I invite him to my court, and all of a sudden, after he is now Gormer the Chivalrous, we don't have any angry people. My business here is done. I've got a concubine and a new marshal. <laughs> I, think we've, uh, I think we've achieved our goal here. Oh, the genealogist is back. He unfurls the scroll long enough to encircle one of my provinces. <laughs> my Rick's God, he trips over it slightly as the unfurled end rolls to my throne and my throne's foot. I have here the truth of your origin, my lord. He clears his throat and begins to read. Today we unveil a great history. Standing before us is King Cattle, son of King Sigtrigger the Brute, and sired by the fearful King Ingle for the good. Fruit of the loins of Arnie Bjornolfsson Nadator. Son of the remarkable Bjornifer Promenson Nadator, child of uh, a few eyelids around the court begin to droop. Oh. Enough! The kingdom of Nortrea owes you for your services. All right. <laughs> we got him to shut up. I'm glad he figured it out. All right, Gormer Ulfus is now at my court, which means he will now become my marshal. Sorry, Chief the Nalstein. But there's a new king in town, and his name's Gormer the Chivalrous. And he's pretty freaking sick. What a what a come up for a peasant, you know? Sakav's world? Sakav's, Sakav's world? Sorry, I know it. one of those was right, hopefully. Uh, as my counselors and uh, as me and my counselors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Baron approached me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. She does not like to be left alone. This is an important meeting. Uh, the dog has no place in council meetings. Baron goes and does something bad that ends up, you know, being awful and sad. Then I had no part in it. 
Right, it is, you know, we just got, we got, we, we've got so many things going on, right? Oh, qu bothered Queen Sifflid. Great. My pregnant wife. Thanks, Baron. Great work. I can haul away 500 gold. Nice. I'll be able to bring back a thousand gold in prestige from these raiding runs. With some suspicion that I receive a delegation of disorderly thugs from the Yams Vikings presenting a letter for Grandmaster Sverker. Fierce reavers and plunderers, both at sea and on land, these religious fundamentalists are some of the most notorious and deadly pirates in the world. Like any good Asatruan, I've uh, listened to the stories of their piety and prowess with a mixture of awe and fear. Now it seems their Grandmaster is offering me command of this gaggle of volunteers, provided I use them to raid and plunder for the gods. You know... Yeah! I'll take him. An opportunity, uh, let, oh. Okay, well, well, we'll continue the subtle approach. Apparently, I'm just not very good at this nonsense. Yams Viking volunteers, where, where are they? It said they were going to appear in the Faroe Islands, but I don't see them. Do I have to raise them? My horse is doing something. Do I have to take the time to train? Uh, no. Now we'll reduce my stress level. Ransom? Sure. That's kind of what we do here. Uh, that's already raided. Beautiful. Let's just keep making progress. The biggest enemy is going to be supply limits. Our biggest enemy is going to be supply limits. Where is, um... Oh, wow, he had twins. Okay, one son and one daughter. Nice work, Sifled. Uh, daughter is quick. Son is intelligent. That's what I'm talking about. All right, uh, Skuld. As the daughter and... Torbjorn as the son. Oh, this is a, this is the lion's brood that's going to conquer the world right here and unite the faith. That's what we got going on. Gandalf is a brewing troublemaker. He gains the trait Rowdy. All right. Jeez, man. A curse undone. Oh, so somebody I hated died. One of the ladies I had in my prison I released and became a rival. She done died now. So that's cool. You know, we, we like that. So, where, where, where are the... Where are these Yams Vikings that I, that I've, I've brought up? Because they're gonna get mad at me if I don't use them to raid. Do I have to... 660... Yeah, let's raise them. Where are they? Yeah, here you go. You, you boys wanna, you boys wanna rock and roll? I'll put you under command of Gormer the Chivalrous. And you can go start raiding, um, oh, well, that's raided. Uh, you, you rock and roll right on down here to the barony of Kiferden, and you go raid that for me, and you tell me how that is. Oh, dude, what? My brother got smacked. How did he lose his land? Who took his land? Oh, the Jarl of Leicester. Well, that's annoying. The lore of language? Oh, I gotta go learn a language now. I'll learn the Anglic language. Okay. Did I learn it? I guess we're gonna find out. Freya needs a guardian. Well, um... Let's go with Einstein Bjornsson. He's a master thinker person. Clearly, we're a very intelligent group of people. He's a master thinker person. Yeah, this is this is the golden generation. Exactly, exactly. Now you get it. All right. Let's 
Let's go through all this. And let's go here. Obviously, got to hit that up. Got to hit that up. That's 20 gold. Prisoner taken in siege. I... What siege am I running? Oh, I, I guess one of these. Hi, England. You're, you're having a great time, it looks like, so just don't mind me at all. I'm just strolling around, you know. It just seems like a beautiful day for some raiding. All right, I learned the language. Sweet. I'm being raided? Well, not for long. Because they're already leaving, apparently. So my hard-to-kill yums viking. They're really not that hard to kill, are they? They don't look it. An offer of a concubine, girly. Well, you know, she is robust, which... She's also 52. So I'm gonna go with no. But King Magnus, thank you for the second time offering me a concubine. I really do appreciate your enthusiasm for me, uh... Like, getting laid. It's really endearing. Um... So we're going to have to fight them. They're standing in the way. They're going to make me fight them. So let's fight them. Just don't want to lose any men while we're out on uh, we're out on a raid, you know? It means we can't haul as much stuff back. Oh, but think of the money, dude. The money we get from ransoms. Hopefully, taking a, sacking the capital is going to give us a good amount of money, too. Hopefully. Give me that one. Give me that one. You have 272. You only have 196. What are you doing? You didn't even get to raid a holy site. This is ridiculous. You're plundering my house right now? Look, I'm sorry, but I mean, you know... So when in Rome, right? When in Rome, or in, you know, wherever we are. Somewhere in England. Just collecting stuff. Oh, let's go to the Barony of Northampton while we're at it. Seems like a good spot. Prisoners taken in siege. Do we have any, any ransoms we can orchestrate? Yes, of course. Can exchange hostages with Danelaw. I do. I, I don't have as much of a bone to pick with Dane Law as I do with all well, the, the the English folk. Okay, we have a hundred something left for us to collect from this area. Ah, a horse enthusiast, Jarl Ragnar. Yeah, you can go ahead and ride the horse. I don't. I don't, I don't give a hoot. Well, I guess I get 150 prestige. Y'all Ragnar already loves me, and he doesn't hate me anymore. Yeah, I'll take the 150 prestige. All right, you go up here. Is there any area that's going to give us a ton over here? Yeah, I guess. You go there. This is amazing. This is just We're, we're just cooking a money machine. Except we're going to have to take the money back now because our troops are dying. The supply is running thin on our long raid. That's going to be all they can carry anyways. Yeah, we'll do this and that, and then we're gone. Probably. Ransom? Yep. That's part of the money-making scheme, actually. All these crazy ransoms that have got to be paid out. Oh, I forgot to go up to Northampton. Next time. Next time. Or actually, how much room do I have? We can get there. We could go up to Northampton and get a little a cheeky raid in, you know? Ah, oh, no, we can't. We'll get it uh, next time. Um, let's go straight to our land over here. The bear, you know, Linster. Sweet, my wife's pregnant again. The lion's brood grows. The amount of money we're making also grows. This is awesome. Prisoner taken in siege. Let me guess. We can... Oh, that one's worth 50. That one's worth 25. She's got no claims. <laughs> this is unreal. Win in Winchester. Yes, win in Winchester. Raid loot delivered. Money and money and money and money. Uh, We're getting... 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna get resupplied, get our troops back. Oh, dang it, we got smallpox. Well, that's a problem. Ugh. Do no more than what is necessary. Alphonse de Bissy is excellent. Alright, you reduced my disease symptoms for a year, but smallpox is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dying. Alright, my last act before I die is that Torborn Kettleson will be the only heir to my throne. Apparently, nobody in our freaking household can ever live long enough to do anything. Much to my consternation. Um, no, we don't need to mass disinherit because it's only sons when you have a son. So, succession. Gandalf for Kettleson's preferred by the glory hounds. Yeah, but I'll lose one title. The, the kingdom of Ireland would separate to Torbjorn. And we will, uh, we will disinherit Gandalfur. Which is, gets us disinheritor and costs us some renown and some prestige, but I've got plenty of that to spare. And it will go to Torbjorn Kettleson Nadator, who is intelligent, which means we can finally start getting some awesome rulers. He's one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start him young, dude. Start him young. Start him young. That'll anger some people, but it, you know, must be done. Short-term pain, long-term gain, you know what I'm saying? Short-term pain and long-term gain. Raid loot delivered. Yeah, we'll keep raiding, dude. Nobody's coming over. They're not bringing their army all the way over to this coast to fight you. Ah, one of my rivals died. You can come back from death's doorstep. I just wanted to make sure that it was guaranteed that we would be okay. I need to make sure I have a selfless regent. I thought I did. Oh, well, I, I, I did. Now I don't. Gormir the Chivalrous. Uh, Jarl Snorri of Munster. Yeah, he's really good. Any character with a higher succession score than Jarl. Where, where's the succession score? Regent succession scores. Uh, score in you know, a sort by that. Jarl Andres Vigvason. I designate you, and Gormer will love me anyways. He doesn't care. My three courtly vassals will be offended. They'll lose ten opinion of me. Yeah, well, thank you. Jarl Andres Vigvison of Iceland is selfless and does like me. So, oh my goodness, couldn't have been timed any better. Castle died at 36 of smallpox. A charming man who became famous for his elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. King Torbjorn ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. He's sure to be admired. Well, he's won, so that's a bit weird. The regent is King Andres Vigvason of Iceland, who will now take over for the next 15 years while we continue to raid and attack England. I need a new steward, Yald Gomir. I need a spy master, Jarl Snorri. Okay, uh, the new Rick Scotty does not like me. I am not at least 12, so I can't sway him. And I've entered into an entrenched regency to oversee the kingdom of the North Sea. Has, yeah, he mostly, he's a wonder kid, uh, no doubt. You know, there's no argument about it. He's, he's definitely a wonder kid. And um, we're gonna hit this on the way out as we continue our just wonderful raiding of all England. The outbreak of smallpox has ravaged my court. Um, my Chancellor Alphonse ensures me that all bodies have gone properly disposed of, yet the road to recovery is long. We've lost my father and many others. King Cattle. The third in line for this, this wonderful kingdom we've built. Go to activities and look at meat here. Wait, hold on. We've got a couple of things going on. Squires to champions. Okay, what's this? My court musician approaches me, skipping along to the rhythm only she can hear. A crumb of your attention, my lord. I have prepared an all male choir beyond compare. According to my new method, they not only sing but wear tights, don ornate cod pieces atop their loins, 
Okay, and dance in a synchronized fashion all amidst praising Odin, of course. I'm certain if you fund a grand performance, it will most please the ladies of the court. I'm sure their tights are too much for the ladies to bear. Uh, you have my coin, and I eagerly anticipate the performance. Popular opinion, plus 20 all around the realm. Everyone lustful, and all the ladies of your court get a plus 10. Hildeberg von Maddeberg loses. Uh, my gorge rises. Throw this deviant in the dungeons. Um, no, I'm not going to imprison her. I'll spend the money and gain the opinion. We are, you know, af after all, we are spoiled for cash. Ah, a hundred? Of course. All right, you come drop your money off. Please. Oh, what's this? Court event available? A situation appeared in your Oh, yeah. Murder holes and priest holes. Oh, this is, um... Asking me if I want to build secret corridors. Spying holes or secret passage escapes. That's good. I don't want to be caught by hostile schemes, so... Build me a secret passage. Uh, isn't... The wife pregnant? My mom... Princess Siflid, Heston's daughter. She is pregnant. So I will have one more sibling on the way. And I will have a lot of sisters to marry off. Sweet. Finish the control of the county task. Go back to tri Actually, let's reinforce the levy. Right, you already raided that? Yeah. How much can you carry? 70? We'll just milk the rest of this out. Alrighty, sweet. The raids are going well. We have oodles of cash. I just want us to recover our troops, but I guess when they're in a raiding stance, they can't recover their numbers. I just want to recover... Nope, 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 nope. Just want to recover our troop dynasty. Oh, there we go. My dead father's children. Svan Hill, a, a, a daughter and a son. No, two daughters. That's actually amazing how perfectly that worked out. Gita. Gita and Grimma. That, that works for me. Gita and Grimma. Ah, oh, we've got some other things going on. I can... Negotiate with my grandfather-in-law. How? Oh. Huh? I don't know how we're related, but, uh, sure. Uncle Earl Dub Big Mechanic. Seems like a good guy to know. I can negotiate a relias with my uncle, King Magnus Hestenson of Danelaw. He won't accept. But it's good to know that it's possible maybe in the future. An alliance with Dane Law would mean that, you know, we could do everything else and then go after the ma uh, later. I'm going to pardon her. And... Uh, we're good. Yeah, okay. Should I hold... Can I hold something? I'm not 12, so I can't do that. I'm not tw yeah, I'm a child. I can't host a tournament. Ah... Uh, can't host a feast, I'm a child. I can't host a hunt, I'm a child. I'm not at least four years old, so I can't meet my peers. Fun. But I can form alliances through my region, so we'll do that. My dear nephew, I will fight with you. Well, thank you. That means a lot. And we'll just keep raiding England, because England's just so raidable, it's awesome. They have so much money available. Just to take, it's just there. You get a bunch of skills meeting peers. Awesome. Well, when I turn four, then I guess we're doing that. My cousin got imprisoned.
Venus Moon. I don't know how much more room do they have? The kitten. Oh, what's going on? As I'm out playing close to the hills, I hear a sound. Small and weak. But it's there. I look at every bush under every rock in every direction, and there it is. A tiny kitten. I have a pet cat. Awesome. Oh, the cat's definitely named Paws. No debate. Brilliant name. I, I'm not accepting debates at this time. The cat is named Paws. It's named Paws, okay? A child of my dynasty. Oh my goodness, Tora. Oh, the, the concubine of my father had a daughter who was pretty. Turadir Kettle's daughter. Wow, they had so many kids for dying at 38, dude. Yorun. So every, both of his concubines also had kids with him. Notify when available. Oh, I can do it. Plan to meet peers. Yeah, let's do it. Um, Your capital. Yeah, let's do it there. And there's no danger. I won't travel anywhere. I'm not four years old. Right, uh, why did it let me get that far? Okay, uh, but it'll notify me when it's available. So, saving lives out here. We refreshed our troops yet? I'm sure you've raided all the things that you came here to raid. I might go for a nice cheeky raid on France. No, we've got to do our raiding in Danelaw. Which is frustrating. It's always annoying to raid in Danelaw. What's their army? 34? Yeah, we'll be all right. They don't have the ability to support the kind of... Uh, kind of raiding armies we usually go for. Oh no, that army will kick my butt. So we're gonna get out of there and go that way. Nope, 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 we're turning around. Turning around and getting out. Well, we're gonna fight, great. They're gonna lose that fight. For all the talk of these big, rough, rep scallion Yams Vikings, they're not really good. Well, they didn't give me the good Yam Viking guys. All right, let's get our raiding army together. Enough of them are ready. Here we go back. Raid. Yeah, you just go ahead and pick up everything that's still there. You get together under one of our other great commanders, and um, you're going... Oh, you're not in raiding stance. Right, sorry. You're going here to raid right down the middle of all this, and then loop around. The Yams Vikings have been defeated. Boo! Yes, trash! Yeah, they kind of suck. But you know what? They made us some money, and they're free. So they cost us piety, which our guy died pretty quickly. We, we didn't need it for anything else, so... <laughs> you know, it, it ended up being all right. It was fine. Yeah, they're not good. They, 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 they'll get swept away by anything they run into. These guys, on the other hand, are big raiding armies. They do a pretty good job. Of just taking all the money out of the land, bringing it to us so that we can build better buildings. Fund great projects. All the good stuff. Take prisoners and then sell them. Alright, you wanna just... Well, you can carry, what, 46? 
start raiding. We gonna be there eventually. Just start. Just start raiding. Somebody died. Well, I'm an excellent royal architect. Earl Alfgear of Annandale. Cool. What actually happened with Dublin? Uh, we have a peace treaty with Ma and we captured some land in Scotland from them instead. So, man, this is hard to walk through the mountains of Wales. We're losing people. Gormir died, which sucks because he was an amazing steward. But we do have Chieftain Colbjorn to continue the development of the capital. Already raided that, so we'll go ahead and pick that up and then walk on through the middle. I got the trait charming. Nice. Be nice and work hard. That's what my mom says. I heard my mom is awesome. Oh, I got somebody who's worth a hundred. Oh, yes. Two copper eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a small meow breaks the silence as paws pounces from my ankle. He may be young, but he is nonetheless ferocious. As he prances away, I see that he left me a gleaming gift. Two gold. Okay, that works for me. I can get Scotland. Oh yeah, I can, can I? I should do that. I cannot usurp the primary title of somebody fighting a war. Well, who are you fighting? You are... What? How did he get this land? How did he get that land? Oh, something's up. Something's up. All right, let's get this money back and then um, let's go fight. Well, we got to get the money back and then uh, fix the rest of this up. What the heck? How did he get that land out there? We some. Uh, I feel. Don't you get a notification when the inheritance is gonna leave your realm? That's definitely a uh, definitely a thing. Yeah, I'm not giving you Sithel Burn. Okay, come on. You have to pay the hundred. Okay, you're not getting them for free. One of your vassals inherited Scotland. Oh! The Duke of Moray inherited the crown of Scotland, and I'm not an emperor, so they bounce ahead of me. That makes sense. Okay. I understand what happened now. I feel like I should have gotten a bigger notification for that, but I do understand what happened now. Okay, so now uh, we finally get to crush that dude. I always hated him. Always freaking hated him. My glory and fame is widely known. Oh, just wait until I'm not three years old, dude. It's going to be nuts. All right, disband that army because our armies are raised. We can't raise our our troops and uh, we can't go to war with Scotland to reclaim the Duke of uh, the Duchy of Moray, which I don't think I can do anyways because I'm not illustrious. But 
He's currently warring and reclaiming land in Scotland, which is annoying. So the first order of business is to try and stop him. Would you like help? Am I able to help you? I don't know. Ah, loot, uh, loot returned. Span the army. Get the men back and we'll see what kind of war we can go into. Try and keep him at bay. My armies are raised? Where? Oh, my stupid Yams Viking thing. All right, now we can... The Earldom of Altklut. Or his allies, Jarl Andres of Eastland, who he can't... It's two of my Jarls who he can't call in. So, no. I will attempt to curb this guy. He inherited the Kingdom of Scotland, and they're trying to take back the more, the Highlands. Uh... I think that we just need to keep raiding until we become illustrious. We make a ton of money, obviously. We build everything that we can, and then once we hit illustrious, we start going to war for the the duchies that he that he has. I think that's probably that that's probably the uh, that's probably the move. If I, if I had to pick a move, that's probably the move. Yeah, Usurp steals it, I guess. So once his, um... Once his war is over. And he's he's attacking Strath... So he's gonna gain more territory before it's over. I'm okay with that. I hate the guy that rules Strathorn. So if he gains control of that, that's fine. This is the whole Duchy of Moray. So we can just declare war for the Duchy of Moray and then the Duchy of Strathclyde and we'll have nothing going. In the meantime, we can go to war for somebody who we can just take counties off of, but I don't have enough piety to do that, apparently. Which makes sense. I mean, I'm three. King Torbjorn Kettleson. Regented by the Jarl Andres of Iceland. He used to hate me. Good thing I went on that hunt. But he likes me now. Oh, wait, if he usurps and then I just take the kingdom off him, does he become my underling again? Or what's the what's the move? Kind of hope that's not the case, to be honest. Because he'd be powerful and he would hate me. We just need the Jarl to survive the war. Okay, so I usurp his title to be king of Scotland. Or, or do, do I have enough to be king of Scotland if he takes that? Is it too divided at that point? It might be too divided. Already got 1,500 gold in the bank. What are the other lands that I own? Other things that we can build? We can level up our tribal holds in each of these lands. No, we can't, because that costs prestige. But I can go to a place like Dunfermline and upgrade the... No, I can't. Cost prestige, and that's what we don't have. Ooh, but I can build a trade port with all of my infinite money. All right, guys. We really streamed way longer than I thought I was going to today, but I'm going to call it there. Well, you will, will usurp that up and be rocking and rolling, but I'm calling it there. It's uh, exit to the main menu time. We're on Iron Man mode, of course. Oh. We're now a three-year-old child. We have had uh, we have had absolutely awful luck with staying alive. Um, we, we have had absolutely awful luck for staying alive. Beta should be out soon. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to be doing Monday. 
Uh, if beta's not out, we might still be playing this. I've really enjoyed this. Thank you, guys. Love you. Fist bump. Appreciate everybody that subscribes. Uh, allows me to do this for a living. Uh, probably a new video out tomorrow, which is going to be awesome, hopefully. Um, I will. I will see you guys on Monday. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Everybody take care, all right? That was awesome. We did great things. We've made a lot of money.